Hey guys, Fia back again with another Twitch VOD for you. This was a Lunar Festival world tour from the 2nd of February 2022. What the f... What? Fun-filled February has begun. Uh, we had a lot of fun, a lot of just casual chats and conversation, quite a few new faces in chat as well. It was really, really lovely. So I hope you'll stick through and have a watch. Let us know what you think. Uh, down in the comments. Uh, you can follow me on all the social media things, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Instagram is an important one, Facebook, TikTok, they're all in the links down below. Just have a scroll down into the description and check out what you would like to do. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the stream. Hopefully I'll see you in chat, twitch.tv forward slash fiyama forward slash schedule to see when I'll next be live in your own time zone. I will hopefully see you then. Take care. Yo. Hello. Welcome. How's everybody doing? Uh, where's the one I'm looking for? This screen. Good. This one. Who is ready to get some coins? I'm molting every- that's my phone. I'm molting everywhere. My pop socket from the last PAX Australia that ran is, uh, is starting to fail. There's like a split in the rubber at the back. You know where it like pops out and then pops back in? That that rubber that facilitates that popping um, has split. So it's not holding itself all the way out. It keeps dropping down to like one. Excuse me. Um, which kind of sucks. And it's sort of annoying because Spring has like the ring back things, like the, the ring ones, but it doesn't have pop sockets. And I'm, I've only ever used a pop socket, not one of the ring ones. So I would prefer, but yeah, it like, it like, it like pulls itself back in. So yeah, it, it does that. Cool, social's done. All right, where? Uh, I need to kill melee units. Flag bearers ain't gonna kill shit, so let's go with that. <clears throat> I'm really flummy today. Like I sound, I, I sound different to me and that's kind of, yeah, my, my throat's all funny. Right, so. We're doing the Elders Tour. It is the 2nd of February. Yes, good, good. Yes, the calendar says it is 2-2-22. Um, so, I've, instead of fucking whispering people and invite, like all that bullshit, I have a custom group set up. Um, I'm not on a level 60 tune. Uh, this is a level 51, I wanna say. Yep, 51. Um, but I still have access to pre-made groups for some of them. So it's under, it's Dungeons and Raids, pre-made groups, custom. And you can see the title there, it's Fiamma's Lunar Festival Tour. So if you search Fia or Fiamma, it should come up. Uh, and if you're on my friends list, it should also come up, I think. But as we all know, Fia's friend list is full. So if you're not, don't stress, you can still search for it in the custom. It is Horde. We don't have, is it Yep, yeah, okay. Not a worry. Um, what was I saying? We can't yet join groups with Alliance people, but it's coming. I'm so excited. That's oh, such an awesome change. Anyway, um, yes. If you are on a sub 50 tune, you'll need to whisper me because you won't have access to the group finder. Um, but you can do the exclamation invite and just do it that way. Figure it out yourselves. For the Alliance. No hand-holding here. Good. Okay, well done, fairy on first. Hey guys, what is this? A fear stream? It is indeed. It is indeed. Well done on second, Shiva. Why do I keep thinking today is Thursday? It is definitely not Thursday. If it was Thursday, I missed an entire day of work and I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, so I'm going to keep this open and just like ready to go for a little while. But then once we start moving... If you join us late, you're just going to have to catch up to wherever we are because there's a lot of them to do and, um, yeah, I need to get them done because <laughs> I have uh, transmog to purchase and patterns and recipes and schematics and shit. So yeah, I'm going to keep on moving on. So if you would like to join us, now is the best time to do so. We are starting at the start of the uh, Lunar Festival Optimized Elders Path guide for Zygor, which has us starting. This is, I'm in uh, Undercity. It is old Undercity. Old Undercity. <laughs> Sorry, I messaged a few companies today 
about my six year anniversary stream and I have received some responses. I have received some, received some responses. We're going to have some giveaways for that marathon stream. Giveaways that aren't going to break Fear's bank, which is more important. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Uh, not the only one. I was like, what is Fear doing on, on a Thursday? Maybe this is part of the everyday for everything. No, that starts next week, though. Next Tuesday is the first unusual stream, and they just keep fucking going. They just keep fucking going. Um, so yesterday was my first day off of the month out of four. Tomorrow is my second day off out of four. Saturday is my third day off out of four, and then I will not have another day off till the 24th of Feb. And that's my last one, 24th. And then I'm streaming right the way through to the end of February. I'm going to die. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. It's still Tuesday for me. Hello, Josh. Um, I have got them turned on. Uh, I heard that open sound. I was like, what, did someone open up a slot in my brain? No. No, I've opened up a group finder thing to make this easier. Hello. Hello, hello. No alliance yet. No alliance yet. 10 days seems like much longer ago, like a month ago. Which is strange. Yeah, look, this this time of year, time just kind of we is weird. Oh, hi, Jack. How you doing? Hi, the sun. Ah, koala. Thank you so much for the resub. Need to get those 50 coins for the horde pet. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that is another thing. If you're only after a small, like a certain number of coins, you are so welcome to join in, grab the coins you need and fuck off. Like I am, there will be no hard feelings here. I am, I am here to, to do a thing I need or, well, I don't actually need all of them. I can skip four elders on this tune, but I can't figure out how many is just four, so I'm just gonna do because um on the on this character I need to do the um the Luna 25 coin quest as well. Um I will recommend though, uh one, while you are like heading to Undercity and stuff, while we're sitting here, if we're getting ready for this shit, talk to the Luna Festival Harbinger, buy the ro the rockets and stand in the middle here and just fire them all off. Um, because you get the you get uh, the Lunar Festival invitation, which means you can stand in the beam of light and it ports you to Moonglade, which is like supremely helpful for doing like the end of stuff and like going and buying all the transmog and toys and shit. And it only takes like it takes oh, I swear to God like three minutes to do the whole fucking quest, um, and it gives you a hell of a benefit. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend grabbing that while we wait for everyone to join the group. Filter on down to to Undercity. All that kind of shit. Remember, um, if you're heading to Org, there is a portal on top of the uh, Zeppelin Towers to port to Undercity. If you get ported to Undercity and you're downstairs, come upstairs. If you get ported to Undercity and you're outside, talk to Zadormi. Uh, if there's like fire everywhere and Zadormi will take you back to old Undercity, which is where we are, obviously, considering that the building still exists. Um, giveaway is amazing. I know. Totally forgot to turn off Chromie Time. Good job. Good job, next Thursday starts February. Well, technically Sunday starts February because I'm my, it's a normal stream on the 6th and then a normal stream on the 7th and then an abnormal stream on the 8th. But the 6th and 7th are still consecutive. So it's 18 consecutive days starting from this Sunday. <sighs> uh, look, it's gonna be fine. I see your plan in Discord. Are you using coins for heirlooms? Not yet, not yet. Um, so my first, I'm on Repressily at the moment, so I'm going to go through and get everything from the engineer. Um, then I'm going to hopefully jump onto Alexia, uh, and then I can start working through her stuff as well, except I'm not going to do a full run of Elders. I'm going to stop when I get to 80 coins because that's all I need for her. I can't buy an heirloom casing because you only, like, it's a maximum of 109 coins. So if I tried to get that, it'd be 120, so I can't do that. So I'm going to stop at 80 and go buy all her shit. Uh, and then, I mean, if we've got, I don't think we're going to have any more time than that. But if we do, I will I will jump through and get, um, like, you know, 80 coins on a tune and buy two casings, etc., etc. Like, I mean, I might as well, right? Don't forget to set it to a raid. Ah, oh. yeah, I can do that. Set that to raid. 
wait, are we going to be able to do this? We d we asked this question last time. The answer was yes. So I'm pretty sure these quests can be done in a raid group. I don't know if the Harbinger's quest can be done in a raid group, though. That's my only concern. So if if it doesn't work, you might have to drop group, do your thing for your portal thing, and then, uh, and then jump back in again. But that's okay. The group will still be there. Even when we head off and start doing stuff, I'm going to leave that group open, uh, the group finder open, just so that people can... Um, find it halfway through if they need to. Uh, I read Sunish, but I'll come harass Eld as well. I can. Fantastic. While we wait, I'm a BRB real quick to put Doggo to bed. Not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, hi, Jack. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Bachoom! Bachoom! So exciting. Aw, someone left the Discord. Every so often I get a ping from, because we've got, the mods can see a private channel, like the boss mods can see a private channel, um, where like people joining the server and leaving the server can be seen so that if we have some kind of fuckwittery that goes on, um, we can still find the user and like, com like totally ban them, uh, which is nice fun. <laughs> um, but it's just, every time I go in there and I see such and such is left, I'm like, oh, fine. I don't like you either. I'm kidding. But, um, I'm so excited. I'm sorry. I actually, I'm, you know what, while we're here waiting for people, I'm going to, cause I got an email back from, cause some of the companies I message on Instagram because it's just the fastest way to do it. Um, cause I know that like, that's, that's a no, like I know that they'll respond there because it's where I usually talk to them. Um, but then other companies I speak to via email because that's where they more often like interact and stuff. So it's, um. Ah, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> also, side note, um, I asked Logitech again about the affiliate codes and they said no news yet, but we do want to give you one. So like they're working on it. They're actively working on it. So, oh my God, you guys are going to flip. What I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is I'll put the prizes on a little, cause the thing is like, if I want to, um, I don't want to, um, I don't want to set out like, these are the times at which different prizes will be given away because, um, that isn't like, then people will rock up for like the seven minutes at which the prize they want is being given away. And that's shit. I don't want that. I want people to be here and celebrate with us. God damn it. So, um, what I'm thinking is I'll get little slips of paper. I've got some colored uh, post-its. Maybe I can chop them up. Little slip of paper that said, like, colored pieces of paper that say, like, what the prize is. And then I'll fold them up and put them in, like, a jar. And so, like, every time... And have a scheduled giveaways. But then, like, at the start, it's like, okay, it's giveaway time. And then, like, draw one out and see what we're giving away. I think that'd be fucking fun. What do we think? Do we like that idea? <laughs> do we like that idea? Um, I have EU4 open in the background. The music is so chill. Oh, that's awesome. Harbinger thing does not work in a rate group. Thank you so much for letting us know, Koala. I'm guessing that you are Neralia. <laughs> I'm guessing that's you then. Um, hey, P. Carrie, how you going? What is up? Pally beside you. Um, was that you? Ton... 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 Tonawak? I have no idea how to pronounce that name, but that's okay. I'm assuming that that was you, because you requested invite. Hey, I've already said I won't join there. That's okay. Not a problem at all, meaty. You headset not buying till I get that link. I mean, if look, if you need need one, I I understand, but like that would also be awesome. <laughs> um, hello, monkey. That does sound good. Awesome. Glad to hear it, and welcome to chat. It's my horde hunter. Fantastic. It's Aztec. Ooh. You have the same chair! What is your what is your chair's name? My name my, my chair's name is Chair. This is Chair. This is this is Chair. <laughs> um PSP. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed it. Yours is Chad. Love that. Love that. I love that it's kind of the same sort of theme with the Chad rather than chair. Yep, good. Anyway. Ah, gosh, I didn't realize how tall Zandalaria. I've returned. Welcome back, Shiva. Okay, at that point, we're going to kick this off. 
Um, I wasn't waiting for you, um, but I just figured that would be a nice time. I also checked my email from a certain company letting me know what we're gonna have to give away at the six year mark, and I am so excited! You guys are gonna fucking flip. It's gonna be great. Eve. There we go. All right. Uh, let's kick this off. We're starting with Dark Core. A coin of mastery. Um, lucky red envelopes are a pain in the ass. The envelopes don't stack. They will fill your inventory, but what is in them does stack. So I recommend opening them as you get them. Uh, okay, leave Undercity through the tunnel. If you have Zygor, and if if you have Zygor, I'm going to share this. That's fine. So I'm going to share that guide so you know we're up to. If you don't have a Zygor subscription, sharing the guides works even if you have the free version. So, ah, Kerry, thank you so much for the cheer. I have to go home at work, Lola. I thought I'd check you out when you live. It is good. Ah, fantastic. Well, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the cheer. And hopefully you'll be able to stop back in when you finish work. Pop a marker on myself. I can do that. Uh, I'm going to be a diamond because I fucking can and it matches my eyeshadow. <laughs> anyway. Um, hope your day's been good. Hello, Case. My day has been exceptionally busy, but overall, not a bad thing. It's been okay. It's been okay. I, I've been productive, but um, there are still a few things on my to-do list that I didn't manage to get done, but I also slept in. I had a real shit fight last night. Um, like I, I was really unwell last night. Um, like I was in a whole lot of pain and just really sick and it was just so unpleasant. So I think that's why I slept in because I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. Um, but that's okay. Like it is what it is. Um, hopefully I'll get better night's sleep tonight. But yeah, so it means that I didn't, I, I lost a couple of hours of work, if that makes sense. Uh, but that's okay. Look, it happens sometimes. we are just got to do the best we can with what we've got. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Oh, excuse me. Shine bright like a diamond. That is exactly what went through my head as well, Leto. And I fucking will. I will. Okay. Fly on the sapphire sky, sky, bleh, sapphire sky blazer with me. I can do that. Um, next time I land, I will do that. I'm not going to change mounts when I'm in the air. <laughs> as long as it's okay. That's good to hear. Yes. Yeah, I am. Thank you. Appreciate Of course. Of course. I'm so glad to hear you've had a wonderful day. That's good to hear. Good news. Thanks for here. Unwell. Hope things get better there. Ah, uh, it was, it was totally fine. Um, I asked Jas, uh, when he grabbed some, he grabbed some extra bits and pieces for dinner. Um, when he went to Aldi and I asked if he could grab some cheese and crackers because I was just, I was having a need. I needed cheese and crackers. And so he bought, he brought home a, a wheel of brie, just a, like a, you know, regular size wheel of brie and a, ba a box of jats. Um, not jazz, jats, like the crackers. Yep. So, oh, down we go. <clears throat> so, um, we ate all of it between the two of us. We ate the entire wheel of brie and the entire box of jats and we had dinner and I have a feeling the fact that I ate half a wheel of brie in the space of a couple of hours uh, was not a good idea for my intestines. I think that's what happened, but I can't, I can't be sure. Um, but it was really tasty. So, you know, it is what it is. Definitely change mounts in the air. I don't think I can, Jack. <laughs> I don't think I can. Hello, Lanta. DK definitely has slow fall. I don't think that's a thing. In fact, if I hit my slow fall button, it's a, it's a taunt. No. You DKs are so quick, are we? Maybe I should count to 10 before I take off at the next one. Um, like my, my thing is, my, my guide is not skipping through unless Kelenthos also completes the step. But maybe I should wait for that and then count to 10 and then keep going. I have a slow fall. It's name is Bubble. You guys have the 20% bonus mount speed. Do I? Have I taken that though? Is that a talent? I don't know. I don't know if I do. Oh, Pally. Right. Okay. Never mind. I'm like, no, I don't. You're lying. You're lying. Oh, right. The aura. Okay. Build into DKs on a pale horse. I know that one. 
Yeah, mana speed by 20%. Gotcha. All right, I will I will count and wait. Okay, so this one is inside the cave. So mounted speed will be slowed, so that's fine. Okay. Who actually killed the mob? We didn't need to do that. It's a fucking baby. Unless there's people in here who are much slower. Alright, I'm gonna hold up. Just uh, no, no one's in the cave anymore. Okay. Oh no, wait, yes there is. One, two, let's go, let's go. Just watch for these guys to leave the cave and mount up and then off we go. All right. It's totally fine for those of you who are heading it, going ahead. I just don't want to leave people like all the way behind. Um, uh, sorry, I have to listen to that song now. The steam powered giraffe. What? <laughs> the steam powered giraffe version. What? The fuck is that? Also, uh, mount makeup today. There is a bright magenta pink in on in my crease, but then out the side, out the at the outer corner, it turns into like a deeper purple. Five. Uh. 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 Oops, I demounted, dismounted. Um. Okay. This one is going to be interesting. I don't know if... We, does anyone know... Was Stratholm a five-man dungeon or a ten-man dungeon? I know ten-man dungeons existed, but I think they got rid of some of them. Or all of them. Because this is... We have to go into Stratholm. So we might need to, like, drop group. Five? Cool. <clears throat> so first two people to get there need to drop group. Um, you remember, you will always be able to either whisper me for an invite again, or you can jump in the Dungeons and Raids, the custom thing to join us. Um, that group is still open, and I will keep it open the whole time. So just, um, yeah. First two people to get there who aren't me will need to drop group. I refuse to go into Stratholm. Totally fair. Totally reasonable. Fuck Stratholm. <laughs> I did 209 runs for my fucking mountain Stratholm. Uh, yep, look. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's February. Everything is fucked. I am getting experience. Holy shit, I'm getting near nearly 4,000 experience per elder. Whew. Ooh, I might actually get some levels out of this. I believe Steam Powered Giraffe is a steampunk band. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. Um, yeah, if you don't want to do this, Elder, that's totally fine. You can, like, hang out outside if you desire. Um, where is the Elder? Ah, oh, okay, at the Unforgiven. I went to, I went to, um, Arcane Explode. So that tells you how I'm going. No, I'm not looting shit. Uh, just see my luck. Thank you for the luck case. I appreciate it. Enjoy. Drip will get into the music channel. It just sounds like a plan. That man. Uh, had the KSM guns at runs go? I got KSM. The uh, the eighteen spires pushed. Oh wait, hang on. You're not a sub, and there's an ad. Shit. Um. Oh no, you can hear me. Okay, wonderful. Um. So the the eighteen spires put me to nineteen ninety seven. And everyone was a little bit tilted. Uh, and then I went and did a 15 mists and it pushed me well over. So yeah, no, doing, did well. Did well, very happy with that. <clears throat> That's okay, Sam. Thank you, fairy. Much appreciated. 
I, it's it's definitely a load off. It's it's like a whole lot of stress just sort of gone, which is nice. But yeah, it was uh there was definitely I was I was starting to get really anxious because I wasn't sure like because we, we don't know when the the patch is dropping right and so I don't I didn't know if I was gonna have time during definitely probably not during heartbreaker runs but like I didn't know if I was gonna have any time afterwards or like I just didn't know so I I'm like I would really much prefer to get this done before the shit fuckery that is February starts. Uh, and uh, so I did, and I'm very happy about it, and I'm so eternally grateful to everyone who chipped in, either through, like, advice and calculations or through coming into the runs or offering to come to the runs, even if you didn't actually come in. Like, just all the help and the, the moral support in chat. It was just, it was wonderful. Really, truly awesome. So, uh, yeah, very much appreciate it. Um, some runs went well. Yeah, they did. God, that bird sounded like it farted. Um, uh, I don't think I'm getting KSM this season. I already got the season one mount. I'm colorblind, so close enough. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Oh my god, great way to think about it. Uh, same five as in a row. Oh, that sucks, Artisan. Oh Jesus, that really sucks. Um, so, uh, so I run 90 seconds worth of ads every half hour to keep the pre-roll ads turned off. There's like a, it's not a money thing. It's a retention thing. Um, the the data. Show, the, the data shows that um, people are more likely to stick through a mid-roll than they are through a pre-roll. I mean, obviously each individual choice is going to be different, but like statistically speaking, people are more likely to wait through a, a mid-roll um, or use it as a chance to go to the bathroom, grab a drink, grab a snack, stretch your legs, all that kind of shit. Um, as opposed to like if they click in and see a pre-roll, they're, they're more likely to just straight away skedaddle. Um, but I do know that what ads you are shown, everyone's shown different ads. It depends on where you're from. It depends on what ads you've seen recently. Um, and it depends on the length of the ads. Obviously one person might see three 30 second ads. Another person might see a full minute and then one 30 second. And it's time based rather than like number of ads based. So if you're getting really short ads, you'll get a ton more of them. But the same one five times in a row seems like a fucking problem on Twitch's end. Like that seems like someone did not do coding <laughs> like that's that's like so there's there's a sweet spot with marketing right when you when you actually see ads if you see one like if you see an ad once it's kind of like oh cool that that was a fun ad to see or whatever uh if it's a good ad obviously this only applies to good ads uh, but you see one of them and it's like oh that's interesting but then if you see it and then see it again a few days later and then see it like again another few days later and see it like three or four times over the space of a week or two it's more likely to stick so that the next time you know you need to go and buy that product, you go, oh, I've been seeing that ad and that was a really cool ad. I should get that brand. I know that's not what you, like, that may not be the actual thought pattern, but that's kind of how it sort of works. But then if you go too far over and you get too, like the same ad like every day or more than once a day and just like repeatedly, then it swings people in the opposite direction to say, I'm so fucking sick of that ad. I don't want to support that brand with my money. I will avoid purchasing that brand intentionally. I will, I will intentionally seek out a different brand of the same product just because I don't want to give them my money. So like when Twitch haven't programmed it so that you only see that ad once per, like even just per what half hour, like that's an, that's a massive oversight. They sh that's broken as fuck, and it's going to do the the advert the company who is advertising more harm than fucking good. Like that's ridiculous. Um, you can, uh, like submit like a help ticket to let them know that that kind of shit's happening if you want to. Obviously, you know, I mean, if they don't know it's broken, they can't fix it. But um, yeah. Sounds to me like maybe someone who is in training potentially entered that ad into the uh rotation because <laughs> that's fucking broken that's that's fucking broken um it's all good it's cool oh, i'm i'm so glad to hear that you that you're okay with ads running it's just but like five of them in a row no i feel your pain on that one like fuck man fuck anyway uh, i love epl because many many years ago to 60 on my holy pally by grinding undead there oh jesus yeah have fun with that I like, I like questing. It's fun. Nine coins of ancestry. Oh, okay. So it's telling us to use the Dalaran hearthstone now, but I'm not sure. Does everyone have? Uh, 
Uh, how are you guys getting ten? Why have I only got nine? What the fuck happened? No Dalhath? Okay. That's alright, we will we will fly straight there. We can still fly there. It's just faster to take the, the Dal um thingy. Already do one. Oh, okay. Alright. Whew. You're on nine. Fantastic. Thank you so much for confirming. I thought that I had accidentally not turned one in somewhere and I was pissed. But it's okay. That's fine. Good. Wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Um, oh, there we go. So yeah, we can adjust that way. Um, I wish ads had a button that said, I will literally never buy this thing. Please show me something else. I can see that working in two directions though, hey. So like, um, there's obviously to be good because they'd be sp then they'd spend their money marketing to people who might actually purchase the products, right? That'd be good, you know, more efficient spending on their part. Um, but then at the same time, obviously 95% of the population would just click that button on every ad they see and then they don't have any ads to be shown and they're like, hey, I broke it. And then, you know, then all these companies and shit will shut down because they're not getting ad revenue. Surprisingly, ad revenue is a huge, huge money maker for a lot of companies. Um, so yeah, you won't, you will get fatigued, but it will turn off again. You'll be fine. You're not going to die out here. Um, I use the same up to set every single time I open any Twitch channel. Oh no. Mine seem to rotate pretty frequently. Like I get all sorts of different ads. Are you leveling with Lunar Festival? Um, not intentionally. Uh, I was, what I wanted to do was get the engineering schematics. And this is my engineer, but my engineer happens to also be 51. So yes, but accidentally. Like that's, it, it's like two birds, you know? I'm getting coins to buy stuff I need, plus I'm also getting experience. So that works. Find a mage. We do have a mage in the group, but they fucking zooped ahead, as Shiba said in fucking chat. <laughs> if Shiba was actually coming along with us as we intended, then yes, we would have portals. But no, but no. <laughs> Good to step afternoon. Hello, Yuri. How you going? Oh, damn we go. Um, hey, Krazy, how you doing? Two birds with one coin. Well, with 109 coins, technically, but yeah. <laughs> All right, where's... We've got a few people who are, like, really far behind. Oh, what's... Is Ton still coming with us? Or there's, oh, were they following someone and then they went AFK? I reckon they had someone on follow. Oh, he had to swap. Okay. To Holly. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that's cool. We'll hang out here for a second. We're doing a battle anyway. Um, I should know when it prompts me to use portals. Well, it told me to use my Dalaran hearth. If you don't have the Dalaran hearth on that tune Shiba, then it wouldn't have told you, right? It also depends on if you've got, like, I've got it set to, uh, speed root. I'm not sure what your settings are at the moment. Strange mage is usually helpful. I mean, I main a mage, but Shiva doesn't, so maybe that's why. Shiva mains a hunter. Does that help? No. <laughs> she's just gonna message on Discord, by the way. I did! I did! Uh, I don't have Twilight Highlands portal. That's why it prompted you for Dal. There is no Twilight Highland. Ah. Oh. Right, so you don't have the portal to, like, from Orgrimmar to go to Twilight Highlands. Gotcha. Understood. That would be why. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Because I was like, there is no Twilight Hell. What the fuck are you talking about? And I'm like, oh, that one. <laughs> Not the one we make. The one that is made for us. Yeah, good. Good. I'm running out of water. I've been drinking water all day, guys. Proud of me. Uh, I have a feeling that this is a loss. The range on these towers, though. Good gracious. So much Luna Festival. Four items to go, though. That's awesome. Oh, that's so good. I've been entirely too busy to do anything lately. I just heard a ding. Congratulations to whoever that was. Uh, all right, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Um, make sure you place your units, guys. Follow the link in chat. Which is... 
Why is Link not in chat? That's really odd. Maybe the bot's broken again. Not my one. Maybe the stream raider's bot. But place your units. Time zone to you, Fade. Uh, let's turn this off and then turn it on. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, let us head south. Uh, if anyone wants to, oh, I got delisted. How did I get delisted? Hey, I hit Numlock, go. There we go. So if anyone would like to join us, you can see where we're heading next. Um, we're gonna just trap maybe. Ah, yeah, that's a good point. It might have. And it was you who dung! Fantastic, congratulations. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to join us on this tour, you're more than welcome to. Go. Uh, you can find us in uh, Group Finder if you're over 50. If you are under level 50, you can't access the Group Finder, um, which is, uh, that's, it, like, speaking on a handlebars comment, uh, I thought they unlocked when you get to 50. Uh, yeah, Shiba's tune is not 50. Um, so they might, but they're not unlocked for Shiba. Uh, so if you are under 50 and you're not able to use the Group Finder, you can whisper me uh, for an invite. And that's just exclamation invite in chat will get you a copy paste. So, they, oh, no, wait, shit. Wrong tune. Yeah, fuck. I'm on repressly. Fick, which is hard to spell. Uh, how far into tour are you? 10, 11. We're heading towards number 12. <clears throat> oh, good, thanks, looking over here. Classic coach, totally fine. Not a worry at all, Kraz. Enjoy, good luck, have fun. So I mean, thank you, Jack. Yep, that's the one. In case you're under level 50. Thank you, Shiba. You're both awesome. <clears throat> uh, okay, this one is the Iron Forge Elder. So this might be fun. <laughs> I don't remember where exactly an Iron Forge it is, so this will be this will be a time. Just keep moving, and you should be mostly okay, especially if you stay mounted. And don't double back. Don't double back because all the guards chasing you will. Uh... Yeah. Turn left. Why? What's? Oh, turn left as you go in. Perfect. Thank you. If you have a tank spec, I recommend it. Agreed. I'm already in blood. I'm already. I'm always in blood. I think Jas got home. I think I heard doors go. I'm telling myself I'm hard on this tune. Yeah. <laughs> Me, a squishy mage. If you hang back, Shiba, um, the people ahead of you should catch the aggro, and then you won't pull aggro because they're already aggroed onto someone if you sit, like, further back to the back of the pack. Um, that's what I usually find when I'm on my mage. <laughs> okay, in we go. There are some griffin riders you can duck low to avoid. And you don't have to land, I don't think. 
Alright, and we can head back again. GTFO, the Alliance fucking capital. <laughs> I think we've had a casualty. Oof, yeah. Level 49 hurts. Oh, is that two? Like two shot? Yeah, well, they're all level 60. Keep that in mind as well. So you're not only under leveled, but they're also... Yeah, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. Uh, I finally got into the docks today. Apparently it's my asthma that has been aggravated by COVID, but chest x-ray in the morning just to check. Peace of mind, hopefully the problem has been solved. Yeah, absolutely. Alright, look, checking is, is always a good idea. Because, like, I mean, it's it's an x-ray. Like, you do it, and then you know. As opposed to leaving it for months or, or whatever, and yeah, I definitely agreed. I uh, flew in on a 53, wasn't dismounted, got in and out. Fantastic, meaty, fantastic. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how, we did get a couple pulled there. I just, I didn't pull anything either. I never took aggro. I just kind of actually actively dodged them um, and it seemed to go pretty well. Like I didn't pull anything. Um, but then as I turned around to head out again, people had definitely pulled shit. So I'm not sure. Maybe they got a little close or something, unfortunately. That's okay. It's uh. After you've been doing these rounds for like, cause I've been doing these rounds for like quite a few years now, you kind of get used to what you can and can't do in in the other capitals. Um, it's certainly quite helpful to have that experience. <clears throat> okay, so we have our druid up here. We're just waiting for Ton. I think is joining it. Yeah, okay, well, we're heading that direction anyway, so we're gonna head for you. The sapphire bird is yay, took rest sickness, not gonna bother with this guy. Yeah, it's um, probs a, probs a good idea. Cause, like, especially considering, like, you get, if you do all the elders, uh, you get, I think it's 84 coin, no, 89? No, 94? I can't remember exactly. But uh, it's in, it's in, um, what's it? It's it's in Discord, but then you do. There's a quest to get 25 coins in um in Moonglade, um. So the 25 is enough to just like to buy to buy something that that two needs kind of thing. Uh, it's enough to buy five pieces of transmog if that's what. You're, and not the crowns, but the festive dresses and pantsuits and things. Um, so yeah, like you can you can definitely still get quite a few bits and pieces just even if you do miss the ones that are in capital cities. Go. So we're heading to Iron Band the Elder, who is in Searing Gorge. Um, I pulled him to try and take aggro. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Um, haven't bothered to get the opposite capital ones. I've only really done the full trips on leveling tunes. Yeah, very fair. I like understandable, one hundred percent. Eighty-four plus twenty-five for one hundred nine. Cool. Thank you. Math was hard for my brain for just a moment there for some reason. I was like. Is it, like, I got it right the first time, I just didn't trust myself. So, you know, I'm feeling like a bit of a, a numpty at the moment. Excuse me. Hogzilla, get off our elder. <laughs> oh, who's behind? Okay, yeah, that's all right. Got you. Thank you, Yuri. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. So yeah, I've got to do 109 coins. Sorry, 105 coins on this tune to get a, like to cover as many possible things as I can. 105. Um, so obviously I can I can miss four, but I don't know. Um, why have you only got 280 speed? Oh my god, you should absolutely buy faster flying. Holy shit. Oh my god. Like, it's actually worth it. <laughs> that, or if anyone else has got a two-person mount, they can, uh... This is poor baby tune. Oh, do you not have any other characters on the server? Okay. If anyone's got, like, a two-person mount, that would also... I can swap to sandstone. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, because that way Ton isn't uh, behind. We can, uh, oh, why? 
Do it. Okay, all right. Rumble Rock. December over. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, it's it's definitely worth it, especially when you're joining into to things like this, because um, yeah, you get left behind. <laughs> um, like obviously, it doesn't so matter. It uh, doesn't matter so much if you're doing like raids and dungeons and things like that. But um, hang on, we're gonna hold here, guys, just to let them catch up. Um, actually, yeah, no, we'll let them catch up and then we'll shoot across the map. But yeah, uh. When it involves lots of traveling, definitely worth upgrading. Definitely worth. Level 40 I did it on is almost 45. Doing panda pet battles and exploration. Reckon she get to 50 before Lisa. Ah, oh, fantastic. That's such good news. The best bit is it doesn't dismount you to grab these. Oh, it, yes, it doesn't dismount you to grab these, which is great. All right, enter Black Rock Mountain through the gate on the ground. Is what we're doing. A chair stream? When the fuck am I going to be able to do a chair stream? Maybe during a battle we'll, we'll take a break and stretch our legs. Uh, capital ones are easy to do very early in the morning or pretty late at night. No issue getting three hold ones as an ally. Fantastic. Wait, three? I thought there were four. Oh, maybe there, maybe there isn't. Um, yes. There is a group finder group that you can join or you can whisper this character if you're under 50. Just mount to open them shortly. Bags are full. Oh dear. Yeah, I think you really need to send some gold to that dune, hey? Goodness gracious. Black Rock Mountain. Ah, oh, wait, hang on. Oh, it's wanting us to go through the other way. No, fuck it, we'll go through this way. Alright, entering the portal to Black Rock Spire. This might be another one where we have to have people drop, but we'll see. It might also just be inside the dungeon. I'm not too sure, I can't remember. It's been like a year. It's not too bad. Close to recall. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Not exactly right inside the door, but also not like at the end of the dungeon either. These dungeon ones are frustrating. Yeah. Yeah. That's alright. We'll see how we go. Hopefully we can pick up most of them. With that, I did manage to get some more transfer pieces. We're doing them! Hey! Oh, that's awesome, Nutty. Fantastic. Alright. Um, you'll have to click the next arrow, Shiba. Because that one doesn't, that, that step doesn't register properly. path. 
Uh, Shiba, you'll need to click the next arrow because otherwise my guide won't step through automatically and neither will yours. There we go. <laughs> Like, I know you know where we're going, but I want it to skip automatically. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can't. Yeah, you can, it just did. I think you did anyway. It said you did, because it says you're not behind anymore. Sometimes we're outside. Perfect. Awesome. Not a worry, Nara. Slaughter everything, profit. Look, sometimes. Sometimes you get world drops that are, like, worth a shitload. In we go to BRD. We've got a mounted attempt in Utgard. Yay! Did get quite a few transform pieces, which was nice. Fantastic news. So glad to hear it. Oh, are we full? Yes, we're full and Shiba can't get in. Okay. Uh, where's Mourn Deep? Three hitter. So yeah, because these are dungeons and we have eight people in the group, um, not everyone's going to be able to get in at the same time. Which means we may need to wait outside uh, unless there are three people who decide they don't want them or need them. Pretty bear. Matches my makeup. Am I the mountain? <laughs> no, you are not. No, you are not. Um, yeah, I'm, I've decided that I'm not going to do, like, forms and things like that because it just, it, oh, it makes it too much of a mess. Too many. 900 and something is enough. Has it been guessed today? No, it hasn't. It is yet to be guessed. Um, I've got magenta pink kind of shade, like the same, same kind of color as the diamond in, in my crease. Uh, and it fades to a dark purple on the outside corner. And then I've got a green in the outside corner. Just a little bit of it, just to deepen up that outside. Uh, and then on my lids, I have like a creamy sort of shade. And this one, actually, when I packed it on, it's like it's cream, but when the light hits it, it, it shines like magenta, which is super cool. Um, but that was not intended. I didn't, because it didn't look like that in the pan. It didn't look like that until I put it on my face, which is kind of fun. Holy fuck. Okay. Sorry. I am um... <laughs> Um so I'm a member on a on a app website thingy. Um leave black rock depths. Okay, so our next one is like outside. Um did we have people who wanted to, it's at Stormwind. Um, did Shiba want to go in and yes, Shiba's in Black Rock Dots. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm a member of like a, an app slash website type daily thing where you can apply to be a part of like social media campaigns. And you guys might've seen there was a, a the Smith's chips, like the snack chip pack things. Um, so basically like I, I went down to like, I applied for that one and was accepted. And I went down to the store and I bought the packs of chips and scanned the barcode and they refunded me via PayPal. Uh, and then I did, and so it was free chips, like free snacks. And then I uh, did a social media post talking about them and had a picture and all that kind of shit. And uh, they pick, like obviously you get the free stuff and then they get their campaign and everything. Um, but they also pick a few people each campaign to win like a prize for like the best social media content. And I won that one. But it's not a prize, it's a hundred fucking bucks. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I mean, it's a, okay. It's it's a flexi gift. I don't know what that means. Select where to spend your flexi gift value. Major retail store gift cards, restaurant and pizza gift cards, movie, online shopping, music and app. Right. Okay, so like video game gift cards. Ah, EB Games. That's cool. 
Um, yeah, so there's I can exchange. So I've got a hundred bucks to spend on any combination of gift cards or vouchers up to the total available. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna have a look in there and see if I can use it to pay my groceries because that's what we do here. We're adults. <laughs> um, good lord. Anyway, uh, but the app is called Social Soup. Like, as in, like, soup, what I ate after my surgery and will eat again after this upcoming surgery. Uh, and it's social as in social media. Yeah. Um, but it's an app, and they're really good. Uh, I, I quite like them. I've, I've done a few campaigns with them. Uh, but that's the first time I've won. Um, has it been yesterday? No. Hello, Mentalist. How are you going today? Amber Ardmoth. No. Cheers to the Year of the Tiger. Indeed. Happy Lunar New Year. Phosphorescent Stone Drake. No. Or however it's spelled. Still no. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Did it. Fantastic. All right. Pork and mashed potato. That sounds delicious. Ah, uh, more photos. More photos. I won. The photo I took was good. You should have a look, honestly. If you're not already following my Instagram, the fuck are you doing? But no, seriously, have a look at the photo. I was really happy with that photo too. Like, I was so happy with it. I'm like, yeah, I'm proud of myself for that one. And so the fact that it won just makes, oh, mm, that feels really good. That feels really good. Recognition for my improvement as a phone photographer. <laughs> oh, God. Actually, speaking of which, next time I have like a, a gap, I need to talk to you guys about the photo shoot that I did because everything's, everything's good to go. Uh, Bone White Primal Raptor, no. Maddened Chaos Runner, no. Shimmer Mist Runner, no. Work. Congrats, thank you. Thank you so much. Fucking nice work. Much appreciated. Thank you. I think so. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, thank you for all of the congrats. Purple Skeletal Warhorse, that's the one. Well done, Ellie. That's it. Purple Skeletal Warhorse. Can I have a number from you between one and a hundred, please? Uh, basically pick a gift card. Yeah, exactly. But there's like a ton. So the major retail store, Big W, Maya, Priceline, Woolworths, uh, Harvey Norman, Coles, Kmart, Sephora, Super Cheap Auto, Target, Dimmix. Is Dimmix still open? I think they are, but they're all just downsized. OPSM, um, Bunnings, uh, eBay. I'm not someone who uses eBay very often though. Um, so I honestly, uh, it's probably just going to end up being uh, Woolworths gift card, but I will talk to Jas about it because um, it's income, right? It's unexpected income, but so is a donation. So like, I mean, fuck, <laughs> everything from Twitch at this point is basically unexpected income. Um, but yeah, I, I do want to make sure because I know I, I don't make as much as Jas does. And so there is a there is an uneven split on household expenses and stuff. So when I do come into something like that, I want to make sure that that I'm using it appropriately. So if that means that we need to spend it on groceries, then I'm 100% okay with that. Um, and if I do spend my winnings on groceries, then half of it gets paid back to me by Jess. So it's like, you know what I mean? Because we split everything 50-50 except for rent. Um, but it's still not, yeah. Anyway. Cool. Cha-ching, grats, thank you. Heck yeah, for free groceries. Fucking oath, right? And like with the amount that we eat, that's, wait, I reckon I could almost swing that as two weeks of groceries as well. Almost, not quite, but like, or like soft drink and shit. <laughs> Fun stuff from all because usually we shop at Aldi because it's a lot cheaper, right? So usually we go to Aldi, we buy everything that we possibly can from Aldi, and then we buy whatever we can't get at Aldi from Woolies because Woolies is more expensive. But having a Woolworths gift card means that we can go to Woolies and get something that's maybe a little bit more expensive, a little bit nicer, a bit fancier or whatever. And that's that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. Um, if you want to join. Thank you so much, Shiva, for the spamming. I love it. Oh, I love that you guys do some of my jobs for me. And it makes it just makes me so much like, oh, so happy. 
So happy. 48. All right, please. Thank you for the please. I appreciate it. Yes, give me just a second. When I touch down at the next one, I'll grab your car. Grab your key and let everyone else catch up as well a little bit. Although I might have to grab it and then go up <laughs> to get away from the guards and stuff, but we'll see. You said photo should be the beauty and coming into our lives. It's, look, can we go in from the top? Oh, it is at the top. Amaze balls. I thought it was like inside. Okay, here we go. I'm out of it and I'm out of combat. So if you come to the diamond, you'll also be out of combat. 48. I am grateful. 48. Ah, Matterhorn. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you for the donation. Holy shit. Oh my God. More groceries. I love that. I love that. <sighs> so kind of you. Thank you for your generosity. Oh my Lord. Ooh, Ali, this is a good one. This is, uh, the game's called The Turing Test. We actually played through this on stream like three years ago. Um, I had so much fun playing it though. It's like a, like a first person puzzly doover wacky. Like it's really good. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Uh, there you go. Key sent. All right, now that I'm here, let's have a very quick chat because I'm, I can pause kind of comfortably here. Um, I'm going to pull up an image. We're going to create new. We're going to make the source not visible just yet. I want to make sure it's the right size before I reveal it. Nope, this is the wrong folder. It's in this folder because although it's an image, it's a very specific image. And yeah, as I expected, that is fucking enormous. That is too large. Let's let's shrink that down a little bit. All right, so you guys know that a couple weeks ago, Jess and I did a photo shoot and I was very, very secretive and, and not talking very much about what the photo shoot was for. And here is a photo that we took during that photo shoot. Uh, I have got a sponsorship with Step One. Uh, Step One is an underwear company and these are the underwears that they sent me. Give me a second. have uh underpants i'm not going to show you me with them on because that will get me banned from twitch um but they are like they're bamboo first of all they are ridiculously soft and cup like like i cannot stop touching them when i've got them on it's ridiculous they are shorts as well like they're um if i kind of so they come down to here there's a a slippery sort of you might be able to see actually because they're black you probably can't see there's a seam along the inside here uh and there's a there's a part on the inside of the thighs that is like a slippery soft like kind of silky material so that if you are a person like me whose thighs rub together they won't <laughs> they slip beautifully it's it feels really strange the first couple times but then after a while, it, oh, it's just so comfortable. Everything just glides past each other and it's wonderful and lovely. Um, they have a, th this is their entire women's range. This is a brand new launch is the women's stuff. So they've got, um, I think it's Forest. I can't remember what they're called. They're all really pretty fancy names. Uh, I think it's called the Black. These ones are Black. Then there's Mahogany. Um, I've forgotten what the pink ones are called. The gray ones are called Microchip. Um, then there's like a pale, like a pale brown, pale skin tone, kind of like, like l pale skin tone, like, yeah. And then the white ones, um, but they're all just absolutely gorgeous. They fit incredibly well. Like my Lord, they do, um, because they started off with men's underwear. They've got a massive, enormous range of men's. This is the start of their women's range. Um, but they're still, they're, they're built quite similarly. They just, they don't have a pocket in the front because reasons um but of course doesn't matter what your gender is you buy what you feel most comfortable in so they do have um they've got long uh, for in the on the men's like the men's side of things they've got ones with the pocket in the front um they've got slightly longer short length and then they've got slightly shorter short length as well but then with the women's side they've got no pocket in the no pocket in the front no extra room in the front and uh, no, like there's no adjustment in length. They're all the same length. So have a read of what the products, that, have a read of the products that they've got. Choose whichever. I'm grateful. Oh my God, fairy. Jesus Christ. 
Oh my good groceries though, like real nice stuff. Oh my God, thank you so much. Oh my God, you guys, thank you fairy. Thank you for your generosity. I'm gonna buy the nicest fucking groceries for my two weeks of stressful shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get some really nice stuff that I can, like snacks. I'm gonna get some nice fucking, I don't usually buy snacks because I try to focus on eating my actual proper meals, um, but I'm gonna buy fucking snacks. Um, <laughs> you know what? Um, but yeah, so that's, Ta-da! So this photo is going up on Twitter tomorrow and it's going up on Instagram on Friday because of the way my feed is, is plotted out. Um, I do have a discount code for you. If you type in exclamation step one, S-T-E-P-O-O-N-E, -O -O -E, just all one word, step one, um, you will Mountain Dew, yes. I actually really like Mountain Dew, but the Woolies, our Woolworths, are the cold bottles, they only have the sugar-free uh, sugar free Mountain Dew and it tastes like shit. Um, but maybe they'll have bottles of full sugar stuff. Um, so exclamation step one will get you the link. It is not an affiliate link and it is not an affiliate code. I will not make any cashola from your purchase. However, however, the more sales we make, obviously, and, uh, this one is very particular on interaction with, uh, social media. So, uh, at the end of this whole campaign thing, um, I need to submit reports to the sponsors with a whole thing of like how many views my tweets and, and posts got, how many likes and comments and shares and blah, blah. I have to, all of that kind of stuff, um, is going into a report, which is going to be going to the sponsor. Um, so that's like, if you would like to support the stream, that's how to do it for free is interact with all the social stuff, share it, comment, like it, follow me, obviously, all that kind of stuff. And if you are looking for underpants or if somebody in your life, perhaps a partner with Valentine's Day coming up is looking for underpants, uh, I'm not even bullshitting you. I cannot recommend them enough. I, I can't recommend them enough. They are the most comfortable things I have worn in a very long time. Like they are without a doubt, Without a doubt, they are the most comfortable underwear I have ever worn, ever. And I have obviously, I've put all seven of them on, so <laughs> they all feel just the same. Um, I, I do like the way that the green one looks on my skin tone the best, though, which is why it's green in this photo. <laughs> but can we also just have a massive shout out for Jas? Because this, he took this photo. That's the photo Jas took. He took all the photos uh, that, that we have for this, this whole campaign. Uh, and he was incredibly patient with me and he was very, like, very flexible. And when I looked at a photo and said, I don't like that, he didn't take offense personally. We we made some adjustments and tried again. Um, he was just, just an absolute pleasure to work with. Uh, so, yes, thank you, Jess, for, um, and also, because, I mean, let's be honest, when we started the photo shoot, this is photos of me in my underwear. Like, I was not, I was not feeling supremely comfortable I, I was not at all feeling supremely comfortable and but the whole like through I, I did have um uh the top that I'm wearing is one of my pole dancing tops so it's got an extra couple of little strappy bits and stuff I think it's cute um but yeah I was I was super nervous going into this and Jas made me feel really comfortable and he got some really good shots and when he was like hmm something doesn't look quite right how about we try this or this or this and uh, and we did and it worked and it was great um so yeah Shout out to Step One for including me in their campaign. Shout out to Jazz for taking some killer fucking photos. Um, actually, do I have? Let me just see if I've got. Actually, no, I might get banned if I show that one on. It's not. It's not explicit. It's just not. This. This is very obviously product photography. Um, like the one that I've got here. Yeah, okay, shut up, dingaling. There we go. Um, that one was obviously product photography. The other one that I have is like a little more like personable, personal kind of. It's it, it's not, I mean, it is definitely still product photography, but it's not as obvious. It's not like, look at this product that I have. It, you know, yeah, it's, it's a bit different. So I'm not sure whether Twitch would be okay with me showing that one or not. Um, I know that Instagram will be because... Uh, the step one page is covered with things like it, um, but I don't, like, Twitch might be, uh, not. 
not as tasty here. What's here? Oh, there's a portal. Oh, cool. All right. Let's take the portal. Make a look at chat. <laughs> um, all right. Let me scroll back up and catch up on everyone. Um, uh, how great would be a would be, but like how great would being able to buy a hundred dollars worth of groceries that well, I choose? Yeah, like right. Come on, we get fancy groceries. Fancy groceries. Um. I could go well towards some big, good, big batch cooks. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Pull out the slow cooker. It's still a bit warm for the slow cooker, but if I shut my bedroom door and have the slow cooker in the kitchen and then turn the air con in here, I wouldn't even tell. I wouldn't even be able to tell. So it'd be fine, right? Totally fine. Oh, is this another dungeon one? I think it is. Uh, more KFC incoming. KFC would blow the whole fucking thing. KFC is not cheap. It, like, fast food used to be, like, cheap. You know, cheap and shitty and, and I mean, not, you know, not, not shitty. Like, it was still yummy, but it was, like, not very good for you and just blah, blah, blah. Nowadays... Nowadays, that shit be expensive. Like, Jas and I will go to KFC and it'll come out at, like, 60, 70 bucks. It's like, what the fuck? Ah, uh, Ripperoni to the Fairport. Nah, it's fine. Everything's fine. It's a great company too. Yeah, it is. I'm so happy. Like going through their their feed and stuff. When they first, so they hadn't announced the women's wear, um, the the women's line when, um, when I was offered the contract. Like when they sent me the contract, I was like, oh, um, this is dude stuff. Like this is this is boy clothes. Um, let me just. I have to see if Jazz is okay with this. Um. And then they're like, oh no, 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 we're, we're, we're looking for people of all genders. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool, not a problem. Um, and so I assigned it. And then when they when they sent me it and I opened it up, I'm like, wait a second, this says women's. I was so happy. So fucking happy. <laughs> I thought I was doing work and they were, I, I thought I was going to be doing work and they were going to be paying Jazz. But um, no, nah, I'm just, I'm overjoyed. But we are definitely picking up Jazz a few pairs. Like, 100%, because they are just so comfy and just, like, oh, yeah, so good. So fucking good. All right, I'm going to head on out. I think we've got one or two people, maybe a few more we'll have to wait for outside. That's okay. Why can't I loot? Oh, there we go. Loot. Um, once you've got your elder, please zone out so that someone else can zone in. Oh, excuse me. Um, very tasteful picture. Thank you, Nano. I really like that. That one was my idea. That was my because I'm like we got because I have to do like I'm contracted to a certain number of posts and stuff. I'm like shit. What am I gonna do for the other posts? And I was scrolling through their feed trying to get ideas, and then I saw a flat lay of the women's line, and I'm like, I reckon I could do that, but like, on me. And Jas was like, what? And so I'm like, okay, fold. And so he helped me fold them all and then really carefully move them. And then I kind of lay down next to them and put them on my leg. And I'm like, take the photo. And he was like, oh, and then he like, <laughs> it was good. It was good fun. Uh, so are we all good? Is that everyone? Uh, I'm going to do a ready check. Have we all done the in the dungeon one? Yes, if you've done it, or if you're happy skipping it. Cool, that's everyone, let's go. How comfy are they? Because I see the ads and I'm intrigued. When I say that they are the most comfortable underpants I have ever worn, I am, I'm not, firstly, I'm not lying, and I'm also not exaggerating. They are ridiculously comfortable. They are ridiculously comfortable. We were we were wondering if Jas actually wanted to. Like, okay, we were wondering if Jas would actually want to get some some for himself. And I said, well, you know, our waist because they do it by waist measurement. The because the the legs and the body like of them are so fucking stretchy, like ridiculously stretchy. And so they actually do the measurements for your size by the waistband. And Jas and I have a very similar waist size. I am smaller and chunkier, and he is taller and thinner. Um, but we have the same waist size, which is really strange. So I threw him a pair. I said, look, they may, you may be a little bit uncomfortable in the front section. Give him a try. See what you think. 
So he did. And he's like, I want some, <laughs> but preferably maybe with a pocket in the front. I'm like, okay. <laughs> So yeah, he yeah they are extremely comfortable even when they don't have enough room for your junk. Uh, <laughs> bamboo is great. They're so soft. Yeah, and hold shape so well. Absolutely, these ones don't have a whole lot of shaping. Um, there are a couple of seams here and there, but there's not um, because it's got that that strip through the middle for the slippy against the thighs. Um, there's not a whole lot of um, shaping to the garment, uh, but they're very very comfortable. Love bamboo, have bamboo sheets. Oh, amazing. I've got a bamboo cover on my weighted blanket uh, and bamboo uh, a pillow slip, but I've also got a silk pillow slip. So that's the one I actually use. Uh, it's like one side is silk and the other side is just a matching polyester thing. Uh, and it's designed for like skincare and stuff. Um, uh, silk doesn't catch like other fabrics do, so it can't fold and then press against your skin. So you don't wake up with the creases and stuff on your face, which apparently something, something wrinkles. Um, but also it doesn't soak up my skincare. Um, so if I put like a heavy night cream on at night uh, and then lie down on my silk pillowcase, it doesn't, tra it, the, the pillowcase doesn't soak up all the good shit on my face. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, um, that's just for that. Uh, I definitely prefer a trunk style. Well, I, I've never worn trunk style underpants before. Um, I, I always wear like, like, I mean, boy shorts. Yeah, but they're not like shorts. They're just not high cut. They're like low, like, you know what I mean? And they've got longer down the sides. That's the style that I usually wear. Um, but these are so good. I was a little bit concerned, like if I pulled on jeans or leggings, that it would pull on the, the hem at the bottom of the, the leg and like roll it up. You, you, do you know what I mean? Um, kind of like if you're wearing long socks and they roll down your leg. I was afraid that the underwear would roll up my leg and leave that kind of mark, the little lumpy line around my thigh where the underwear was, but it didn't. I don't know how they fucking imbued this shit with magic, but it didn't. Um, I'd imagine that you'd probably, like, if I was doing it more regularly, I'd probably have to, um, like, just be a little more careful if I was pulling on, say, leggings and just sort of adjust the, the hem of them a little bit. But, um, they, they were fine. Like, <laughs> so fine. And I've washed them. And I have washed them because, of course, clothing needs washing, especially underwear. Um, and I, I washed them. I did them on a cold cycle. I always wash all of my clothes on a cold cycle. I wash my sheets and my towels on a hot cycle, but my, cl my clothes I do on a cold cycle. Um, except occasionally I'll do Jass's work gear on a hot cycle because that shit smells. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I do them on a cold cycle with the rest of my clothes, like with light colors. So lighter ones with lighter ones and darker ones with darker ones and then line dry. No, no tumble dry. I pop them on the line and they were dry within a couple of hours, which is shocking for fucking humid as fuck Queensland. Um, but, oh, I dinged. I'm 52. Nice. But yeah, so they dried really quickly. They washed really well. They didn't lose any of their softness. They didn't pill. They, none of that kind of stuff. Granted, it is the first wash, so I get that it might be like different. But uh, yeah, they they washed really well because the, my my fear is always that shit goes wrong after the first wash. Um, in fact, I think one of the pairs had a couple of little loose threads here and there, and after the wash, those loose threads were gone. Uh, but there was no like put, there, no no missing stitches or anything. It was just that something had gotten caught under another stitch, and the the washing machine just washed it away, which is great. Um, so because I I'm always afraid of pulling at loose threads, because oh boy. Uh, but yes, they were awesome. I have some non-step one bamboo underpants for when I work, so that when I'm walking quickly between tables upstairs downstairs, there's no chub rub. Yeah, and it's amazing. Uh huh. Uh huh. The the slippy bit. Oh my god, it's just so nice. So nice. Especially like under skirts and shit. Cause I mean, I wear, I wear a lot of skirts, not necessarily on stream because I'm fucking petrified of accidentally, like, you know, something gets caught up somewhere and I get banned from Twitch. Um, so I don't tend to wear a lot of skirts on stream, uh, but I do in my actual life. And uh, I've got, a, I've mentioned before that I have a couple of pair, a couple of skirts, especially ones that I've gotten from YesStyle, a couple of skirts that have built in shorts so that you can't flash accidentally. Um, but like, it's great because you have the protection there, but it's also, it can get a bit annoying because if the shorts, the, the skirt fits great, but the shorts don't quite fit you and stuff like that, it can be a little bit awkward. Um, but this prevents that. And with seven different fucking colors, I know there's a battle already. I just remembered. Um, 
with all the different colors, you're gonna be able to match whatever the fuck you're wearing. So if you wanna have some, like, you know, protection under your skirt in case of wind or whatever, bam, you got it. <laughs> Trying to invest again because reasons. Uh, I'm forever now calling it Chub Rub. Oh, is that the first time you've heard that, Nutty? Oh my goodness. Yeah, Chub Rub is a, it's absolutely a thing. Absolutely. All right, I'm gonna, there's an elder here, but I'm gonna stop here for a sec. Oh. Oh, there is Winterhoof. It's, okay, so now it's telling me to take the Dalaran Hearthstone. Um, because we're going to Vashia. Um. Uh, and no VPL. Oh, visible panty line. Right. For, for trunks, yeah, because the panty line is so far down your legs. Like, yeah, no, it's great. I can help you. Good morning, hello Z, how you doing? Wait, how do we donate? Um, so if you wanted to donate to stream, there is a panel underneath. You can also type exclamation donate and it'll bring up a link for you as well. Um, but yeah. Uh, always wanted to start streaming where I have no idea how to notice it. Ah, no idea to start. Hard to be good at content when I solo. I do nothing but solo, mostly. You just gotta stream what you enjoy doing, cause that this is the big thing. Don't don't stream something that you don't like doing because you think it'll be good content. You gotta find that Venn diagram where you've got the circle of things you like doing and things that are entertaining to watch, and then you stream the bit that's in the middle. <laughs> I've been doing it for six years now, and that's that's how I that's how I've organized it. So it's underwear. Yes, Mountain Dew. Fuck yes. I think yeah, I made the comment about the sugar-free Mountain Dew. It's shit. Don't bother. Uh, <laughs> it tastes like diabetes. <laughs> Self-check for your step one post. Eriday! Yas! Oh, God. I've been so interested in them, but never known someone who has them to ask about them. I have influenced you. Go ahead. Go, go forth and be influenced. All right. Uh, we won! Congratulations to Loza, Koala, and Meaty on your bonus shits. Um, as Francis Boogie stated. Oh, fair enough. Ah, uh, good job, Justin. Freaking great job. Top, top quality photo. And that's unedited. That is a totally 100% unedited photo. He found the aspect ratio setting on his DSLR. And so he took all of the photos in, in square form because the, the worst thing is taking a photo and being like, oh yeah, that's, that's within the square. We'll just, we'll crop it down later. And then you go to do it and you realize that when you put it to square, you can't quite get the whole photo in and you just, you've ruined it. So we shut, we moved the aspect ratio to one to one so that we could make damn sure we got everything we needed to in the frame. Um, and yeah, it worked really well. I'm, I'm so happy. Wonderful photos. Shadow burb. Job jazz. Sorry, Lil. Why are you why are you apologizing, channel? Uh not explicit, but awkward toss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they'll they'll be fine on Twitter, they'll be fine on Instagram. And let look, may, hey, maybe someone might report me, but there is absolutely zero nudity. There's no there's no suggestive anything. It's not I it's not like that. I i I'm not sure I could keep a straight face doing that shit, to be honest. Uh like it's just it's not kinda me. Um but, uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, it's, it is a little bit more, it's a full body shot rather than just the product. So I feel like maybe that might get me some questionable looks. Uh, but you'll just have to watch Instagram and fucking Twitter to see them, won't you? Um, well, if you Google for Flammer wearing step one, you probably won't find anything. If you Google for Fiyama wearing step one, you might find stuff. Oh, I can't use the Vashir portal either. Fuck, how many are there in Vashir? Well, there's one. And then, oh, so there's only one in Vashir anyway. Okay, thank fuck for that. All right, I'll we'll wait for you to go to Twilight and fly west. 
Oh, that is such a long fucking flight though. And for one coin, I've got four that I can miss. So I think I'll choose this as my first that I'll miss. Vashi is always a pain in the ass. <clears throat> um, it's not as obviously product placement. -y. Yeah, that is that is very clearly like that's a flat lay, except there happens to be a body in some of it, you know. Uh, whereas the other one is a photo of me wearing a product. Um, but yeah, I had to reset my internet. But yes, step one, how fucking great are they? As soon as I found out they made them for me, I was like, yes, and bought some. Yay! I'm so sorry that that happened that quickly, Yori, because I've got a 15% discount code that you can use. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. Well, I mean, if you want to stock up. <laughs> Hello, Cookie. Excited for you getting these chances. Me too, Landa. Me too. It's expensive, like a McDonald's, a McD for the same burger and fries and water is 10.45. Yeah, it definitely, it's definitely gone up over the years. Costs a lot more nowadays for junk food. It absolutely does. Ah, uh, just check step one. Women's range must be doing really well. A lot of it's listed as notify me. Yeah, it's only been out for like two weeks or something now. Like it's really, really like very new. Um. Expensive and not good for you. I know, right? I uh, know. KFC is slightly cheaper. I've always thought about streaming and having my own community. I think it'll be fun. Well, go for it. Have some fun with it, monkey. It's interesting. It's all my boyfriend wears. Ah, amazing. There you go. Long enough that chafing isn't a problem. Yes. Have some bamboo socks. I find that they're super warm. I've been buying men's trunks for years because I find them typically a little more comfy. I don't like so high a cut. Totally fair. Totally fair. Well, these are like f judging by like, cause I, I do the laundry. Uh, and so I deal with Jess's underpants and stuff like that. And like looking at them, they are cut the same way. They're put together the same way. The only difference is that there's no extra room in the front. It, where, where you've got the two overlapping pieces of fabric as a pocket for the front part, it's just one solid piece of fabric. And no, and it's not like shaped outwards or anything like that. It's just, it's just flat. So they're, but they are so fucking comfortable. So comfortable. All right. looks like we're all back. I can't see any other colored dots anywhere. So dark on the elder go. Ah, uh, this is about battle ready when you get to time for it. Scort sphere. No, see, scorts are a pair of shorts that have a flap that pulls across the front to make it look like a skirt. That is a scort. What I'm talking about, What I'm talking about is a literal skirt from all angles. No, no, no shorts at the back. None of that kind of stuff. Total, like 100% a skirt. No, no, no short bits. But then underneath it, it has shorts on, on the, on the inside. Like that's what I'm talking about. Not, not a skirt. <laughs> not a skirt. Skirts, you can see the pant legs at the back. Scorts are a pair of pants with a slide of fabric that you can pin over the front. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, everyone else stopped too. Shit, okay. Uh, <laughs> Sky Gleam the Elder. Uh, I don't like the high cut either. Most women's underwear. I don't like men's underwear because most are too small. Um, my shoe is easy. Fly above it, dive down. Didn't even need a water potion, just a water mount. But then you need to get to Vash. Yeah, it just takes too long. That's okay. In regards to the code, though, I'm fucking down for it because I want more. Yes. They sent me the whole line. When I opened up the packet, I'm like, holy shit, there are seven little packets here. And then I opened it up and I jumped online. I'm like, they've sent me the whole fucking thing. I'm the fucking Jesus. So, yeah, I'm. Oh, I'm so happy. It's a whole week's worth of comfy undies. Like, how can I say no to that? Apparently they're looking at expanding the size range and color range. Oh, fuck yeah. Absolutely. The The size range is already pretty fucking awesome. It can always be more inclusive. Always. Like, always. But I think they did pretty good for a first run. And yeah, the, the seven colors that they've got, I think it's a really good, like, you've got white, you've got black, you've got your, your basics. There's a pale pink 
and a, a pale like like this kind of shade, like a you know um, browny sort of yellowy sort of creamy kind of color, and then also mahogany, which is your nude for darker people, uh, and then they've got the pale gray, which is I think they call it microchip. Uh, it's like a really pale gray, not a mull, not like speckled ear. It's actually pale gray, which I'm here for. And then forest, that deep green is the most beautiful color on my goddamn skin tone. It's fucking gorgeous. Hella fucking gorgeous. All right, we're heading up this way. Love that one. Uh, yes. Oh shit. Oh, it must just be delisting due to activity every so often. That's right. Every time I notice it's not there, I'll reopen it. Thank you for letting me know, Shiba. To get a discount on mine from the Honey add-on, which was that code anyway. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, so the code and the link are not affiliated. They're not, um... Uh, I, there's no commission, there's no fear gets a cut, there's none of that kind of stuff. Um, into the dragon dungeon. What dragon dungeon? No, it wasn't the dungeon because I checked it when we came out of um, the temple and it was still fine. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not because of the dungeons. It's just timing out due to inactivity. Um, hey, a nurse. Yeah, it was a good thought, but uh, not correct, unfortunately. But yeah, that's okay. It is what it is. Mm. But yeah, extremely happy about that particular partnership. So there is a there is a small panel underneath the stream. Uh, I need to redo a bunch of my panels, but guess who has time for that? Not fear. Um, and there's the 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 bot will be posting about it every so often, and you'll have the exclamation step one command to pull it up whenever you need it, like if you personally need it as well. Um, yeah, all all good to go. We'll be there for got a while, I think. Why is reverse harem with one woman, lots of men? Looking up romance books for mum. Why aren't both harems? Um, I would say it's because there's a, a language thing. Harem isn't a, natural, a natively English word, so it'd probably translate to something that specifically mentions about women. Like, not everything is trying to be misogynistic. It's literally just that's how language works sometimes. Like, a, a brothel isn't traditionally, uh, it, it's, it's, you know, not traditionally men or both genders, it's traditionally females who are working there, you know, women, um, stuff like that. Like, it's just, yeah. If you started talking to somebody about a harem, they would assume you were talking about a bunch of women. Because that's what we know it to be culturally. Just because something shouldn't be said some way doesn't mean that society still, like, you know what I mean? You, you still need to clarify sometimes. Yeah. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. It could be one of any, one of multitudes of reasons, but, um, yeah. Go. <clears throat> I'm getting 4,000 a pop now. Now that I'm 52. So isn't that exciting? Have they got a bunch of, um, are they out of stock? Oh, wow. Yeah, holy shit. So the black is sold out in every size except extra small. That's tap shoe. Butterscotch has extra small and small left. Stone, I thought my thing said microchip. Maybe they've renamed a couple of them. Stone has extra small, small and extra large left, which is the gray one. 
White has extra small, small, extra large, and 2XL. This is just the women's um, range though, so I mean, men's will obviously probably have more. Mahogany has extra small, small, extra large, and two extra large. The the photo of Mahogany on the website is a little, I think it's a little bit lighter. Maybe, I don't know. Colors on, t on screens are hard. Um, what's the pink one? Blush is completely sold out. No blush. And Forest is also completely sold out. Fair enough. It's fucking beautiful. Well then. Well then. The men's range though, like good lord. They have an enormous range. Um, ah yes, ambiguity annoys me to no end and assumptions made with realizing that they are assumptions. What about the harem thing, mentalist? Well, it's, it's not necessarily ambiguity. It's the word has been used to describe this particular arrangement of humans for literally centuries. And so to change our language around that to be less gendered, like big fucking changes need to be made. And often it's just not worth making those changes because the word harem is not offensive to anyone, I don't think. Like it's just, it's a description. Of a, yeah, anyway. It's like saying that the word brothel is offensive. It's it's not. It describes a place of business. Um, things in general, not specific to harem. All right. Well, because your your statement is incredibly ambiguous. Like it's incre like very vague, very wide ranging. I would imagine. So I was trying to understand it more closely, in respect to this particular situation. And I assumed you were talking about the situation, and clearly that assumption was wrong. <laughs> aha, aha. Yeah, look. Ah, oh, dear. Uh, yeah, the the phasing thing would definitely be a thing. Uh, especially given the level difference as well. Like, sitting at 60, you'll have a lot of stuff that defaults to a particular phase, whereas someone who's under level 50 will have much different fa like different phases and stuff. Yeah. We've got somebody falling off a two-person mount, is the issue. I might have to hang out here for a bit, because there's uh, a bit of fun stuff going on. Uh -huh, indeed. Yeah. Language in and of itself is... Uh, Effect. <laughs> okay. Righty. Uh, we travel to the past. Oh wait, hang on, are we still missing? Ah, yep, yeah, okay. I'm out of water. Mm -hmm. I'm most certainly out of water. Hey, Jas, did you make another bottle of lemonade when you drank the rest of it last night, or did you just leave the empty bottle there? I'm glad we've at least done Eastern Kingdoms. That's nice. Okay. Oh, the battle. 
<clears throat> Might as well choose the elder. <laughs> okay. Now, this one is inside Telta Show, which means we need to take Pink Portal and, uh, go from there. So just watch yourselves with the, um, just fly up. Oh, you can do that these days? Shit, okay. They do, I swear to god, there used to be a, uh, a wall, like, like an invisible wall somewhere along the way. <clears throat> I can't wait to take all these things off. It's gonna feel so fucking good. And this is just the first, this is the first one of the year, you know? Got so many, so many more to go. There are lots of sentinels there. Try not to touch the ground. Try, get out and like space bar it out <laughs> once you once you've got it completed. Okay. Look at all these elders. So many we've done. Look at them. Yes. Okay, we can we can take that flight, I think. It's saying Haster actually can we port to Orgrima? Can we find a safe place and port to Org? <clears throat> or Thunderbluff, that works too. Thank you. Strange. I feel weird not being the one giving the portals. <laughs> it is strange. I haven't got too many things left to buy. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay, this is River Song, the Elder. <clears throat> Let's 
song. For bringing a mage. <laughs> Thank you. Well, one day I'm not going to need anything on it. Like I'm sure, I'm sure that there's going to be holidays that come up that I'm not actually going to need anything specific to a particular tune, um, and I'll be using fear for those. So I'll be the one porting. But yeah, just because like engineer, <laughs> I need all the fucking schematics. You know. Ugh. Have you been playing more Pokemon every night? Actually, yeah. Um, I played a little bit more yesterday, and then because of the handheld, I'll I'll sit in bed for a little bit and play because yeah, it's it's nice. You know. Um, so I am still four stars, but I am in the Crimson Mylands, and I've done the second Pokemon that has a Warden, you know, like the special- the second glowy Pokemon. I've done the second glowy Pokemon. I don't want to, like, say what the species is, because I don't want to give, like, spoilers or anything. Um, but I've done the second glowy Pokemon, but I think I'm just after that. Um, yeah. So, yep, I gotcha. Cool. Awesome. I just, I don't know what is considered spoilers and not, like, you know, the, the species of Pokemon. Um, but yeah, kind of shiny magic up. Yeah, Jared told us. That is amazing. Oh, I did. You know how there's people standing around everywhere? Uh, and you can talk to them and they kind of give you hints, you know, like trainer tips. Yep. Yeah. Um, I spoke to one in the Crimson Mylands when I was heading up towards the second glowy Pokemon. And he said... I could have sworn one of the Pokemon in that swarm was a different color. So that tells me, that kind of makes me feel like if there's a swarm, one of them's gonna be a shiny. Or maybe they've got a higher likelihood of spawning shinies or something like that. And I don't think that that's a spoiler because firstly, it's a mechanic, not storyline. And secondly, it's like told to you by an NPC in the game. But like, you know, it's yeah, so. You have a chance with swarms? Yeah, but you have a chance with literally anything, don't you? Can't they just randomly spawn fucking wherever? Uh, Moon Warden, the Elder. <sighs> swarms like a hyper spawn. Yeah, there's a, like a shitload of them everywhere. I did, uh, I saw a bubble. I went in my first bubble and it was not pleasant. Portal, why are you portal? Oh, it's fine. Like, you, it's, like, oh, not quite equidistant, but close enough. <clears throat> Bubbles are scary. Yeah, I feel like they're going to be hella fucking bonkers by the time I've got, like, a bunch of level 60, 70 Pokemon. Um, but I'm not there yet. I think my first couple have just hit 30. Um, so, I think I have a 30 Quilava. No, my Quilava's, like, 32, I think. And... Um, one other one is like 30, I think. I don't remember which one though. Like I keep thinking I've got a relatively balanced team and then I'll come up across something and it's like everything I have is nothing is super effective. I'm like, oh, good. Um, obviously I don't have the perfect team, but uh, it's still, you know, decently balanced, which is nice. Yeah. All the big people like, come here, chase you the fuck down. Yeah, and Jas, Jas died in one of them, or fainted or passed out or whatever, um, inside a bubble. And I'm like, you numpty, why don't you run out of the bubble? They can't chase you because they're part of the thingy, right? They have to stay with the event. I was wrong. I was in a bubble and I managed to get like seven or eight different things on me. So I just ran out of the bubble and I was standing there. I'm like, ah, ha ha. And then they come through the bubble. And I'm like, fuck. And I ran. So <laughs> that was the time. That was the time. I did, however, pick up a couple of shards, like red shard and a green shard. And so Jas is really curious as to why they are popping up in the bubbles. I have a balanced team. Proceeds a bit clapped by any rock type. Look, you, look. Alpha Snorlax is scary. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I found an alpha Tangrowth and I was like, but the funniest one I think so far was the alpha Wurmple. It just, it was so out of place. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? Why are you the same size as me? You're a fucking worm. Fucking giant caterpillar bullshit. It was, yeah, it was a time. For nuggets and balls, do 10k gold. Holy shit. That's a lot. An alpha worm ball to angry worm. Yeah. Yup. It's just... 
Wind Totem the Elder. Hey Jas, now that you're here, did you make another bottle of lemonade or not? When you when you said I'm used the last of the lemonade, did you proceed to make more? <clears throat> nope, I was tired. Are you tired now? <laughs> The Elder Names are so unique. No, no, no they're not. <laughs> but that's okay. Winter, I mean, it's obviously Torin, you know? It's fine. Yep, I swear. Jazz, can you please restock us? I usually make more when I'm the one who drains the bottle. Rune to we've gone from Wind Totem to Rune Totem. It's fine. Everything is fine. How many? Yeah, look, I'm going fine. I've got plenty of bag space. Um, there's two empty bottles, so you can probably make some lemon lime bitters too. Because they both are delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chaos. Who is excited for Logu Grogu on Friday? God. High Mountain, the Elder. I kind of feel like I need to go back and do more of the secrets. <laughs> I've only got like four left and one of them is only, one of them is um, Demon Hunter. I'm gonna go buy a toy from, from a Demon Hunter vendor. Love Lemon Lime Bitters. Me too, honestly, me too. And this stuff isn't too bad. Like I'm, usually I'm a fucking stickler in that if you're going to have Lemon Lime Bitters, it needs to be lemon and lime soda and you need, or, or like lemonade with lime cordial and you add bitters, like Angostura bitters. But the Soda Stream branded syrup is actually pretty good for Lemon Lime Bitters. Like it's not, it's definitely not as bitter as I would usually like it to be. Like I love adding extra bitters to mine. But, um, it's still pretty fucking good. <clears throat> um, so where are all of the elders who have a 50 weeks of the year? Do they hang out somewhere mushering about young people today? If so, visiting them there could be a lot less trouble time. Look, I agree. Um, I'm not sure where they go. I think they have, like, a super secret squirrel retirement village where no one else is allowed to go just for like this specific reason so they don't get bothered for coins all the time best recipe best recipe yeah uh what's going on fix i'm, I'm not sure what damn sun is in reference to i think somewhere in Ouroboros. yeah look potentially that is that is definitely a possibility Mountain the Elder complete. Mm, the Hangout in Moonglade. Yeah, fair. For a while, not a problem at all. Thank you for coming along. Bloodhoof the Elder. Let's go. It takes more than two minutes to organize and get a portal done. Yeah, look, it does sometimes, eh? Hey? Um, 
Hello, Pixie. Welcome to chat. Ad. Oh, right. Okay. Yep. I'll wait until after the ad uh, break is finished until I answer the question. I have no idea what you're talking about, Fix. Like, you come in and the first thing you say is damn son. I'm like, okay, what? What? Like, in reference to what? I would love to engage with you and have a conversation with you. If I understood what the fuck you were on about. <laughs> Can't talk to you if I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Uh, cool. Blood hoof complete. We're on to wheat hoof. All the hoofs. Where is wheat hoof on this list? There's we to a very last one on the list. So because it's the Thunder Totem one. It's Elder, but it doesn't matter. By the Sunwell. That still doesn't make any sense. Channel with the resub. Much appreciated. Ah, uh, gross. Okay. Um, that's fine. Everything is fine. Thank you so much for the resub channel. Much appreciate the support and generosity. Alright, we're going in tomorrow because we hate ourselves. Uh, cool. So the ad is finished. Pixie, uh, welcome to chat, firstly. Uh, what quest tracker slash helper do you use? I'm trying to find one that Gail helps me find the quest givers to. Uh, the name of it's just here. It's Zygor. Um, so... It's a, there's a, there's a free version, which is just the add-on and a handful of guides. Uh, and then you can purchase additional guides for a monthly subscription, which is their premium package. Um, I can't remember if the holiday events are in the free one or the premium one, uh, cause I've been using premium for about a decade now. Uh, it just, it helps with so many things. Like I have a full account of fifties or 50 plus tunes anyway. Uh, that's 50 level 50 plus characters. And I leveled all of them using Zygor. Um, like all of them from scratch. I don't use boosts. None of them are boosted. Um, and yeah, so I've been using it for a, a very long time, but it depends on how, like, because there is, because there is obviously a payment associated with premium. Um, it's, it really depends on how often you want to use it and how, uh, how many of the different available guides you would use. Uh, to, you know, figure out whether or not it would be worth it for you personally. But I, as far as it's worth, I can absolutely recommend it. Um, there is, a, if you type exclamation Zygor, I have a referral link. I don't get paid. I'm not affiliated with them. Like there's no, it, it's not, I'm not selling you anything here. This is, that's not how, what it's about. Um, I would, I would hate for you to spend your hard earned cash on something that isn't right for you. That's not how I operate. Uh, but it is important for you to know that if you did sign up and paid for your premium account using my link, then I would get a dollar off per month, my subscription, while yours was still active. Uh, so I do get a benefit, it's just not money. Um, so yeah, it's important for me to know that you know that. <laughs> Sorry for the ranting, it's kind of what I do. I'm a ranter. Is this the right direction? No. Maybe? Yes. Yeah, no, I definitely didn't answer it because I saw you mention the ads and so I stopped and then waited for the ad break to, to finish. I run 90 seconds of ads every 30 minutes uh, to turn pre-rolls off because um, <laughs> there's a there's data that says people are more likely to hang around through a mid-roll than they are to hang around through a pre-roll. Um, unfortunately, they kind of act as pre-rolls sometimes when people come in right before an ad break starts. So that part sucks and I do apologize for that. But uh, yeah. Uh, it is not on Curse. They have their own website. Um, entity 
Ikea style and boards and boxes. Fantastic, Matt. I hope that they, I hope they're wonderful and amazing and comfortable. All that kind of shit. Appreciate it. No worries. Of course, of course. Seems really fair. Uh, is gold guides good in Zygor? I don't really use them very often, so I'm not too sure I use my garrisons for gold making. Um, but I do know that I've often used the gold guides, like, if I'm targeting a particular, uh, like, ore or herb. Um, if I set up the gold guide, it gives me, like, a farming route. I don't know if they're, like, gold per hour or anything like that is accurate. I'm, I'm not sure. I've never really tested it from that perspective, but it is really, like, they're... There we go. This time, at least, it gives me a thing. Um, it's fantastic for actually farming. Um, yeah, just not too sure about the accuracy of the, the values and stuff. Right, so... There is no ant trail for this one. This must be what Meaty Oyori was talking about. I don't remember who it was that was saying it. There is no. There's no ant trail for this one. Good. Great. Man, are you into what? There's no one in the queue to join. So if you want to join the group, then you need to do that. Um, but this is a dungeon, which means that not this, not this entire group will be able to fit, because we've got seven people, and it's a dungeon for five, so... If you're in the group at the moment, people, you won't be able to zone in. Where the fuck is this elder? To uh, No, this is World of Warcraft, as is obvious by the category that I'm streaming to that can be seen directly under the video player. I don't play Guild Wars 2. They say to go to non-purple, non-orange entry and there's an ant trail. Ah, oh, okay. So there's an ant trail from this one but not from the one that it told us to go through. viewing the stream fix. Besides the fact that if you've ever played GW2 you'll know that this is absolutely not it. I think it's entirely and completely different. Get that far down the waterfall, you get an ant trail. Ah, uh, okay. Gotcha. So is it is it past this part of the map? Or is it past, like... Um... Let's see. We'll just keep going, see how we go. you have to jump off. Okay, cool. Perfection. Uh, off the waterfall, guys. This one. Still no ant trail. Maybe when we phase through to the next when the next spot. Yeah, okay, here we go. Gotcha. Yeah, that's really strange. That way. 
tracks. So that is the one thing that I don't have from that boss across all characters, except it's the wrong, <laughs> wrong armor type. That's really funny. started a new character. I'm playing Volpera Death Knight. Very fun. Oh good, Matt. I hope you really enjoy it. It is super cute. Little tiny fluffy DK. Like, <laughs> that's really funny. Hope it works supremely well for you. What points have I got now? What's the wrong button? 43. Fuck. <laughs> Over halfway at least. 42 is the halfway point. It's just I'm, I'm afraid of how many more are in dungeons. What's Jas's opinion? Jas, what is your opinion of a Volpera Death Knight? see whether wait let me no it's this way Some of you okay for a bit, we'll catch up, not a problem. Bit weird, make good dungeon tanks though, yes. Deep Home, Uldum, Shimmering Expanse, which I'm not going to do. Another Uldum one. Another Deep Home one. Oh, those Deep Home ones kind of worry me. I'm not sure I have access to Deep Home. Um. Although I think the quest to unlock that is a lot quicker than the quest to unlock um, Bashir. Silithus. Tanaris, Feralis, Feralis, Thousand Needles, Silithus, Tanaris, Durata, Angoro. Oh, fuck, that was a journey. Mistwalker? Where's Mistwalker? Feralis. Okay, so what's it? Um, place of uh, TB. <sighs> TB portal would be best portal. And then Borean Tundra. Right, of course, there's some in, in um, place. And then... Thank you. I thought it was good, just not Vash. Yeah, no, fuck Vash. I'll skip that one, because I've got four elders that I'm allowed to skip. Vashir is the fucking one of them. <laughs> Here we go. Off to Miss Walker. Refuse to give you food. 
Mm. Oh. Okay. Don't I give you food? Like, all the time? Uh, we influence me to level a bunch of my 45 to 50. Ah, five new level 50s now. Well done, Matt. Are you going to run all of them through the Lovers in the Air dungeon? <clears throat> uh, so that's Howling Fjord. And Borean Tundra, Howling Fjord, Zuldrak, Dragon Blight, Zuldrak. So these are all still. Oh, excuse me, other ones. Tanaris and Storm Peaks. Right, so I don't think there are any more dungeon ones left. I could be wrong. But that seems to be the end of the Dungeon Elders. I'm going to cross everything. Good evening, dupe. How goes it? Very fucking well, thank you. I hope you're doing well as well. Hit my 10, level 10 troops and stream raiders. Ah, oh, well done. Congratulations. That's epic. Nicely done. I've got 44. Uh... Coins of Ancestry. So we've got 40 to go. 40 Elders left to speak with. <clears throat> and then we've got to go and do the, uh, the Travel the World, the Lunar Preservation quest. Um, but that's it, you know, that's okay. We'll get there. That's Mr. Walker done. Next one is Grim Totem. that 60% of Lunar Festival will jump, like, jump shortly. My my fear is that it's still going to be really low percentage because of all of the ancient heirloom casing things, upgrades. But uh, we'll see how we go. The Grim Totem, complete. This one is Elder Skyseer. <clears throat> I'd set it into purple side, drop left side. Wait, what the fuck is going on with my chat box? Something's going wonky. I'm really loving seeing all these little blue ticks of the ones that I've done from ATT. Um, so ATT, uh, we were talking about add-ons before, ATT is entirely free. It is, however, very overwhelming, depending. Um, <laughs> it may it may encourage you to not sleep anymore and to just play WoW nonstop. Uh, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but, yeah, so it's telling me I have... S Lunar Festival is... <laughs> it also gives us happy brain juice noises. Uh, it will not give you an optimized path like Zygor does, but it does give you the coordinates of each of the elders that are alive, like that are there and able to be gotten and all that kind of stuff. So that might be a good option for that kind of thing because you can you can alt right click. Um, so where's Skyseer, for example? If I alt right click, it drops me a waypoint for Skyseer. That's not obviously it's not um uh what's it? optimized but you could theoretically go through and drop waypoints for all of them and then plot your own path if you so decided to like that's totally valid um it's just that Zyko does that for you so you know if I've got it I might as well use it uh, but it also ticks them off once you've done them which I really like uh morning dew and it tells you everything that you can purchase with a coin of ancestry as well as everything else like this is all the ancient heirloom armor casings but then all of this kind of stuff all of this from the vendors this is everything else i need to finish this is everything i need to finish lunar festival completely i've got all the achievements there's just schematics patterns 
and some transmog that I need to buy. Uh, Zarin, hello, welcome back. Good Arvo, Fear, Jas, and friends. Hope everyone is well, doing very well. Thank you very much. We've had some fantastic news today. We're making progress. Everything's going really well. Really well. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing like supremely phenomenally as well. Just to throw some big words in there for funsies. <clears throat> Morning Dew complete. Dreamseer. Not too far away this one. Just down in Tanaris. Hmm. I think it's actually, it might actually be possible for me to finish off all the holidays this year. Maybe Dark Moon's gonna be the tricky one. Dark Moon's gonna be the tricky one because uh, all I need left, I mean, there's a bunch of mounts and stuff I need from Dark Moon, which would involve me doing them every goddamn time, which I don't really have a whole lot of time to do. Like doing doing dailies every single day for a week, every month. Ugh, maybe, ne maybe 2023 is year of Dark Moon. Uh, <laughs> but, um. Oh no, okay, it's all for Axe Dungeon. I'm sorry, I, I made a boo boo. But everything else, maybe think fishing extravaganza, it starts at like four in the morning or something stupid. Um, I reckon most of these I can knock over though. A lot of them have, okay, fuck Ahoon and your bullshit. Um, how do I not have, oh, from, okay, because they're not account wide, maybe. But yeah, I reckon I could probably finish off most, if not all, of these. Trial of Style is a fucking bitch. But, um, no, whatevs. Can't complain? Good. I'm glad you're going well. Well, I hope that means you're going well. At least we can uh, mount up in this one. This is wild main. Coins of Ancestry. Out we go. Excuse me. I'll piss off. You wanna die? This is how you die. Rage totem. Press two. Press your two for the AOE murders. Oh yeah, blood boil. Yep. I oh, know. Dropping a thing on the ground and burning them from the legs up kind of feels nice and nasty though. Oh, I can remount. Oops. Delicious. Such a pretty man it is, isn't it? Just watching them like bob in sync is just like, yep, okay. Okay.
It's peaceful. Travelling the world. Begging old people for coins. Ah, oh dear. Hello, Sam. How you doing? So I've gotten approximately one entire level at this point. I've gone from halfway through 51 to halfway through 52. So that's nice. And we're, you know, just over the halfway point. So I might be able to squeeze another level out of this. <clears throat> Totem. Travel to the past. Well, just wake up. Hope y'all are doing well as well. Yeah! I've had a busy day, but a very fulfilling day. Very fulfilling. Scary purple place. Big exclamation mark. Sekemi. Sekemi the Elder. Scan is having a heart attack. Climbing. So we get into a 3k, uh, 3,000 yard flight. <sighs> Quick, do a camel run. No, no more fucking camel runs. Done with the camel run. Uh, hello, girl. Congratulations to Loza, Koala, Durr, and Spam on all of your bonus shits. Well done. There we go to the skin chest. Uh, I have all the skins from the glitched event, but if you don't, this is your chance to place a unit to get a chance at a skin. People have also reported getting two skins from one, uh, from, from one, what's it? So highly recommend placing your units on this particular battle. 
<clears throat> ah, Dirk, congratulations on your bonus shit. Well done. Go. Cuff completed. Thunderhorn. Fewer and fewer unchecked elders on this list, and that's making me very happy. It's not hiding them, because I've done them, but there's still stuff I can get from them. But it's nice seeing all the check marks. How many coins you need? Uh, on this character, I need 105. Uh, on my next tune, I need 80. And then on any other character, any multiple of 40 is a good thing, because 40 is how many I need for the armored heirloom upgrade casing thing. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Go for the heirloom is nice. Well, I mean, look, I'm it's it'd be nice to get some checked off the list, but um it's not like an it's not a priority. Um, Blade Sing. Alright, onwards. Thunder! Na 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 na. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Hey, Axie, welcome on into chat. Just have a quick question. Sorry, it's a bit off topic. How did you get to be displayed on the Battle.net client? Not at all off topic. I'm currently on the client and I'm playing well. And so I think that's a very on portal topic. No, uh, on portal topic? Fucking. This is what happens when I fucking read chat. Okay, on topic. On to Whatever. Look. Words are hard, okay. Um, it was just over a year ago. In fact, yesterday was the anniversary of me first appearing on the Battle.net launcher, which is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, it'll be telling you to port to Dazar because then you can take the port to Silithus and it'll be faster. That's why. Um, but yeah, so... Back at the end of 2020, like 2020 and the very start of 2021, uh, when I was going live, I was tweeting out um, what I was doing and I was tagging Warcraft and Blizzard ANZ and Stream Raiders because I play Stream Raiders, all this kind of stuff. I started using a lot of hashtags and a lot of tagging of people, like accounts in my tweets. Uh, and then I had a couple of times when they retweeted my tweet and I kind of shat my pants. And then like Blizzard ANZ specifically. Uh, and then... I had a couple of times where they hosted my stream, like, you know, like slash host in, in chat and stuff. Um, um, where's, okay, cool. I'm like, what's going on? There we go. Uh, yeah, so they started hosting and stuff like that. They dropped by chat as well, once or twice. And then out of nowhere, one day, it was in the morning. I'd just woken up, scrolling through my feed, my Twitter feed in bed, as you do. Check your socials before you even get out of bed, because, you know, what is life? And a thing comes up at the top, it says, Blizzard ANZ has followed you back. And I panicked, and I screenshot it, and I sent it to my, like, a group chat I have with my friends in Discord. And I said, what the fuck is this? way past because I have a person whispering me. Um, ugh, so they followed me back and I, as I was panicking and trying to figure out like, do I thank them for retweeting? Is that professional? Do I ask them why? Do I like, what, what am I, what is the protocol here? And before I could figure out what the protocol was, uh, they DM'd me and said, hey, we like your content. Would you like to be on the launcher? And I said, yes. And so, I was on the launcher. It started out being two days a week. Uh, and then it progressed to, oh, hang on. What are we? Oh, we're going to Northrend. 
We're going to Northrend. Um, can we potentially, yep, yeah, Shatrath, not Shatrath, Shatrath is BC, I am an umpty. Cool, you got the right one, thank you. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a whole last journey. Um, and so yeah, it started off as two days a week out of the four. Um, then it bumped up to, and it was supposed to only be for like two months or so in the beginning. Uh, and then they're like, oh, we can, we can keep going. Like, you know, usually people don't like the influx so much. They kind of get a bit weird and they, they don't like having to be so consistent for so long. So they, they don't be on the launcher anymore and stuff like that. But I like consistency with my stream schedule is something I'm like hella fucking passionate about. So I was fine with that side of it. And I've met so many amazing and lovely and wonderful people, uh, who have found me via the launcher. So I am just eternally grateful, eternally grateful. Um, to, to Blizzard ANZ for reaching out and and giving me a bit of a helping hand. And I mean, at the same time, they've got someone that they can put on the launcher that, you know, potentially new players and stuff can go through and they can ask us questions and stuff. And, and I'm, uh, I you know, sometimes a decent resource for, for newbies to sort of, I'm, I'm a guide. I'm in the newcomer chat as a guide uh, and all that kind of stuff. And so... I can kind of act as a guide here as well, which is great. So, I mean, obviously we both get, but you know, nothing, nothing is one-sided in business. So there are benefits to both sides, but um, yeah, it's been, it's been absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, uh, not me going straight up into this zone. Brilliant. Brilliant. Back when I was supposed to be a six week mod. I know, right? I know, look. Look, how are you feeling a year on, Shiva? See, very cool. It is very cool. Very, very cool. Thank you so much for the congrats. I appreciate it. Uh, first time I was in raid with you in Cubby DM, I was like, oh, hey, that's the chick from Battle.net launch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've had that a few times. Um, like, I'll, I'll get, I'll be camping a mount or something in game and someone will whisper me and be like, hey, this might be a really weird question, but are you the Fiamma from the launch? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, actually I am. And they're like, oh my God, no way. I, it's, it feels kind of weird. I feel like, so um, I haven't been to a, a PAX since I was like 25-ish average viewers, right? That was, that was back when the last PAX Australia was held. So I am, Part of me, part of me is like, I'm going to have people fucking approaching me and being like, oh my God, you're fear. And I'm going to be like, yes, who the fuck are you? Like, <laughs> I'm going to be like, what is going on here? But then there's another part of my brain where it's like, bitch, you have such a big head. No one's going to know who the fuck you are and no one bloody well cares. So it's, it's kind of, oh, trying to find the balance between excited for people to recognize me from shit and not expecting it because that would be self-absorbed, it's a really hard balance. Like it's a really, like really difficult to find like where the, where the right sort of, oh, it's weird. I don't know. I've never been in this situation before. Like I, re I remember the first PAX I went to and I was heading into a, heading into a, 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 the thing, the door and there's seats and there's a stage. It's not a lecture, it's a panel. There we go, thank you, brain. I was heading into my first panel at a, a pack, my very first packs, my very first panel. And as I'm walking in, I hear someone yelling out, Thea, and I'm like, that can't be me. Who the fuck knows me? No, like, and I turned around and sure enough, it was someone yelling out to me. It was a, a fellow streamer friend. And I was like, Oh my God, it's the first time anyone has ever called out to me by username in public. And it just, it threw me. It fucking threw me. Really cool feeling though. Really cool feeling. Like if people actually recognize me and like come up to me and, and want to say hi and stuff, I'm probably gonna like freak the fuck. Like I'm gonna be more excited than they are firstly. And if any of them bring me bubble tea, I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry. It's fine. Um, Sardis. Let us go to Sardis. <clears throat> um, thanks for the time to answer the question. Oh, you're so welcome, Axie. You're, you're so welcome. 
Fuck, oh no, how horrible. I have to reminisce about one of the most life-changing experiences I've ever had. <laughs> You're totally fine. You're totally fine. Uh, I actually kind of like telling the story. I just usually am able to get it all out in one thing rather than getting distracted seven times along the way, so I apologize that it took me so long. Uh, totally forced to be here, you know. I'm loving it, Lamau. Good, I'm, I'm glad you're still loving it. Because it can absolutely get to be fucking exhausting. It, it can be. I know that. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad that you're still enjoying yourself. Because I want it to be fun. Above all else, I want it to be fun. Um, obviously, you know, there are there are hard moments where, you know, people say horrible things and you need to figure that out or, or there's a, um, a shit fight breaks out between two random people and you've got to kind of, you know, sort that out and stuff. Like, moderating is not easy, but for the most part, like, I hope that it's mostly fun. I just confirmed Fear is a celebrity now. Oh. Re That's not a thing. Twitch people only become celebrities when they're, like, the top ten for realsies though. And I'm I'm very much not the top ten. Uh Northall! Because we're in the north, get it? Actually, where's Twitch Tracker? Where am I at? By the Sunwell. Okay, with the resub. Thank you so much for your three months. Thank you for your ongoing support and generosity. So kind of you. Much appreciated. Uh, so I'm absolutely not top 10. In fact, I am 24,000th, 110th. Or 24,000, 24,110th. I'm very much not a celebrity. You know what's interesting though? I love these fucking stats. I'm a data nerd, so this is not this is not me bragging. This is me like, how cool are these stats? Um, as much as I know it's gonna come across as bragging. Uh, so we have 80, well, the, the website says I have 83 viewers. My, my thing says 86, but hey, let's just go with 83 for now. 0.01% of all English viewers on the entirety of Twitch are here right now. To the portal to the nexus. Oh, is it a dungeon one? Oh, it fucking is. Okay. Um, 0.38% of all World of Warcraft viewers are here right now. So that's interesting. I am 24,110th on Twitch. I am 10,441st out of the English streamers. And I am in the top 0.28% percent of Twitch. Not even the top 1%. The top 0.28%. Like, that's how fucking big Twitch is. 24,000, and I'm still in the top 0.28%. That's how fucking big Twitch is. And it's it's some some batshit thing. Like if you have ten average viewers, you're in like the top ten percent or something. Like it's I don't remember the exact stats, but it's borderline unbelievable how fucking big Twitch is and how many of the of those people on Twitch are like micro streamers, um, like like micro influencers, you know, single digits up to low double digits and stuff. It just it blows my mind how many people are on this fucking platform. It's amazing. Uh, took me a little while to realize about Jas when I heard him on your stream. I'm like, I know that voice. Here's my tank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's funny. It's it's fucking hilarious. It's not every day you get to like see someone you raid with face to face. Like, sure, like on Discord and stuff, but not not at all. Like, although you do raid with both Len and Krazy, and they're both you know. So that's um yeah. <laughs> Good evening, Dunno. Very well, thank you. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Who the F knows me? Literally tens of thousands of people from all over the world. Not tens of thousands. I have 8,459 followers. That's not tens of thousands. Oh, it's not that bad to me. I know that Jas is around. If I need to chill, of course. Of course. Um, you're a celebrity. To oh, Dunno. That's too sweet of you. Morning, how's it going? Morning for me at least. Yeah, it's uh, 6.52 p.m. here. Mm. 
But uh, yeah, no, I'm going really well. I've had a, a like I've had a super busy but really productive day, and um, I'm yeah I'm doing really well. Had some some great news and stuff today, so that's good. Still, how many stream on Twitch? So many people stream on fucking Twitch. It's unbelievable. Ooh, fucking huge. Fucking huge. Yes, thank you, Qualitron. If you're looking for comfy underpants, Fia has teamed up with Step One to get you a 15% discount. Uh, I'm also going to be posting because I'm it's sponsored. Yay! I'm going to be doing some some posts on uh, on Instagram and on Twitter. And this campaign is all about the social interaction. So if you wouldn't mind checking out those posts when they go live. First one on Twitter is going to be tomorrow. First one on Instagram is going to be Friday, but there's going to be a series of posts. If you could view them and like them and comment on them and follow uh, and share them and all that kind of shit. And obviously while you're there, you should absolutely share, like, uh, sorry, follow uh, my, my Twitter and follow me on Instagram. Cause like, look, I can't do it. Basically, um, <laughs> I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be like the casual person who just throws out the whole, follow me on the things, but I can't. Um, I'm, I want to go full time. I want to be a full time streamer. I can't. Uh, I don't make enough from Twitch to cover my bills and shit. Uh, I have a day job. I work two days a week, which is great. Um, but I would like to go full-time content creation. In order to do that, I need sponsorships. I need companies to pay me to, to promote their shit. And in order to do that, I need a bigger following on social media. It's as simple as that. And 80% of brand deals go through Instagram rather than Twitch or, um, or uh, Twitter or anywhere else for that matter. Um, this, this particular sponsorship with step one um, on, on the thing, uh, it's, you know... My, the conditions of the sponsorship are make posts, like make this number of posts on any social platform, but also make this many posts specifically on Instagram. So do you know what I mean? Like it's like super, super specific that it needs to be on Instagram. So um, yeah, have like throwing me a follow on those platforms goes a really surprisingly long way to getting me in the good books of companies who might pay me to do shit. Uh, and that's that's how I go full time. So if you have those accounts, please do toss me a follow. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you like anything, then I mean, go for it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the special percent always, always. Either three or five people was enough to be in the top five, top ten percent. Good God, that's un like, whew, that's amazing. Pretty sure it was not that way when I started, uh, but then again, that was like six years ago. So. Wanikaya, the elder. Not too far. Uh, yes, thank you, Koalajon. If you would like to support Fear, following and interacting with me on all the social media helps more than you realize. Brand deals are highly reliant on those numbers. That's how I got the step one deal. Came through GGWP. Came through GGWP. And... The reason I got that one, I mean, a whole bunch of people from the platform would have applied for it. And then they selected people from all those, like, massive amounts of people who applied. They chose X number of people that they wanted to actually partner with, right? Um, for a while... Uh... Is not working? Do I need to... I need to sign out and then sign in again. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Can we still go in even if it's... No, of course not. Fuck. All right. Um, so this is number two that I'm going to have to skip. That's okay. Ah, if your faction does not control Winograss, click here to continue. Okay. Let's do that then. On we go. There's Joel Narub. Ooh, where am I? Rank three. Rank three. Ah, that's why. Okay. 
but yeah, so I've been rank one on the the leaderboard on GGWP for a like quite a while. So that's why they would have picked me. And the reason I'm rank one is because of my social media following. So like, it's <laughs> it's like a it's a big thing. It's unbelievably important. <clears throat> Unbelievably important. Yeah, absolutely. I can put some down right now. There you go. Done. Posture check. Fuck you. All right, look. <laughs> I have 11,728 followers across all platforms. <sighs> How cool is that? That's Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. It wasn't working with Inst Oh no, they don't have Instagram connection. That's interesting. Wonder why. Maybe it's part of the Facebook bun or something. I told you tens of thousands of people know you. <laughs> yeah, it's because of Twitch. 8,460 now. We've got a new follower since last I said. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, I've got like 3k something on um on Twitter these days, I think. Or maybe I dropped back down under 2k. I had a- there was a giveaway that I did on Twitter and it fucking exploded. Um, I think it was a Hearthstone one. Hearthstone giveaway people are like- kind of scary. Every time I've had anyone DM me or abuse me or anything about a giveaway, it's always been a Hearthstone giveaway. People messaging me like begging, can't you just give me one? Like, I, I, you know, I need this to be able to do this with my friends or that or the other. I really, really need this. Please, can I just have one? I can't come to your stream, so I can't earn it then. Like, I need you to just give me and all this kind of shit. And then when I say no, they start abusing me. Like, if I block you from my page, you cannot win the giveaway. You are aware of this, yes? Like, I, j I just, look. <laughs> Humans are not always the most intelligent of creatures. Let's, uh, let's go with that. Hearthstone the game is fantastic. Most Hearthstone streamers that I've watched have been just like absolute pleasures to to interact with and stuff like that. But then like get to get to people who want free shit. Oh. Mm -mm. No, thank you. <laughs> but it is it always feels so wonderfully amazing to to oh it's back this way to give someone something for free that they've won and just like how happy they are. And so it's just, it's so beautiful, you know? It's really awesome. I love that feeling. I absolutely love that feeling. And I love that I have the connections that enable me to do that. It's just, oh, so good. So good. So thankful. Last time I remember that one. Oh, one, two, and consider myself lucky. Yes. Why are people this way? I don't understand. Because they're, they're desperate. They're like, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that they've, maybe they've been told that they're special all of the life and stuff that is that is definitely a thing uh and so they're entitled um they feel like it should be theirs because they want it more than anybody else um which is not how that works um but you know it's okay like if if people are going to be fuckwits then i block them or i ban them or whatever it like whichever platform i'm on whatever's appropriate and then they don't get anything for free oh well how horrible uh, I think there's a reason you can't chat to people in Hearthstone. They're very toxic. Really? I've never been, like, okay, so I've never played, like, PvP in Hearthstone except for when I was going against viewers and, like, I was playing viewers and every single one of them trounced me. And every single one of them was like, oh, you got a bit closer that time than you did last time. Like, they were just so nice about it because I'm terrible. I'm absolutely terrible. It was really funny. Um, 
But yeah, you know what I mean? Like there was one particular person who was just passing every round to let me kill them, which was kind of funny. But um, nah. I, I, yeah, I guess I haven't had experience with like more than that. Uh, like maybe get a job and earn some money and buy it themselves. It's what I did when I played Hearthstone heaps. I quit after they changed the reward system. Fair enough. Um, I get. I feel like a lot of them might be like youth. Like I'm. I'm feeling like a lot of them are 14, 15. Maybe can't necessarily get a job. They're playing it in their lunch break on their phones with their friends at school and stuff. Like all. Do you know? I, I feel like it's that kind of stuff, and they don't understand how to adults yet because they're not adults but it still it's not a very nice feeling to be called a bitch slut not not a bitch and a slut but be, to be called a bitch slut because you won't give something to somebody for free and it's like honey these codes were given to me by a company the company dictates how i can give them away I can't just give them to people who I think are cool. If I can, they are very specifically given to me to give to people I think that are cool. And that's usually my mods. <laughs> like, I think that's happened, what, once? And it was for the mods. Like, you know, yeah, it's a, mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, it's a... Uh... There are a lot of people in the world who just, who don't know how it works and that's, they'll learn or they won't and they'll keep getting blocked by people. Hello Chaos, I'm doing very well today. How are you? I hope you're well. Oh, if you get a friend request from someone you just played against in Hearthstone, it's 50-50, they will abuse you or compliment your deck. Oh wow, fair enough. My, my, friend, my friend list is full, so... <laughs> I was like 89% abuse in my experience. I don't accept friend requests from Hearthstone anymore. Oh no. Like, like last time we played Hearthstone, I got a few friend requests, but I don't check them immediately. Like I, I forget about them until like, you know, I, I'm logging in the next day to do my garrison stuff. And I'm like, oh, I have friend requests. Um, and like, so I add them and it's fine. But maybe by that point, they've forgotten why they added me in the first place, which wouldn't surprise me. I had like three requests, one was abuse, the others were fine. But why? I don't understand why people get so angry. It's a game. It's not like losing one round determines that you are a fuck up for the rest of your life or some bullshit. Like, you know what I mean? I just, I don't, I don't get it. People are... People need help. People need help, genuinely. A pretty annoying deck at the time. Um, Saw had a doctor's appointment, also got my renown to 70. Well done! Oh, congratulations on renown 70, Chaos. Well done. Only 10 to go. Mid-range bomb hunter, back when people didn't know how to play against it. But yeah, but that's no excuse to, like, yell at someone for winning. Like, can you imagine if you're playing, like, a fucking school sports match and you start yelling at the opposing team when they win? You'd be banned from the fucking team and given detention. Like, it's not okay. Why the fuck do people think it's any different just because you're online, just because you don't have a fucking face? So, do you know what I mean? Like, ugh. Ah, uh, people hate when you win. It's an easy win deck. That's why it's an easy win deck. If they want an easy win, they should use an easy... Like, like it's just... It's still silly. Um, Some kids are like that. I know, but, like, they shouldn't be playing a game where they can interact with other people if they don't know how to be fucking decent to those. Like, it, honestly, I, I really like Pokemon's system where, like, when you interact with other players, you have predetermined messages that can be sent, and that's it. Like, I really like that. Um, especially when there are children around. Because uh, it just, yeah, it's it's good. Helps with the, like, helps with the parental control stuff, obviously. Um, and it also helps, like, with the, uh, 
with the translation between languages as well. It makes it really easy to communicate via different languages because someone who speaks, for example, Spanish can select what they want to say in Spanish and then it'll come through the other end as, say, English or French or English or, uh, or Chinese or whatever it happens to be that the player they're speaking to is speaking, you know? It just it makes everything so much easier. If you've got a high number of children playing your game, then maybe that's what we need to stick to. Um, trying to get to renowned eighty is going to buy the renowned taking another tune. Most younglings don't do the proper etiquette on how to interact with people on the internet. That should be part of their fucking education. How to not be a dickhead? Like seriously, it's it's this it's the exact same thing as in fa like a face to face. If something is not acceptable to be said to somebody else's face, then it is not acceptable to say it to them via chat on an internet game. Or to another person about them, for that matter. Yeah, a lot of adults don't interact with people on the internet. Yeah, I mean... They also should be forced into the predetermined text boxes. There's a maths game kids can use online called Prodigy. They do the preset chat options. I like that. I like that. The, yeah, the preset chat options, they're just, they're really, I mean, obviously there are a few tricky things. Um, like situations, like for example, in WoW, it wouldn't super work very well because there are like, you know, trying to communicate a specific strategy for a boss or something, you know, it can be, it can be a little tricky, but uh, like overall, fuck. Uh, Durin, Faden, Loza, Mr. Zam, and Neke, congratulations on all your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Yeah, I even did the first six boss Sanctum Domination to get extra renown. Fantastic! Nicely done. Nicely done. Five assists with armored units. I didn't get any. With the second, with the third one. So let's go with the second one, the paladin. See how that goes. Oh yeah, I got a glitch master here. Yay, Darren! Well done. Congratulations on the skin. This is class. Yeah. Cool. Leave Drakthron Keep. Oh, actually, I'm pretty sure we can go up and drop down, can't we? Was this the one you can't? Mm, pretty sure you can. a drop off. <laughs> Music in here is kind of funky. Transmog. up top here okay and then we go down
Hey man, the elder. Onward we go. Just now realizing it's Crystal Song Forest, not Chris Along Forest. Where's Chris Along from? Hey, Temporary, how you doing? Oh, excuse me. Argyle. So always read as Chris along. I do not know why now how long has Wrath been out? Ah, uh, you know, only like 13 years-ish. So doing fine. Good to hear. Good to hear. <clears throat> the decade and a half-ish, it's fine. It's fine. I might do this on the comfort route. Maybe like, I don't know, just like sticking my tune on a flight path and then coming back in two minutes, click the elder, next flight path. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think that might be good. No worries about overshooting with auto fly, that kind of stuff. Maybe I might squeeze a, a heirloom casing or two out of it, <clears throat> maybe. Do that while I'm doing other shit. <sighs> like work! Scheduling social media posts. of stone. <clears throat> I've only got a few red packets. Oh, um... If you did not see my post in the Affiliate Specials channel today in Discord, that's discord.gg forward slash um, Bubble Tea Club is hosting a Lunar New Year giveaway. Um, you go through and you answer a couple questions via Facebook Messenger for them to just, you know, like general data collection, age, demographics, data, stuff like that. Um, at the end of it, you open your red packet and you can win, everyone wins, you either win an $8 coupon, an $88 coupon, or 1.2 kilograms of pearls. Guess what fear one? Yep. They just got pearls coming out the wazoo. So, uh, Jas and I are making our new order, because we're, we're planning on making an order soon anyway, because uh, we're running a bit low. We've only got a few weeks worth of supplies left, and that's usually when we order our ne next batch. Um, I haven't made the order yet. I have to sit down and figure out, like, flavor splits and things like that. But I won't be buying any pearls, that's for sure. 
um, because I won 1.2 kilograms of pearls, which is lovely. <clears throat> so yeah, if you've if you've been umming and eyeing about like having a look at that, definitely check that out because you could get yourself some free stuff. Bubble tea. Ah, yeah, yep. Bubble tea club giveaway. Two to three from fifty-three. Uh yeah, probably. I'm eighty-eight point seven four percent of the way through. So I don't think Jas is in. I think he's in the kitchen. I think that's what I can hear. I was going to ask him to maybe check. many servings of stuff we have, so I don't have to check before I place the order, but that's okay. Uh, thank you very much, Koalachon. Fia has teamed up with Step 1 to bring you your most comfortable behind. It's it's comfy undies. 15% discount. And they are the most comfortable underpants I have ever worn. And keep your eye out for posts on Twitter and Instagram. Interact with them so Fia can secure further brand deals. Please and thank you. Underwear discounts, yes! Um, I've got, we, there was the photo shoot we did a couple weeks ago. This is one of the images that came out of the photo shoot. Like fucking, how awesome is that? I love that photo, I think it's amazing. And, um, Jas took it. And yeah, so posting, uh, social media posts as per my, um, my, my contract requirements. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, and it's, I have to like do reporting. Like with all my like engagement rates and all that kind of stuff. So definitely make sure you check out those social posts and interact with them lotsly. Cause you will help me uh, with future brand deals potentially. Mm. But yeah, um, they've just released their women's range. Uh, they've also got an extensive men's range. Of course, regardless of your gender identity, you are free to purchase whatever you desire to wear. Um, but you may find that some will be more comfortable than others, and that will be which one you should aim for, uh, depending on your personal body. Um. So, yeah. Enjoy your 15% off. Not affiliated, no no affiliate link, no commission being paid or anything like that. My payment was the product. Um, and so that's, yeah, that's what we're doing. This mean Jas can have more than seven pairs now. <laughs> um, we do still need to make him, uh, make, a, make a purchase for him. Um, but yeah, we're absolutely gonna grab him a few pairs. Because, um, they're just so, so fucking nice. Like, legit, they're amazing. We just gotta have a look and see which ones uh, he's gonna prefer wearing, because the, the men's have quite a few more options. Um, the, the women's wear, like, there's one type, and then there's seven colours, and then you pick a size. Uh, whereas the men's wear, there's a few different types of the underwear. Um, like, boxes versus trunks. Some have the opening at the front, some don't. Um, all this, and then there's like a fuck ton of different colors that they've got to choose from. So um, yeah, we'll just have to have a look at how much we can afford to spend and then get
get him to pick out a couple that he desires. Payments in this economy? I know, right? I know. Okay, Oanzi is done. We are leaving Guldrak. Gun, uh, leaving Gundrak. Guldrak. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> 3D comfort pouch. Only got one. So there should be plenty of room. <laughs> They're also exceptionally stretchy. Like they're so, like they do their measurements by waistband, which I was kind of like, oh, but like, what about like, you know, what if you're, you're depending on your, cause I'm, I'm rather curvy, right? So I've got, my waist is pretty small, but my thighs are not. Um, so like, I was really worried that if I was going to get something that fit my waist, it wouldn't fit my thighs, but I put my trust in them. They knew what they, you know, they knew their product better than I know it especially considering I'd never seen it before. Um, so, you know, I ordered and they fit fucking perfectly. They fit like a dream. Uh, they are exceptionally stretchy. In fact, I've seen some photos of the products on like smaller people, like like slimmer people. Um, and it's like, they look really comfy, but they, they look really comfy, but they look like they're loose in a couple places. Like that, like the crease between like, you know, your body and then your legs, like that crease there, it looks like it's almost a bit loose there. Whereas on me, they hug everything. So it kind of, I feel like I'm, I, I feel like they've done really well with their, with their sizing and stuff. Um, so yeah, very, very stretchy uh, in case you're concerned for any reason. Maybe you're bootylicious. Uh, maybe you have thighs that will save a life. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you're, uh, you're, you most likely be covered and they do have a uh, money back guarantee if if they don't fit properly <laughs> oh, excuse me um yeah there's a thing on the website like if they're if you don't love them they're free or something like that there's obviously there are terms and conditions that apply to that oh, God. much appreciated uh but yes it's uh i think they've done a really really good job with their sizing Overshot one elder by a little bit, suddenly I'm two behind. Oh no! Oh no. Yeah, the dungeon ones are a pain in the ass. I don't like them. <clears throat> um, keep in mind that you can get 109 coins, but you can only spend 100 five of them there is nothing unless it's like you know consumables and stuff like that that you can buy for one coin if you're aiming for cosmetics and rewards and like patterns schematics that kind of thing you can only spend 105 so you can skip four elders and be fine um so like i've skipped the one in bashir and i've skipped the one in winter grasp so i've got two more skips that i can take advantage of if i need to um if there's something that's just in a place that i can't get to or, or whatever <clears throat> I have no thighs and no hips. I think I'm 84 centimeters. Uh, I don't remember what my waist measurement is, um, but keeping in mind that your waist is not your hips. The waist is the thinnest part of your body. Um, it may not equal your belly button either. Um, yeah, just be damn fucking careful when you're taking those measurements because if you, obviously if you get the wrong size, shit's not gonna be comfortable. Um, but yeah, waist measurement is always your natural waist, the, the slimmest part of your torso, regardless, wherever that happens to be, that is your waist. Then your hips are obviously around your hips, they're pretty usually, pretty easy to, to tell, um, and then other things like that is, yeah, but hips and waist are ones that people always get wrong. Um, but yeah, your waist measurement is not at your belly button. Uh, mine's above my belly button, like, by about that, like, by about an inch. Uh, because that's just where my body comes in from my my because it comes in from my uh, my ribs 
and then it kicks out immediately to my fucking to my fucking hips because <laughs> um, I have a big hips I've got uh, what do they call them childbearing hips um, yeah I've got and and they're like fucking out there you know you've got like the the bony bit of your hip um, and a lot of the time the bony bit of people's hips is it's it's there you know where it is but you can't really see it or anything uh, even when I was at my heaviest you can still see the bone of my hip like protruding out because I like I'm just my hips are that wide <laughs> so oh. yeah um, make sure you measure properly because it can drastically change your your sizing if you if you get the wrong one which I don't want you to get the wrong one so yeah they, I think they've got a measurements guide on the website as well which should make it a little easier. Okay, that one I'm skipping. Stonebrand is deep palm. These are all tick, 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 tick. Yay! That's wintergrass, which we're ignoring. Tick, 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 tick. Howling Fjord. Where are we going now? To Utgard Keep. Oops. Oh my god, we've only got two more to go. Holy shit, you guys. Two more to go. In fact, I could stop here and we'd be fine. I've got, no, 78. No, I wouldn't be fine. I need these last two. What the fuck? Did I miscount? Oh, no, there's the two in deep palm still. Never mind. I can skip the two in deep palm, though, which I might actually do. Because I don't know if I can actually get into deep palm. And I don't care about the achievements because I've got them all unfair. Oh, so confused here. I hope there's a diagram on their website. Uh, there should be. And if there's not, there'll be a diagram on the internet somewhere because everyone has like specific places they want you to measure and shit. Um, waist, I think, is 84. My hips are 94. It'd be great. Sorry, if you ever wanted to be into that. Absolutely not. Nope. Nope. Um, I, I wouldn't be, firstly. They wouldn't let me. Autoimmune. <laughs> no. Um, like, I don't even know if I'm going to be okay to pair, like, to have a child myself, let alone for somebody else. Um, all this kind of shit, all these medications and stuff that I'm on, no one knows how any of it affects anything. So, yeah. That's um, probably not a good thing to just kind of throw out there to random people, now that I think about it, like, proper. Um, where's my, okay, so always measure standing up as well is another one, because you wear clothes standing up for the most part. Uh, my natural waist, oh, have I bent this? No, I was holding that wrong. Yeah, natural waist is 80. And my hips, oh, it always shifts because of the way that my ass is distributed. My hips are 95. 15 centimeter difference between my waist and my hips. <laughs> How do you feel about cross faction that's coming to WoW? Amazing. I think it's awesome. Um, I'm not going to bitch about it being about time or any of that kind of crap because, like, fuck, they're giving us what we want. Why are you complaining? Um, but I'm, I'm very, very happy about it. I'm also really happy that they're, des that they're designing it as an opt in rather than an opt out. Um, I'm in the wrong place. I always do this with Pinnacle and Keep. I always do this. Um, yeah, I really like that it's opt in so that if, uh, if for example, a uh, uh, um, role player someone who does RP logs in and they're automatically friendly with everyone. That's not okay. That's not how their character works. They have to actually log in. And so they don't have to go and find a way to opt out. They can log in and be fine just the way they are. I have to opt into doing it by like doing, by going and doing activities. You know what I mean? I think that's the right way to do it. I think that works quite well. And it also means it's all instanced content. Um, so, you know, if we're out in the world, we'll be hostile to each other, but we can be in a group oh, together alliance. still and then go and zone in and do transmog runs or whatever it happens. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think that that's a really, uh, a really good way to do it. I'm, I'm happy with that. I think they made some good choices. <clears throat> I can't wait, even though you didn't ask me. Are you not chat, Nano? <laughs> Coming to WoW, fear and chat. I'm pretty sure you're part of chat. 
Um. <laughs> Uh, wrong dungeon. I know, I always do that. Uh, like war mode, exactly, exactly. You can do world PvP. You have to make the act, like you have to make the action, the active choice for that to be what you want to do. I'm so excited my main tune who is Alliance can eventually do instances with Horde and that means with us, Chaos. Like that means with us, you know, it'll be great with your community. Exactly, we have so many cross-faction people in this community. It obviously does still suck that we can't play with all of the community still. We don't have EU, we don't have cross-region play yet. Yet. Um, but I think this is a fantastic step in, in a good direction. I'm, I'm really excited to not have to, do, like, not have to say, you know, we're going to do island expeditions, make sure you are North America, Oceanic, and Horde. Like, no, fuck it. Do what you want. Come join us. Like, do you know what I mean? It, I think that's fantastic. Really, really awesome. Will you still be able to chat in dungeon or will it be gibberish? Nope, party chat. Um, you won't be able to chat in general to each other and stuff, but you can, like, in, in general chat, but you can use party chat. I'm not sure how it will look in say, but in party chat specifically, they have said that that's how you'll be able to communicate. I'm so excited. Yay! So much better on a druid than a paladin. Totally fair. Totally fair. But yeah, I am I'm really looking forward to being able to bring like more people from the community. I'm I'm care every time I say it, like I have to be careful not to say everyone, because I know it's still not everyone. That's okay. It's still a step in a good direction. It's a really, really good step in a fantastic direction. Ah, uh, can't wait for cross region feature, wouldn't that be awesome? I, I still think that's gonna take ages. Like that's just that's not like that's not even a coding change. I feel like there's something inherently completely fucked up with trying to do cross-region. Otherwise, they would have done it eons ago. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Yeah. Something's got to be not quite right there, I think. Uh, I think it's great struggling to think of a way it could go poorly. Um, Jas did say, I wonder how... Like, I wonder which characters are going to be able to speak what languages or if it's going to be this brand new language. And we kind of... We worked through a couple of kind of, oh, what if it's this, what if it's that? And then I just thought, nah, whoever's the group lead? If the group leads Alliance, everyone will speak Common. If the group leads Horde, everyone will speak Orcish. Easy. And he was like, oh yeah. <laughs> like, you don't even need to invent a new language for them to be able to speak or anything. Just do it that way. Kind of like, you know, the first person who zones into a dungeon is the the person who's, that's the region where it's hosted. You know what I mean? Same, same thing. Uh, you can socialize in party chat. If you have war mode on, you can still be hostile to each other. Game's about to get wild. Hell yeah, spirit. Both have war mode on, killing each other while uh, while organizing the raid strat in party chat. Like, <laughs> it'd be hilarious. Uh, only hostile to each other in open world zones. Yes, not in instances. Correct. As soon as you're in the instanced area, you are friendly. I'm sort of like taking the potion from the end of the belly. Uh, or using, um, more more appropriately, using uh, mercenary, mercenaries mode for PvP. Except it's not only uh, random thingamajigs. Languages as well. There they go. To be fair, my guild's already like that with swap blasters and life grip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can be hostile without having without being able to kill somebody. That is that is definitely a thing. Ah, oh dear. So this this should be the last dungeon I have to do, and then I can go and do the quest to get my last 25 coins. Space combat ensues. Like Night Elves suddenly being able to understand and speak Orcish. Yep. Yep. Which and which is why, like, if that's the kind of thing that breaks your immersion, then you don't have to do it. It's opt in. I think that's why it's such a good idea that they're having it opt in rather than opt out. You can still have the game that you have today without any of that. Um and just have, yeah. And, and just avoid that particular type of content. Uh, Cross-region could be tricky. It's like we're all plugged into different versions of the Matrix. Yeah, like the data is just on completely different fucking places. So it's, yeah, I don't know. 
it, it, look, it could be interesting. Maybe they're working on it. Maybe they're not. We'll never know until we announce it, will we? Um, just always get turned into a turkey. Have a good night. I'm going to go stream. Perfect. Not a problem, mentalist. Not usually a, a good thing to announce when you're leaving to go and start your own stream in somebody else's chat, but um, maybe that's just something that no one's told you yet. Uh, okay, we have left Utgard Keep. Into the portal to Utgard Pinnacle. I was not in the wrong dungeon, just at the wrong time. That's hilarious. Uh, which I think is awesome. I love that for Lions and Horde. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, off we go. You're always in the wrong dungeon. Fuck you, Shiba. Honestly, seriously. <laughs> How dare? How dare? No, no battle plans for you next dungeon. Battle, whatever. Friendship with fear over. Absolutely. Completely obliterated. What have you done? Professional relationship only. Shiba snappy tonight. <laughs> Shiba feisty. Shiba cheeky as fuck. Fia will remember that. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe. Potential. How very dare you is used often in the- yeah! <laughs> it's such a- like, it's such a- and depending on the tone with which you say it, it can be so effective at getting across how you feel without being in the slightest way offensive. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. She has gone feral! Oh my god. Oh my god. I never understood why Horde and Alliance can't understand each other. We seem to be able to understand all the leaders from both factions. See, the way that I kind of got that in my head was that the leaders of- it's like- think about like the leaders of our world, like, you know, as humanity. Um, a lot of them have like translators and stuff like that, sure. But a lot of them are also multilingual. And that's one of the ways how, like, that's one of the ways that they got into the position of like international relations and stuff is by having the ability to communicate with the other, the other team, as it were. So I always kind of thought of it as like, just, you know, Jaina and Thrall and all that kind of stuff have spent so long leading their people and so long interacting with people from the opposite faction that they've picked up enough to be able to communicate. This shit's been going on for a long ass time. <laughs> but that way, I mean, that's how I kind of equate it. Maybe there's some canon that says that's completely wrong. And that's okay. I'm happy to be wrong on that. But that kind of makes sense to my brain. Uh, Loz, Koala, Neke, Fairy, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Came from the splash screen. Pretty cool for you. Thank you, Cavs. Morning from sunny England. My God, it's up in England. Holy shit. <gasps> that's amazing. Welcome on in. I hope you have a wonderful time with us. Um, you guys want to battle plans, right? Did I get any no assists? Maybe vampire will get me assists. Hello? How are you? Food. Food! Oh my god! I wasn't in dis- fuck, what time is it? Oh good lord! It's 20 to 8. Are you okay? What did you- what? Where? Okay. Are you I okay? don't. Okay. I- I can't hear you because of the headset. Honk? Oh. Sorry? Oh, you want the sauce, of course. <laughs> How inconsiderate of me. Probably enough. What do you reckon? Oh, it's okay. Let me confirm. I mean, steak is good with barbecue sauce. Just saying. No. Chaz burned himself just a little bit. He says he ran it underwater, so he's okay. I'm just worried. That's all. Okay, where am I going? Follow the the sparkly road. Gotcha. 
But elf and night elf do you not? I can understand each other. They can. They can. Also, that actually still came through. It didn't turn to asterisks. Um. Heads up. I've got 80 coins. That's all I need. I'm out. Bye. Um. <laughs> So I'm gonna use a teleport to Dal, and then I'm gonna go somewhere and stand in a thing and use my scroll to get ported to Moonglade. But Sheba's got a subscription. You should be able to keep the guide going if you want to finish them off. Hmm. The dude's spending all of 9.2 learning a language together. What if it will just communicate in this musical phonetics? True. True. That's very true. It would also be fucking cool. I need voice lines in that shit. Let's go. Buster was raised by humans. True. Yep. So he would definitely be multilingual. Well, I mean, he'd start off speaking common, but I imagine at some point he's learned Orcish. I assume magic was blocking some communication. Maybe that's also valid. Yeah. You and your link, Sam. That's a spoiler. Ah, uh, no, that was announced in the 9.2 announcement thing. We're talking story spoilers. That's not okay. But the fact that there's the like they they announced that in the when they announced um the name of the place that I've forgotten and all that kind of shit. That's okay. 9.2 story spoilers are very much not okay. Thank you for reminding us about that though, Chaos. Um, the first rule of the channel is no spoilers and that includes leaks. Leaks are counted as spoilers because they could potentially be true and therefore could be a spoiler. Uh, so we we cross them out as a nope. Um, but yeah, that the, the thing about the learning a language with the musical thing, that was announced in the video that they launched announcing what 9.2 was actually gonna be. And um, I watched the shit out of that. Um, I don't count that as a story spoiler. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty sure that these guys are both in Moonglade, aren't they? They is. Um, Lunar Preservation is also in Moonglade. Okay, so we're gonna pop that as a thingy and we're gonna stand here and I'm gonna go, wee! Um, can't Blood Elves and Void Elves actually understand each other? Uh, potentially, I don't know. Haven't tried. We're doing independence. Uh, we're all implanted with multilingual translating software, but it only works in instance and cutscene content. Yes. It's just frequently hurt his fingers. <laughs> it's just hurt again. I'm assuming he like grabbed the frying pan a little bit too high up and touched the the, the hot or something like that. I'm I'm not 100 percent sure what happened. Um, he didn't seem like he wanted to talk about it, but that's okay. Came through for you, so link deleted for both. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, sure. There you go. I uh, get this tune last XP needs of 50 38. Nice! That's awesome! Okay, good to know. Yeah, yep. Uh, if it comes from Blizzard and isn't like a pre release in game cutscene, yes. If it comes purely from Wowhead, no. Correct! Yeah, basically, that's a really like, yeah, if it has been announced by Blizzard, you bet your ass I've read it. <laughs> um, but if it's coming from Wowhead, if this is data mined shit, I don't wanna know. I don't fucking wanna know. Uh, yeah. Translator microbes from Farscape. I've never. I don't even know what Farscape is. I've never watched it or played it. So I don't know, I'm not sure, but potentially. No, it's totally okay, Chaos. Look, it's, it didn't take it personally, it's cool. Thank you so much for being being awesome with that spirit. But look, I, I totally understand it could have come across as a spoiler, for sure, 100%. But yeah, because it's been announced by Blizzard, I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, it's just all the data mining stuff and the, you know, spoilers in Wowhead article titles and things like that that I'm not okay with. Um, because I want to discover the story as I, as I play through it on stream with you guys, you know. Mm. But I also appreciate people like proactively talking about what is and isn't okay in the community. Like I think that's a really good sign that everyone knows where they stand and stuff. You know, I think it's just I, I think that's good. I like it. I like it. Okay, so Lunar Festival, quest line. I've done that. Turn in Validar Star Song. Let's 
This is probably gonna put me through, maybe put me through to the, oh no, Lunar Preservation is here. If you let the blessing of the moon expire, you will have to start over. Okay. <laughs> so we will do that momentarily. Ah, there we go. Okay, accept Lunar Preservation. Cool. Note, if you currently have the quest A Fresh Trauma available from Magni in Chamber of Heart, you will need to do that first to complete the Hyjal step. Oh. I don't think I do. Let's find out. Okay, gain the Blessing of the Moon buff. Can't get back into Korean time, I'm 49. Can't use more skip because I'm 49. Looks like I'll be doing the more intro. What? What do you mean? You can't get into Chromie time because you're 49. I thought you could get into Chromie time until you were 50. Other option is to go and do a couple of um, BFA qu quests. Shiba? Okay, here we go. Um, what do you think about Blizzard cracking down on leveling guilds that boost tunes for gold? Is that actually happening? That doesn't sound like a thing that's happening. Because that's totally legal. How are they cracking down on leveling guilds that have boost tunes for gold? Do you have some kind of source for that? Uh, which reminds me I have to do Omen in Moonglade today. Oh, my druid, yes! I don't think I need anything from Omen, because there's nothing in my list, so... <laughs> I can't do Krimi time after 48. Shit, I didn't know that. I thought guilds are cracking down on its communities with pyramid schemes of money transfer as that's directly tangential to real, uh, yeah, real world transactions. Yeah, so there have been, there was, there were issues, um, was a couple of years ago now almost, a year, a couple of years, I don't even know, um, where there were a whole lot of um, people who were doing like Mythic Plus sales or, um, uh, like they were doing mythic plus sales and they were doing raid sales and all that kind of stuff which is and for in-game gold which is all 100% totally fine and valid um, but then when they're sitting on fucking millions and millions and millions of gold and someone goes hey if I give you 10 bucks can you send me a few for a few hundred K and they kind of went oh actually yeah that sounds pretty okay and then they did that and then it got bigger and bigger and bigger and it was all super secret underground bullshit um, but they had spreadsheets tracking who was selling what to whom and where the gold was coming from and how much money they were getting for it and all this kind of shit. They were, they were accounting. It was doing, it was an accounting spreadsheet. Um, but they were, it, like, they had all this massive stockpile of gold, in-game gold, and they started trading it for money. So they are not cracking down on leveling guilds who are boosting characters for gold. That's bullshit. What they are doing is cracking down on the players who are using that as a like as a as a fucking what are the what do the mob do with the like shell company but not a shell company it's not empty inside it's it's a cover like you know like the laundromats and stuff for laundering money fronts they're using the boosting tunes for gold as a front to make a shit ton of gold which they're then selling for real world money and that is against toss that they're trading it for real world currency and that is what they're cracking down on. What you said is fear-mongering and not the truth. Just, yeah, like phrasing is everything. The words that you choose to use is literally everything. Uh, you should be able to do any question up to 50, you'll be fine. Uh, is there any dungeons for Lunar Festival, please? No. There's a world boss, uh, it's, or like a, a, a yeah, world boss type thing. It's in Moonglade, that's it, no dungeon. I can do BFA, you can do BFA. I'm glad I helped. Welcome back, Kerry. We post banning all leveling communities. The boosting communities are being prohibited. Yeah, okay, cool. And that'd be why. It'd be because of the real world. They can't, there is no way for them to prevent it from becoming um, real money transactions. It's not about the, the boosting. Boosting is still fine to do. They've like, boosting is still fine to do for gold. Um, they just, they're trying to prevent all that gold from being funneled to a central location where it can be used to make real world money. That's the problem. <clears throat> Organizations who disruptively advertise across all realms and establish escrow services are the primary target of this policy update. 
Guilds and individuals who are inviting players from another realm to join them in traditional game activities in exchange for gold are allowed as they were before. Let me just, um, would that include things like GDKP runs where players benefit financially off other people? That depends, that depends on the definition of financially. If it exchange, if it means an exchange of gold only without a middleman entity, then it sounds like the same sort of guild activities players have been enjoying for 17 years, which are not the focus of this policy update. As the conditions change by which various entities operate in World of Warcraft, we are compelled to update our policies to further our goal of making the gameplay experience as fair and as welcoming as possible. Since we last updated our policies, we have found that an increasing disturbance of the gameplay experience has been caused by organizations excessively advertising various non-traditional services in-game. As of today, we will now prohibit organizations who offer boosting, matchmaking, escrow, or other non-traditional services, including those offered for gold. World of Warcraft accounts found to be in violation of this policy are subject to account actions. These actions can include warnings, account suspensions, and if necessary, permanent closure of the disruptive World of Warcraft accounts. Organizations operating across multiple realms, excessively advertising non-traditional in-game sales, are contrary to the terms and conditions of the Blizzard End User License Agreement, EULA. This policy update does not restrict individuals or guilds from using the provided in-game tools, trade channel chat, to buy or sell in-game items or activities in for in-game currency. However, boosting communities, especially those who operate across multiple realms, are no longer permitted. It's because they're disruptive and because they can find it, the escrow. Escrow. It facilitates real money transfers, real money, real money transactions. We urge all such organizations to cease doing business in World of Warcraft immediately in order to maintain uninterrupted access to the game. Honestly, that's fair. Uh, Gallywix community got absolutely murdered. It was two years ago. That does not feel like two years ago, does it? That's why I'm like, was it one? Was it two? Was it seven? I didn't know. Like, <laughs> That is two years ago. Holy fucking Jesus. But yeah, they, they annihilated them. And it was because they made fucking thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, of United States dollars, from selling the gold that they made via boosting. Blizzard is cracking down on mainly the communities that are disruptively advertising cross-server. Correct. And honestly, fucking good. <laughs> like ninety percent of the messages that come through those channels are from like one fucking group of players, and it's just fucking it's disgusting and ridiculous. Um, yeah, it was literally yeah, real money transactions lending lending to world first contenders. Yep. Yep. Spreadsheets. Yes. Laundering money. Laundering. Lol. Uh, yes, but the word I was looking for was the front. That was the actual business that was being used to launder. I knew the word laundering. It was the business that does the laundering. That was the word I was looking for. And it's a front organization. It's a front. Um, <clears throat> uh, multiple discords that I'm in have ceased runs. Yeah. Uh, they confirm mythic guilds gathering gold for race to world first funds are fined. Fine, it's literally the mega companies like Gallowix and Nova that are the issue. Spamming and trade chat and stuff. Yeah, they're disruptive. They disrupt gameplay for everybody else. Uh, change does not prohibit the practice. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I feel like it hurts raid sellers more than Mythic Plus and PvP sales. Why? It doesn't hurt anyone who's like, you can still sell raid runs, and you can still sell Mythic Plus runs, and you can still sell PvP runs. You just can't sell matchmaking. You can't sell escrow. You can't sell boosting, like it's the, but it's it's the organizations that are doing that. It's not individual players who are offering like, hey, we'll take you to set, we'll take you to um, Bitchface, Sylvanas, for X now amount of gold. You can still absolutely do that. You can absolutely still do that. You just can't be part of a massive organization that has thirty different groups that run every week to sell the, that's what they're talking about. It's not an individual guild who's like, oh, we've cleared it, let's sell AOTC runs, or let's sell cutting edge runs or whatever it is that they're selling. One little guild doing it themselves, that's fine. It's one guild as a part of a fucking entity of like 20 or 30 that is the issue. Um, This explains why I wanted Pacific Discords. I'm in a stop, yep. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the middlemen. It's the middlemen that they're trying to get rid of. 
Oh, I don't know where a year and a half long break so much has changed. There's so many new things. Oh my god, Alfred, doesn't it? It it changes every so often, hey. Like I mean, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. Well, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. And I mean, if I can't answer it, we've got a hell of a community here, and they're all so lovely and helpful. Uh, well, most of them are so lovely and helpful. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, vast majority, like if if I can't answer it, chances are there's going to be a handful of people in chat who will have an answer uh, that they'll be able to help you directly. Um, so, like, yeah, we're here to have some fun, but I hope you're enjoying your return to Azeroth. That's what's important, right? As long as you're having fun. It's a super solid change for a majority of players. However, it'll push the community underground, making it far risky for player seeking services such as Curve Boost. They don't have access to a reputable guild at the top of the server. But a guild at the top of the server can do it. That's the whole point, Spirit, is that it's fine if one if one guild wants to sell a run. It's a problem if it's if they're part of a goddamn company. This is, this is people running literal fucking corporations in World of Warcraft. That's the issue. One guild selling runs is not what Blizzard are trying to stamp out. Uh, I just want to no longer see boosting ads in trade. It's boosting ads in Dungeon Finder. Yeah. Well, the boosting ads in Dungeon Finder are against Toss already. So all you need to do is right click and report those and it'll remove them from your list, leaving approximately two, but still. Um, I haven't seen one in ages, personally. Ah, uh, all my channel's off. This is really ruins the MMR aspect. Trade chat was much, much better yesterday from what I saw. Ah, uh, look! Trade chat is wonderful now. Every server has guilds that clear full mythic, a full clear mythic. Not every server, but once once the Hall of Fame is filled, it doesn't matter because you can go cross server anyway. Every server has a guild you can go to if you want to buy a carry. It's just now you have to do that, not go just not a middleman discord. Yep, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> uh, would you say it's the equivalent of cutting out middle groups? Uh, like Airbnb. Um, I don't know why I need to say something like that. Like, I think it's pretty self-explanatory without having to use, um, uh, what's it? Um, the, the reason I'm saying that is because if I do agree with some of those kind of statements, there are going to be people who open up, but we need this and we need that and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, well, it's got nothing to fucking do with the situation at hand. This is, yeah, they're cutting out middlemen. I, I don't need to liken it to anything else, I don't think. Uh, I mean, you can, but it's harder to find buyers on an individual level than it was with boosting communities. Don't get me wrong. I think it's a good thing. Finding sales for PvP and for Mythic Plus on an individual, in my experience, is a lot easier. Well, that's fair. I mean, maybe this will make it easier for people to find because now those guilds are going to trade chat, which is where they should be. They'll have the guild leader who posts in trade chat until they get X number of buyers for that week, and then they shut up because they're full. And then the next week, they do the same thing. Like, you'll just have to know when to buy, and, and they'll be there. They, maybe it was so difficult to find them before, because you couldn't go to them solo, because they'd only go, no, 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 just go in that Discord, you'll find a, you'll find a group through the Discord. Maybe that's why it was more difficult. <clears throat> Potentially. We don't know. We won't know the effect of it until, like, it kicks off, you know what I mean? Like, until it's really, truly kicked off, we won't know. Um... Uh, there was something else that's middle party. Yeah, and th this is why I don't think that's necessary. I don't think it's, you don't, I don't think we need to find a, a comparative situation. Uh, we can just literally say Blizzard are trying to remove middlemen from boosting services. Yeah. Um, I think once I saw someone selling Timeless Proto Drake waiting group, but don't know how that is supposed to work. Um, that's, I mean, sure. As long as it's for gold, I don't think it's against us. I mean, you can find them for free in plenty of places, but... <laughs> Personally, I would prefer if they were more strict with it, especially with PvP. I stopped doing Arena because it stopped being fun playing against boosters all the time. Fair enough. I uh, I don't do PvP anyway, so I'm not really sure, like... <laughs> Just got a whole bunch to hold them. You see that referring... Making a similar comparison. It's kind of change that can take a long time to really feel the results of what the change does for the game community. Yeah, exactly. Like, obviously, you know, they're saying cease operations immediately. The fact that Blizzard are even referring to it as operations tells you how fucking far it's gone. Like, that's, you know, these are companies running inside a different company's product. That's not usual. <laughs> that's not usual. But uh, anyway, um... Yeah, I think obviously like all the boosting and stuff will shut down overnight. It might take until 9-2 for stuff to really kind of pick back up again with the, the boosters and stuff. And maybe like a month or two after 9-2, once people have their own clears done and they're confident in taking somebody in who can sit dead in the corner. 
Um, because not all groups are able to run a mythic with four people, you know? You gotta you gotta get to the point where you're comfortable with that with all the difficulty scaling and shit. Um, and there are not a lot of people out there who will buy a mythic three uh, while you're getting ready for it, while you're getting prepared for 15s. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it might take us a while to see what actually happens about all this, uh, or those who know what they're doing might kick it off immediately because, hey, there's no one else in the fucking market at the moment. Let's cash in. I think the important thing to notice here as well is that with middlemen, you could pay a level one character on Sourfang and get a service for that character, but it's run by people on Bartholus, where you can't pay people on Bartholus from Sourfang with gold. Um, I think that's kind of the biggest thing here is that it enabled cross, so like cross server boosting and stuff, which is obviously what's been mentioned. Um, so I think the biggest kind of thing that might come of this is that the the big servers are going to get bigger and the, the dead, you know, the quieter servers, the smaller servers will get smaller. Obviously, like, Saofang, like, Marthalus is the only unconnected oceanic realm at this point. I know there are a fuckload of, you know, American realms and all that kind of stuff to deal with, but if I were just looking at the oceanic community, because that's where I play, that's all I really know much about, um, Marthalus is the only unconnected one. Um, so if you've got all the boosters are on Bartholus, then you might see people who usually pay for services with gold moving to Bartholus so they can continue to do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, and having, like, so, like uh, a group of people made up from different server connections doing the boosting together will also be obviously more difficult because, um, you know, who's going to who's gonna get paid? Uh, but it's I, – I don't think it's that big – a deal like people will find a way people will find a way and if you've got a quieter server where there aren't very many boosting communities what you might end up finding is that people transfer themselves there to make a shitload of gold because they can because they're the only one offering the service on that server cluster um, but we'll see it's it's gonna take a few months i think but we'll we'll see what happens um we won't know until we get there but overall i think this is a good change They invite you to their group, so you phase into their shard. They they literally can't stop people from claiming the mount, nor proving their shard has one. It's sketchy at best, yeah. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, if you're looking for something like a TLPD or something, I would definitely recommend the Secret Finding Discord. Um, yes, it's a community. They don't. They don't do gold. You. You cannot. You'll get banned if you try to ask for gold, for a, for a spawn or something. Um, so yeah, it's um. <clears throat> yeah, and they have all sorts of all sorts of amazing people who camp those mounts long after they've gotten it themselves to try to help other people get that shit, which is just so incredibly selfless and generous and amazing of them with their time. Uh, so yeah, definitely highly recommend Secret Finding Discord. I've gotten so many new mounts. Oh, right. This whole fucking thing is a moon well, isn't it? I always forget that. <laughs> I was looking, I'm like, where's the little stone thing? Uh, from what I know, most of these large organizations is upwards of 10 billion gold in assets. And that's just fucking ridiculous. What the fuck can you do with that kind of gold? You know, it's just... Did it not work? Yeah, I've got eight stacks. Um, so these companies are probably organizing these things in a shady pub in Old Town. Nah, it's in Discord. Come on. Uh, I think early the big, big guilds will be selling much off server. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, like, even the smaller guilds, um, it can be really easy for them to join a boosting organization and just people, like, it's like, oh, you want to boost? Okay. 
Uh, these guys have a spot available. Go over to them. They're the smallest fucking guild from God knows where, but they've got the spot that week, and they're on the they're on the organization's roster. So they get matched up. They go take the person, and they all get paid. Like, do you know what I mean? It's it's that kind of. That's a benefit for a smaller guild to get gold anyway by joining one of those orgs. Um. Ah, uh, the Amani Coast some girls to move off the mega servers to have less sales competition. Yeah, for sure. But it also it does also mean you know potentially fewer uh, like p fewer potential recruits, uh, people who aren't willing to transfer servers. Like they went to Bartholus as an example specifically because they wanted to have the most guilds to choose from. Uh, but look, that's it. That's each individual player that they have to make those decisions. Oh, my guild has got their time lost last week through Sigifani Discord or Achievement Discord. Amazing, dude. Congratulations to them. Just need three of the crowns. I'm done with everything but patterns and schematics. Amazing. That is so cool. Uh, I am... Moonflower's charged. But I can't... How, where do I charge it? I've done the Rite of the Moon. So for the light of the moon, the moon was around the world, then my flowers can stay. Yeah, but... Oh, do I have to do one more? No, I've got eight stacks. Why is it not marked as complete then? What brings you here? Good luck, friend. What? Oh, that's my thing. What were people doing with that much gold? I don't believe they weren't making any real money off it. Exactly. Exactly. How can they possibly? Did I miss one? I've got eight stacks. Oh, I've learned that Mount Hygel is bugged. It must be safe to last, otherwise it prevents doing that. I did do Hygel last. Efficient, maybe we fill with Ashen Ashen I did that, but then... You are not ah! prepared! Miss Marvel, hello! Welcome on in. I hope you're doing wonderfully. How was your stream? What? I don't understand what's going wrong. Thank you for the castle, Yamanshi, but hey, princess. Hello, hello, it's great. Did some random thing. Plus, wonderful. I hope you smashed it. I hope you got all the things you needed. Hey, Amor. Hey, Darren. Oh, has anyone done this and like... This is broken. Something's wrong. I do Hydro to last. I did Hydro last. But it's not. I always imagine it. Yay! I'm so pleased to hear that, Marvel. I'm sorry, I'm usually far more interactive than this, but I have issues. Um So I have this quest, the the Lunar Lunar Preservation, right? Uh, and you have to go around, you have to do all the moon wells, right? And I got, get eight stacks. I've got eight stacks. That's an eight. That is an eight. But the moonflower, the star for moonflower does not work. Everyone's saying that Mount Hygel is bugged and you have to do Mount Hygel last. But I did do it last. I did do it last and I don't understand...
seems as of the 2021 Lunar Festival, you may visit these locations in any order. Mount Nihydral no longer has to be last from testing it on my alts. Um, one time per character. Apparently step in Mount Nihydral is working fine. It just... I don't understand. I need to raid. Oh, it is still a raid. Why is it still I a raid? Well. God fucking damn it. Why is it still a raid? Maybe that is... Oh, fuck me. All the other... So we've just done a whole tour of the world and picked up and turned in all those quests and they were totally fine to do in a raid group. And then this one can't be. That's just so silly. Come on, if you're gonna... Like, if you can't do it in a raid, make all of them unable to be done in a raid. Hello. May the stars Wait, what did that tick off? Do Fuck me. No, 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 too far. See the moon buff. Right, so I think I have to do the whole round again. Because that ticked off something, but it didn't tick off everything. <laughs> Noted. That sucks. Oh well. Hmm. What are you working on? Lunar Festival. Um, I want this to be the year that I clear all of my world events. All the holidays. Like, get all the transmog, all the toys, all that kind of stuff. Because, um, I'm into ATT now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This is, this is my efforts at getting everything from Lunar Festival done. This character needs 105 coins to buy everything she needs. Mm, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub, Princess. Much appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Mm, it's a raid thing, it has to be. Well, 50, well done, Jiva. Congratulations. Mm. Yeah, we just went around the world and did 80 quests, picking up all the coins. See? Bags! Uh, and I, yeah, all of them were totally fine. We did all of them in a raid group. And then this one quest. Can't do in a raid group. It's like... But I got the buffs! Like, that's that's just, it's strange. If I can't get them, why give me the extra action button and shit? Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> I have now. Thank you so much, Marvel, and thank you again for the raid. I hope you have a wonderful night. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Deserve the love. Aw, thank you, princess. Like, where has a reputation for being bug free? Well, no, but neither does literally any game. <laughs> this isn't a bug. <laughs> this is this is working as intended. Usually quests cannot be completed in raid groups. That's not a bug. Leave me a crash too. Not a problem. Yeah, go go have a rest. Look, if you if you're sleepy, then your body's telling you something. Go sleep well. We'll see you next time. By the sun well. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Channel. Five gifted subs. Oh my god. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. By the sun well. Congratulations to everyone who got struck by the sub bomb. God, a minute until a hype. Like, we've got a minute left to trigger a hype train. By the sun Oh well. dear. Thank you so much, Channel. That is so kind of you. Dwarfy Grump X. Ashley, Luna, Templar, oh, look at that. Congrats to all of you, well done. Well done. Oh, I, uh, over my day off, I extracted the, uh, the sub list for January, like all the, all oh, the subs. Sun well. And, um, I also took a screenshot of the gifted subs for January before they went away. Um, so that hopefully 
uh, when I get a spare 12 minutes, aha, I can make up a, a pattern for like cross stitching all the names of all the subs and stuff. But like, look, we'll see. We'll see. Well done, Templar. Well done. I'm really looking forward to buying some stuff and making that number go up. It'll be very good. Feel very, very nice. A chair streamer. Okay. But do I still have a chair stream from before? I do. I'm gonna turn that off. Get up. I got up before to like get them like my waist measurement because we we're talking about like measuring properly for uh, for underpants. <laughs> <clears throat> get up longer. Okay, okay. Look, I'm gonna finish this quest. I'm gonna turn it in. I'm gonna buy shit, and then I'll switch tunes. And while the tune is switching, I'll go get up longer. How's that sound? <clears throat> battle? Oh, is there a battle up? There is. Fuck, you go over there. Do you need to get up and walk around a bit? Yeah. Speaking of underwear, thank you very much, Koalachon. Fia has teamed up with step one. Very comfortable bamboo underpants. Just recently released their women's range. Of course, regardless of your gender identity, you can purchase whichever product suits you best. And 15% uh, discount if you are interested. Most comfortable underwear I have ever worn in my life. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. Fantastic. Congratulations to Koala, Pulse, Fade and View, Durin, Zam, Eid, Ghosty, and Men on all your bonus gold, because that's literally what everybody got. Enjoy. <laughs> that was our token chest. Amazing and wonderful. Let's go on to our next battle. <clears throat> Did I get any? I got one assist with the vampire. Fuck me. I think I'm going to have to do tank, so... Actually, while I'm here, jump. There we go.
<clears throat> Seriously sounds like a bird is farting. Good news is, on the next tune, I can just skip all the dungeon ones. All the dungeon elders. Because I need like a good 20 fewer. I think I only need 80 coins for her. <clears throat> so I can get 25 of those from this quest. And then. What's that? 55? From elders? Yeah, it'll be easy to get. Sploosh. Yeah, see, I got them all. But it still says... I must be missing one. Missing. Oh, for God's sake. What did I tell you? Did I get? I don't think I got this. I couldn't have. How did it skip one? That's really odd. No, it's the previous, this one. Silver Moon. Ah, oh, it's because it skipped over it automatically. I must have right clicked it. Because <clears throat> I did this last time. I remember clicking the Silver Moon orb. But I didn't do it this time. Because, yeah, it's automatically jumping when I go through a load screen. That's the problem. How many does that mean that I'm missing? I've done that one. I think. Fuck. This is really bullshit hard to do when you've uh, when you've already done it and it's like, well, can't figure out which ones you haven't done. And it doesn't track you. Have I DC'd? Stream is still fine. I think WoW has pooped its pants. Oh, weak has crashed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, is you the one in Duskwood? Uh, I don't know. Oh, that's the one I'm heading to now. That's the one I'm heading to now. Um, but it skipped it last time because I went through a load screen and it skipped right through to, uh... So, how many... So I'm going to do the seven one and then I'll check out six and if it doesn't work I'll go to six and then five and etc. But, um, yeah. Panic! Yeah, look, I'd really love to jump onto the next tune because, uh, I want to get them done. But... I don't think that's going to happen anymore. If it had worked the first time, we'd be fine. But I don't think this is going to... Hmm. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Number seven at the moment. Yeah, we're heading for Duskwood now. <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm going to need to do number six as well. Where's number six? Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to do number six. But I'm pretty sure I've done. Have I? God damn, I don't even know. Fuck. 
Well, let's stick with seven and see where we go from here. Wait, 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 backwards until it fucking pings. <clears throat> oh, you can mark things as incomplete. You can, like... Okay. Or incomplete, I should say. Ha! <laughs> Words. They're hard. We have the button, so... Okay, let's flag this is incomplete. No, it doesn't work like that. No, it's not flagging it as incomplete. Alright, that's okay. Um, let's go Dal. I want to see if I like them. Amazing, Matt. I hope you do. I really, truly hope you enjoy them. Because my, like, my biggest... Not, not a... F it's not really a fear. But one thing that would really, like, get me real down is if people bought something that I recommended to them and it was just trash. And they didn't enjoy it or it didn't work properly or the company was shit or whatever. Like, it would just, it would make me feel so trash. So I really, really hope that you absolutely love them. Uh, heaven is nice, gives XP, rep, tokens for buying stuff, one stone, many birds, yas, all the birds. Hello Trud, hello Daz, how are you both? Am I actually going? Zuldazar. What? Zulda. Ah, uh, Silithus? Yeah, Silithus. Ah, uh, it's a thank you. Thank you, it is such a load off. I don't have to stress about it anymore, you know? It's a really good feeling. I like that a lot. Much appreciate. Plus side, if I don't like them, they are free. Yeah, fair. Fair. Get a nice mount, indeed. Indeed. There are enough unobtainable mounts in the game that I don't have. I didn't really want to add to it. So, it's, um, it's nice. And I'm sitting at 200 mounts to go that are currently available in game. Let me lose my wisdom too. I feel elevated and happy for the time being. Interesting. Painkillers did never um, given me a high. They just make the pain go away. <laughs> make it hurt less or not at all. I hope you're being safe. Hope you're okay. Your job is to be below 200 mounts remaining come 10.0. This is what fear looks like when she's trying to figure out if it's possible. <laughs> I don't know how many mounts are coming in 9.2. I don't think they'll add any in 9.25. We know there's a 9.25 coming. Um, I don't think they'll add any new mounts in 9.25. But depending on how many mounts they add in 9.2, it could be possible. Good. I don't know. We'll find out. Might have to change up how I farm them. <clears throat> but it could definitely be possible. Hey! Finally! Alright. I don't know if I want to say. Don't. It'll be much, much better, Jack, when you watch me on patch day open up DFA and go, what? And like cry. You'd be, it'll be far more entertaining for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be over a hundred. 
Might have to slot in an extra, um, an extra mount farm every week. Try to keep me below that number. Mm, that'd be excessive. And 83 isn't. <laughs> like, you know. By the sun mm. Ah! Twitch, baby! Can't believe the time has passed so quickly. Feel blessed. Aw, oh, Den, that is so sweet of you to say. Thank you so... It was three patches, though. Three... What do you mean it was three patches? What do you mean? Thank you so much, Den, for the resub. Thank you for your ongoing support. Thank you for your generosity. And for your kind words as well. Much appreciated. Three in Shadowlands so far. Oh, uh, I th no. I thought they added eighty three in patch nine point one alone. Hang on, where's DFA? Because you can sort by patch on DFA in pa for Shadowlands. You can't sort by sort by patch on the other the other ones. Um. Right, tick collected, collected, advanced, no, source, no, expansion, uh, none. Ah, oh, no, you can't, oh, sorry, there's 9-1. Okay, so 9 -0 had 80. 9-0-5 added 3. 9-1 added 49. And then 9-1-5 added 4. Okay, so the entirety of Shadowlands is given as 136. 136 across the entirety. So not even 91 and 915, it, that's 53. So I don't know where this 83 number keeps coming from that I keep saying. Maybe they're not talking about like promotions and the shop mounts and things like that, because this includes all of those as well. But yeah, 136 from all sources for the entirety of Shadowlands. There you go. Yeah, I've got 200 exactly to go. 200 exactly. Alright, there we go. Greetings. What does Loon's Blessing get me? No, I don't care. Abandon! Okay, so where's my list? So, Repressly needs. No. Yes. I am listening. Wait. Oh, no, Lunar Preservation. Okay, where's the other? Here we go. I want to browse your goods. I want small... Oh. Right. <laughs> One moment, please. Uh, I'm surprised you aren't taking a small break from out farming, considering there's a lot of what you'll be doing very soon. I enjoy it. That's the problem. <laughs> I enjoy it. Uh, and I really like seeing that number go down. Like, I love being close to having all the mounts. Like, ah, oh, it's such a cool feeling. I'll clear the red shit later. Uh, small rocket recipes. Large rocket recipes. Why is this lagging out so hard every time I do this? Uh, cluster rocket recipes. And large cluster rocket recipes. Schematic firework launcher. Schematic cluster launcher. Schematic snake firework. Schematic horde firework. Schematic alliance firework. Uh, and then... Farewell. Uh, Crown of Good Fortune. 
crown of dark blossoms. Festive teal pantsuit. And festive blue pantsuit. Alright, here we go. The noises, they come. <laughs> Expecting that one to expand. Oh well. <clears throat> this is fun. So we went from 60 something to 78%. That's a good start. Um, we do have, there's like a quest I think I'm supposed to do now to unlock the ever, or maybe it's, yeah, here we go. So there are two quests, Crown of Dark Blossoms and the Crown of Good Fortune. Um, so these are to unlock them year round because the crowns I just bought you can only use during the event. So these quests are to unlock them like year round. <clears throat> oh, I can do all four of them on one tune. Maybe I should do that instead then. Maybe I should not do them on this character and do them on Alexia instead. Yeah, we'll do that. I didn't even think that I could do them all because I bought them on this tune, but it's transmog. It's fucking account wide. It's fine. Uh, right, so I'm gonna, this, that's it. This is tune done. This tune is done. With her 105 coins. So now I need to get Alexia 55 coins and then do the lunar preservation thing on her to get the 80 and then I can buy the rest of everything I need. Uh, I say that now, I really hope with your 50 level 50s you get the rocket this year. I fucking better. Let me fucking tell you. <laughs> um, look, I, I understand if I don't because the numbers the numbers are against me. Um, it's a three, you know, 33, 33 drop chance. One in 33, 33. Uh, and with my 850 existing attempts plus my 750 from this year, that's only 1600. And that's not even half of 33, 33. So I, I would understand if it didn't drop, but I'd be very upset. We'll see how we go. It'll be, it'll be interesting. Like, I want to say it'll be fun. I may not think so by the end of it, but it's certainly exciting in the lead up. All the recipes, woo! She has the best little sounds, agreed. ATT overdose. It's so, such a good, like, buying everything and being like, yeah. It, like, it's good. It's good. I like it. I like it. Mmm. I was going to take a chair stream when I was switching tunes. I'll be back a second. Run away, little girl. Run away.
so I went to watch, I went to talk to Jess, and um, while I was with him, I watched myself get up out of the chair and leave. He's got such a delay on his goddamn stream that, hmm, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Optimized Elder's Path. Let's go. Let's do it. Out of curiosity, why are you always on the front page for Battle.net? Uh, because Blizzard loves me. <laughs> nah, um, it's, it's good for them to have engagement with the launcher, uh, and it's also good for them to be able to direct, uh, particularly new players, uh, to a place where they can, they can talk, they can ask questions, they can see different aspects of the game, because, I mean, a lot of people see, um, I mean, we've, when they've had, um, Mythic Pluses and Raiders and, and all that kind of stuff on the launcher as well, but I tend to do the usually unseen parts of of WoW. Um, the stuff that doesn't get as much like promotion and view time and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think, I don't know exactly why, like what it is that they like about me and my content, but they do. And I guess they're comfortable having me up there um, and comfortable referring people to, to come watch because they keep doing it. And I'm, I'm pretty thankful for that. I've met some absolutely amazing people through this opportunity, so. Very grateful. Very grateful. But I hope you're having a lovely day, Sinistar, and I hope uh, that you enjoy whatever sp whatever time you... Blah, blah, blah. Let's try that again. I hope that you enjoy whatever time you decide to spend with us. Ooh, that's actually a really good point, Koalatron. Thank you very much for uh, the bot. It is a bot. Don't, it, it won't respond to you. It's a bot. Um, the throne wish list. I need to go through that, and I need to... It's my birthday month. <laughs> I don't want to turn 32, but snacks will definitely make it better. Um, I have to kind of go through, because there were a few things that I was going to, Game's like... Honor, there were a few things I've had my eye on. And, um... <laughs> having a wish list like this makes it really useful to be able to just, you know, send to my parents when they ask, what do you want for your birthday? <laughs> like, pick something! But no, um... I have to go through and, and pop some updates on there, methinks. Throne has been so fucking useful, I have to say. Alright, so I need to do this. So I need eight of these ones and two of these ones and what then we're just gonna go pew 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 <laughs> well met goodbye one coin of ancestry. Uh, uh, uh. So I need to get to 55, and then I can head to Moonglade. I'm not sure I'm going to get that done today, but look, we'll give it a good, we'll give it a red hot go. Let's see how far we can get. Hey, Peffy, how you going? Just turned 32 myself. Not much different to 31. Lot less scary than 30. What? 30 was so goddamn scary. It ended up being one of the best birthdays I'd had in in quite some time. Um, it was so obviously my birthday's in February, uh, and I had my my mum, my dad, my stepdad, um, all but one of my siblings. I've got a brother and two step siblings. Uh, one of my step siblings was out of the country, but the other two came up. Um, it was the first time I'd had my whole family in the one room think, since I think my university graduation, which is quite a while ago. Because um, like I mean I'll see mum and I'll see dad but I very rarely see them at the same time especially considering that they live in Melbourne and I live in Brisbane um so like we're quite far away that's the last time I saw any of them two years because guess what happened like literally not even a month after they like not even a month after the whole party thing happened uh we were all in lockdown um in fact I think it was closer to three weeks maybe even less than um, and I, I haven't seen them since, like, not once. I've seen, like, we've faced, we've, like, we've, we've video chatted and things like that, but that's absolutely not the same. I've, I've not hugged my parents or my siblings in, in over two, almost two years. And, um, that sucks. It really sucks. 
Um, so I like, I know that not everyone has a great relationship with their family and I respect that. Um, that's, you know, a lot of the time it's for a good reason and all that kind of like, you know, I'm not absolutely not going to judge that, but I'm not in that situation. Um, my family is incredibly close knit. I love my family very much and I enjoy spending time with them uh, and I enjoy being in their presence. So not being able to see them for this amount of time has been really, really hard, really difficult. Like, uh, like there, there have been times that I've just broke down in tears because I just, I can't, like, I miss them. I miss them so fucking much. Um, and so uh, in a couple of weeks, my mum's coming to visit. Uh, my mum and my stepfather are uh, coming to visit and um, uh, my, my stepbrother is also going to be somewhere in the vicinity uh, so they're going to go pick him up and bring him to me and <laughs> we're going to have a few meals together and of course it's in the middle of love is in the air uh, <laughs> but um, yeah I am I'm so excited I'm, I'm just so looking forward to it. I can't, I can't wait. Two fucking years. It's just really drilled home how much I want to move home to Melbourne. Like, I just, I want to go home. I want to go home. Uh, but, you know, other things stand in the way of that. So we're dealing with those one by one, breaking the barriers down. And uh, one day we'll make it. One day we'll make it. But yeah, 30 felt fucking terrifying. I think it was because, like... When I was younger, I had this idea in my head of how my life was going to go. You know, I was going to meet someone at this age and then get married at this time and then have this many children at these these years and then or at these ages rather and all that kind of stuff. And then I hit 30 and literally none of it had happened. Not a single like normal milestone, like life milestone. None, none of them had happened. Not anything. Um, and so I think I was just, I felt a little bit behind and felt like I, like, what was I doing with my life? Was I wasting my life? Was I focusing on the wrong things? All that kind of shit. Um, but, uh, I worked through all that. Um, I still don't like the fact that I'm getting older. Um, I'm absolutely fucking petrified of death. Um, it's like that terrifies me not knowing what's what's later which is like you know um i i'm there are not many not many things i can say uh not, not many times i can say that i'm envious of uh people who are religious like i have nothing against religious people um you know to each their own i'm totally you know respect your respect my choice i'll respect yours kind of thing that's totally fine but i am a little envious that you know they have this faith and that they know in their heart of hearts, in their soul, they know that this is what is waiting for them on the other side, regardless of what that might be, because obviously all different religions have different thoughts about what's there. Um, and I don't, and that's terrifying. Uh, but, you know, we, we do what we can. We, we get on with it. Um, so yeah, 32 just feels kind of gross. Um, I feel like I should be somewhere and I'm not, but it is what it is. I'm doing what I can with what I've got and hope for the best. I'm not entering Stratholme. Get fucked. <clears throat> I'm skipping the dungeon ones because I don't need them. I only need 55 Elder Coins and there are 84 of them around, so I'll be fine. Oh, the pews. Wait till you get to 53? I would like to wait a very, very, very long time until I get to 53. <laughs> That's, that does sound very scary. I remember 13 said it was terrifying. Almost immediately after I stopped caring about my age completely. I can't. I There's just something, I don't know. Fairy, Solstice, Koala, Dunno, Durin, and Z. Congratulations to all on your bonus shit. I think one of the things is that I am surrounded by people who are significantly younger than me. Um, like a lot of this community, a lot of the streaming community and stuff like that, um, like a lot of the partner friends that I've made and things like that, they're all, they're all significantly younger than me. I'm talking a decade, like 10 years younger. Um, and that makes me rather conscious of like, um, 
my content is significantly different to theirs, and so I'm going to see a significantly different type or amount of success um, because I attract a different audience, and that audience may be limited because a lot of Twitch is 14-year-olds um, who yell things like poggers and like to see people who break keyboards and sh and that's just not me. Um, so I, I don't have that. I'm, I'm quite detached from a lot of the the Twitch viewing community. Obviously not all of them because you guys are here. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I feel my age um, quite keenly a lot of the time. I can't, I cannot ever forget that I am X amount older than everyone around me. Um, I am quite old to be doing what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it, so it's, it's kind of, yeah, it, it's just that constant reminder, constant reminder. Um, how are you? Have a lovely time together. Me too, Peffy, me too. So, um, eh, not fucking this button, please. This is what I'm doing this month. Um, <laughs> This is, this is my stream schedule uh, for the month. I don't usually stream Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday, but I am this month. I have four days off for the entirety of February, which is scary as fuck. But, um, so the, so mum's coming up on the 18th. So that Heartbreaker Farm, usually that'd be a full length stream, but it's not this time. And it's also earlier. There are, the start times vary. You can check the schedule, really easy to do. Um, because they're all like the start the start times of this month are all over the fucking place because I just I can't I can't maintain consistency because I have a job I have a day job that I have to work uh in in and amongst all of this shit um but yeah so on the on the 18th instead of doing an evening stream like we are today I'm doing like a midday stream and it's just a short one just to get my runs out the way and then we're gonna go have dinner on Friday then on Saturday we're having a boozy a boozy lunch uh, and then I'm going to stream later on Saturday night, like six o'clock-ish. And then on Sunday, we're going to go and have breakfast and I'm going to do my regular stream. Uh, and then they're going to skedaddle on Sunday afternoon. So it's, um, yeah, like it's going to be a hectic weekend. But this whole month is going to be hectic. I'm not going to have like 10 minutes to scratch my ass, at, honestly. <laughs> like I've like yesterday was my, my first day off out of four. Tomorrow is my second day off out of four, and sun Saturday is my third day off out of four, and then I don't get another day off till the 24th. So it's going to be fun. Um, I did the calculation. Usually in a 28-day month, I would spend 96... Was it 96? 96 hours streaming. This month I'm going to be spending 126. Yep. And that's taking into account the fact that that Friday stream is going to be shorter than what it usually is. So it's going to be a time, but we're going to get there. Um, and th this all is dependent on me not getting the mount. So as soon as the mount drops, oh fuck, <laughs> everything's cancelled. Um, all those extra streams will go bye-bye and uh, we'll go back to the normal streaming schedule and I will actually get to have some sleep. Uh, <laughs> But it has to drop first. So I'm kind of like, I am I know what I'm doing worst case where it doesn't drop at all. But I also know what I'm doing if it drops first try. Like I've got, I've got contingencies. I can't operate without them. Fuck off, Nathanos. Ah, uh, good. Birthday is 25th of January. Ah, oh, happy birthday just gone. Dad and sister flew for my birthday. I think the first case of COVID was in Vic. That, ooh. Oof, youch. <clears throat> Oof. They get to see them and have such a great time. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I'm just, I'm bursting at the seams. I know I don't look like it, but I am, trust me. Hello, Tom. I hope you're having a lovely day. Having children in this economy. Look, honestly, yeah, right? <laughs> wow, milestones are better than IRL ones. I've got tw 200 mounts to go, busy. 200 mounts left to collect. Does I go work with Achi and show you where the Lunar Elders are? I don't know what Achi is. Um, it just, it's just showing me where the lunar, it's got an optimized path that bounces me around the continents, um, to get to each of them. It hasn't, it's not integrating with any other, oh, actually, I think it uses, it might use TomTom Tom for the guides, but it, I think it used to use TomTom Tom for the arrow system, but I don't think it does anymore. Um, but I don't, I don't think it has any other integrations at all. Like, it's just, um... Yep, there's no, it never, it used to mention like a TomTom Tom integration and stuff and it doesn't anymore. Um, so I would say, no, that's it. 
It's just Zygor. No, no integration with anything else. No interacting. Um, I hope when I pass, I go to Valhalla. That would be one hell of an interesting place to go, that's for sure. Absolutely. Obviously, it makes me feel like life is more important. Um, yeah. Yeah, but if it means nothing while I'm here, like I'm one of seven billion, why do I matter? Why am I even here? What's the point? Like, you know, what what am I what am I doing? I'm I'm not really doing anything. Am I changing the world? What what like if I live to be eighty, what is my eighty years gonna have? What what effect will I have on the planet or, or the rest of humanity? Like it just yeah, what's the point? So yeah, um I I feel like there's something out there. I just don't know what it is. Um but yeah, I'm I'm like I don't know. I've been I've been learning and listening and adjusting my worldview for nearly 32 years. Um and I'm still not quite sure, but who knows? Literally no one. No one can know for sure. Uh, I used to be scared of death, I understand it much more since I became a nurse. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ah, uh, it's inevitable. It comes through all this in the end. Just do what makes you happy in life. What time you've got. Yeah, that's not how it works when you've got fucking anxiety, bipolar and shit. That's, that's not how that works at all. <laughs> um, no. It's, yep. That's okay. Everyone, everyone's brain operates differently and some people can just sort of do that and some people can't. And some people are all the way in between of all the different things, uh, and that's okay. It's all valid. We do the best that we can. Only a few months older than me. But I'm older, that's... <laughs> I mean, there are, there are sets of twins who pull the I'm 12 seconds older than you bullshit, so come on. <laughs> I'm here, you are! You are! Hello, Tom. 48, don't sweat it. Look, it's, it's hard to put all, like when, when I tell mum, you know, when I'm talking to mum, I'm like, I'm turning 32 and I hate this. And she's like, how do you think I feel? You no, know, I gave birth to you and now you're 32. What did, like fucking, I'm like, yeah, I get that. But <laughs> it's, um, it, it's, it's this intangible thing. You can't like, you can't possibly know what it feels like to be, you know, 50 something or, or 40 something or, or different than what you are. Or what you have been. It's yeah. Uh, mm. Well, tomorrow. Ah, happy birthday for tomorrow, channel. Thirty six in April. Nowhere near. I thought I'd be at this point. My life, chronic illness will do that to you. Yep. 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 Ah, uh, so older than you, fear. So glad to fellow female wow collector of my own generation. Follow you on Twitch. Yay, Tussie. Such good values as well. Look, I try. <laughs> I think we all try. Like, most of us do try to have good values. And some of us just misinterpret the word good sometimes. Um, but no, look, I, I, I genuinely try. Um, I just, I don't want... You know, there are so many internet people that are just followed by drama and bullshit. And I don't want that. I can't... Like, there are, there are people who live on drama. Like, they can't function properly if they're not caught up in some kind of drama, be it gossiping about someone else or having themselves be the center of some kind of thing. And I just can't. It's just too much. I don't want to deal with it. Piss off. And so I try to not attract it. <laughs> and I try to not get involved in it. And I try not to start it. And I think that kind of, like, I've absolutely had disagreements with other internet people. There are internet people who hate me and there are internet people who I very much do not like and do not, I would like to not associate with, if possible, moving forward. But I don't go seeking out trouble with them. I don't go mentioning and like name dropping or, or sending people to spy on shit. Like, fuck off. Get your act together and be a goddamn adult. Like, fuck me. Good Lord. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I also watch entirely too much drama channels, uh, too many drama channels on the YouTubes. So just look. <laughs> the the beauty community on, on YouTube is just f 
fucking ridiculous. It's hilarious, but it's ridiculous. Mm. Imagine if it drops first kill. Oh my god, I will actually get sleep in this economy, Kaz. I will actually get some sleep. I swear to god, if it drops, I'm just gonna be like, good, and then walk off. Two minute stream, complete. Achievements. Eight billion now? Fuck, really? Good lord. I uh, make 138 people's lives slightly more interesting right now. <laughs> That's so trippy. Like, why? Why are you here? Like, I don't, I just, mm. Look, I've been doing it nearly six years. It's the sixth anniversary of my Twitch streamingness. Yep, that's a word. Shut up. Um, this month, we're having, that's what the six year marathon was on the 26th of February. I've got giveaways, you guys. I have spoken to several of the companies that I work with, and I have giveaways. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to like make somebody's day. Ah, anyway. Um, but I just, I don't understand. I don't get it. Like, it's fun. Don't get me, like, I love this. This is, I wanna do this pro, I wanna do this full time. I wanna be a full time content creator. I have so much fun doing this shit, but I don't understand why any of you are here. <laughs> like, genuinely. Um, I feel like I, I rant and I ramble and I am incredibly self-absorbed talking about all of my opinions and what I think and blah, 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 blah. Like, it's just like, Hello, I'm narcissist. I, I don't think I'm actually a narcissist, but it certainly feels like it when we do this kind of stuff. And so it's just, it's strange. I'm like, why? I mean, I know a good chunk of people have probably got pulled over here in uh, Miss Marvel's raid and haven't left because they don't realize they've been pulled over because they've gone to bed or something. And so they're lurking and they're not actually here. So they don't realize that they should have clicked off three hours ago. Um, but like, yeah, I, I do not, I don't get it. And I'm not sure that I ever will get it but I will have fun while it lasts. Because what the fuck else am I gonna do? Definitely not gonna deactivate my account, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Nope, we're not doing, we're not, we're no, nope. Where is Elder Stone Fort? Is Elder Stone Fort one that's in, uh, what's it? I think it might be. Yeah, leave Lil Black. Fuck off. No, we're not mentoring Blackrock Depths. I'm a shout. This was the next one that was outside. Okay, good. Um, Midlife crisis of fun. I've had two. Yay! That was sarcasm. I'm so sorry you've experienced that, Tom. That sucks. I'm just trying... Whoa, I'm... Fuck. Where the hell did the thing go? There we go. I'm just trying to learn how to be alive, to be honest. I didn't plan to see life past 16. I'm turning 24 in July. It's hard, but being here in chat help, gives me a reason to stay out of bed for a while. Aww. Well, I'm glad that I can make at least a little bit of your day. Are you, Sheba, are you looking forward to me dying at the end of February? Like, with all the, all the streams? Like, are you, my question is, are you excited for the ridiculous number of hours I'm going to be live this month? Um, the all hours I've been awake in the past week kept in while fear streaming or while having a panic attack. Oh, Jesus, that does not sound fun. I'm so sorry, channel. I'm so sorry. Uh, which mount are you trying for? Uh, none, actually. This is not a mount farming day. Uh, we're doing Lunar Festival coins. I'm trying to cross a few things off ATT. Why are you here? Existential question I ask myself every day. Brilliant red. I ask myself and then I ask my chat, why are you here? <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, Lord. Look. Welcome on in, Red. I hope you're having a lovely day. Oh, yeah, for the same reason, you might go visit a friend at their house just to go hang out. Aww. That's really lovely. That's really lovely. Recommended to me when you were doing Logitech Contest, I think. Values and inclusiveness and overall positive vibes. Real talks about me stay. And having a blast. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Duran. I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, I remember a lot of myself to be honest, fiery, passionate, upfront, honest. I try to be. Like, I do get really excited about a lot of random ass shit. <laughs> um, but, like, upfront, honest type thing. Like, I've seen so many influencers and content creators on all different platforms who, like, 
aren't open and upfront and honest about things like um, like uh, sponsorships and ads and product placement and stuff like that. Um, and it just, it, I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Um, it's like they're trying to trick people into using an affiliate thing so that they can get, like, do you know, like, you know what I mean? It just, it feels like they're trying to trick their viewers into buying something to help support them. On the other side of it, I feel like I built a community that actually likes me. I mean, I'm sure that I probably have hate watchers. I mean, most, most people that I, like, most streamers that I've engaged with do. Like, and that's, it's a bit stupid in my honest opinion, um, but whatever. <laughs> um, you're literally contributing to and supporting a person, um, even though you hate them. Like, why? But anyway. Uh, so, like, the vast majority of people, I would assume, if I'm talking about a product that's going to make me money, if they want it, if they can afford it, and, and it's like, oh, actually, yeah, I've been thinking about getting something like that for myself. A lot of them are going to, like, that's going to be another tick in the column. It's like, want an item, can afford an item, it suits exactly what I need out of this item. Oh, and fear will make some money from it. Sure, absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm, I was looking for one of those anyway, so I'll grab it from, for, I'll grab the one that fear is plugging because I can help her out. I can help her pay her bills. Don't, like... Is that not a positive? Like, why would I hide that from you? That's what I don't understand. Like, people. I mean, there is the like. There are a lot of people made the uh, make the argument that um, if if they don't feel, like, it's like, oh, well, they're being paid to say it, therefore they don't actually feel that way. They're just saying it because they got paid to do it. But like, why would you? If I got paid to say I liked something that was shit, and then you went and bought the thing and it was shit, that's going to make you think my opinions are shit and not listen to them again. Why would I do that? That doesn't... It, like, I cannot imagine any amount of money that throwing away my trust, like the trust that you guys have in my opinion, I, I can't imagine how much money I would put on, on throwing that away. It would be lots. <laughs> and no company would ever dream of wanting to give me that much money. Because it would be ridiculous. It would not be a good investment. Um, so I just, yeah, look, I don't understand that shit. And so I, yeah, in, in a summary, I try to be honest. <laughs> I also rant a lot. Um, I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, you mentioned a few times you're doing extra streams for a mount. Which one is it? Oh, um, Heartbreaker. The Lovers in the Air mount. The the pink rocket. Sorry, Tom. I, I misunderstood your question. There you go. He's recovering from COVID. Oh, shit, Red. Uh, well, I'm glad you're recovering. You That's them. really good to hear. Safety and I hope it didn't hit you too hard. I hope that you're, uh... That you're feeling okay. Obviously, you're not gonna be feeling okay, but, like, I hope you're feeling as okay as you can be. You know what I mean. Uh, if it was possible for me to send you my luck for Feb, I would do it. I've already been sent luck. Eh. Uh, a, an amazing anonymous viewer threw in a suggestion on my throne wish list. If you type exclamation throne in chat, you'll get the link. Uh, but there's an area where you can suggest a gift. Uh, and then if I like it, I can add it to my wish list. And then someone can buy it for me if they so desire. Um, and so an anonymous person uh, suggested these earrings and then an anonymous person bought them for me. There is no way for me to tell if they are the same person or if they are two different people, but regardless, I'm very appreciative. Look at these beautiful little, look, look it, when it actually, look at them. Or it, rather, there's two of them, they're the same. But that, no, not my face, you numpty. Look at the earring, thank ya. But they're, they're green and they're, they're, shamrocks slash four, four leaf clovers and I wore them on Monday and I got KSM so just saying also I've had Ishak drop the um the shit one of them's fallen in behind there we go um I had Ishak drop his mount and Rotfeaster drop his mount 
in the space of like three days after they arrived, they were just sitting on my desk. 33 attempts on Ishak, 34 attempts on Rotfeaster, and both of them dropped their 1% mount. So. I think the might be worse. And then I got KSM on the Monday. So three mounts in under a week. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> not being here because my form of social interaction is just existing in the same room as someone else, even when it's just quiet and all that's going on. Just comforting knowing someone is there. I like that too. I like that a lot. Like a lot of the time we'll set up like the Switch or a Steam game or something on the TV or even like Netflix and Jas and I, Jas will be gaming and I'll be sitting there cross-stitching or, or whatever or, you know, we'll be trading the controller back and forth and while the, the person who's not playing will be sitting on fucking Reddit on their phone or something. Like it, but it's just where we're spending time together, you know, and it's nice. I like it. Heartbreaker, Pussy Nose, Rob Rocket. Yes, that one. 100% same. Ah, in that case, since we're working on the HP mount. Don't forget, I have something to help you track that. You do. You do. Lucky earrings confirmed, right? Ishak, that's one of the latest. I'm parking alts at. Yeah. Yeah. Um, three hour spawn timer can fuck itself. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I'd get maximum like three attempts a day, maybe. Um, but eventually, yeah, I bang. There you go. Got hit quite hard, still struggling with breathlessness. Oh, Red, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope your body's able to recover soon, yeah? Nope. Do what you can to take care of yourself. Rest if your body needs it, if you can. All that shit, you know. Just just listen as best you can to your body and do what you can to give it what it needs. And um, I, I really hope that you get, a, like, I hope you feel well soon and I hope there aren't uh, too many lasting side effects and I hope that if there are any that they're super super fucking mild like or like thoughts and prayers no uh, <laughs> all the good vibes all the good vibes your way yeah I've been so like I'm pretty sure I'm not sure I don't think there's I think there's a couple of my colleagues who haven't had it I work from home my colleagues don't. I've been working from home since the pandemic kicked off in Australia. So like March 16th, 2020, I think was the first day I worked from home. Um, and yeah, so it's, I, I very rarely go back to the office. Very, very rarely. Um, Cause I have an autoimmune condition. It sucks. Um, I'm thankful that I was able to get uh, two doses of the, I got my, my doses of the vaccine but my medical situation's changed since then, so I don't know if I'm allowed to have the booster. I don't know if it'll fuck me over big time uh, or if I can have it. So I need to speak to my specialists and stuff like that about that um, when I next see them, which will probably be uh, April, May, I think. I don't fucking remember. I get a text message when it's time. <laughs> um... But yeah, so uh, like I'm, I'm extremely nervous because everyone I've spoken to who has had it and has been okay, um, like you know who ha who was hit really hard for a couple of days, but then was all right for the, like they've all had boosters, all of them. Um, so I'm, I'm fucking scared. <laughs> I'm fucking scared. Um, so, but we'll see how we go. We'll see. Convinced Ishak doesn't exist, but I got it. I got it. So how? Like, come on. What are we at? 22. We're going all right. Oh, I saw it swiftly going the other direction from me last night for a split second. <laughs> he goes, he goes around in circles, around the pillar, around, around, around in circles until he gets pulled, but he spawns every three hours. Like once he dies, three hours. Remember the Tuesday, Monday with having had all three possible jabs. Huzzah. Oof. That is rough. I'm so sorry to hear that. 326 attempts. <gasps> oh my god, Jack. I am so sorry. Maybe I need to send you my earrings. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. I can send you the link for them if you want. We got, like, they, they were just sitting on my desk and it worked, so maybe you don't even have to wear them. We're trying to do stuff like Ishak now. It isn't current. Ouch. Um, if you're decently geared, you can solo it. We are not doing Vashir. 
If you're decently geared as a level 60, uh, you can solo My mage can solo it. Takes a little while, um, but the mage can solo it. The druid can sometimes, but it needs decent, like it needs good procs to, to be able to do it. Uh, and my rogue is shit. Um, but, uh, secret finding discord. Secret finding discord. Um, when I was, uh, I would park myself there and if it spawned and I was the only one there, I would flag, I, I would post it in the secret funding discord and I'd get a couple of people within five minutes or so. You then have to wait for them all to get there, which takes a god awful amount of time, but you know, understandable. Uh, hey, if it gets you an attempt when you couldn't have done it by yourself, then I'll fucking wait. Uh, but for the last few, for the last 10 or so attempts I did, um, well, not even 10, maybe seven. The last seven or so attempts that I did, uh, there were other people there waiting with me. Or they, they logged in right as it spawned because they had a timer set. Or I'd be like, he'd down to half health and another person would rock up and help me finish them off kind of thing. So yeah, it's, um, yeah. Ah, uh, screenshot request for earrings with Jack. Invincible, 783 and still going. Uh, Invincible was 127? For me? I don't know, give me a minute. I can I reckon I can find retail screenshots. Uh do I have reins? No. It's Invincible's reins, isn't it? That's not a mount. Let's move this over here so I can actually see wow while I do this. That. That's the flay lay woven flying carpet. Do I have anything older? Oh yes I do. Okay. Um for you. No. Let's see if I can find the screeny for uh Spawn of Horridon at one attempt. Actually I'll rename that one, because uh that was ridiculous. Spawn of Horridon. What's this? I think it's a mount, but I can't tell what it is. Writing's too small. Oh no, that's a pet, I think. Spawn of Garalon. Yeah, it's a pet. Oh shit, too far. <laughs> I was supposed to be watching the arrow. Another hydrate. It's a pet as well. Did you get hit in my sub gifting? You did, X did get hit. Skip through until I can find something that looks like. Ah, oh, huh. Yep, yeah, that's um, that's fuckface. That's Stratholme. Good lord. Huh. I can summon- Hey, there you go! Anyone horde North America slash Oceanic, Tom has a spawn of Ishak. Get on that shit. 
Maybe my luck will ooze through the channel. Let's rename that one because that one was a big one. Death charges. Brains. Na 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 na. The Swift White Hawk Strider, Little Donkey. There we go, Invincible's Reigns. Invincible's Reigns. What was that? I can't read it from here, I need to open it. Okay, let me do a scrolly scroll to read what I've missed since I've been trying to do this. Uh, I really had to wait five minutes when it was current, so glad I got all the assault. One's last expansion, nice! Awesome. Oh, this is your fun. Discord, there's an active secret hunt, it gets crazy. Yeah, I have all those muted because I cannot do. Uh, 125 for Invincible's Reigns. It was 125. Mm, 326 attempts, mostly current content. I had nine tunes sitting at it every week. I'm convinced it doesn't drop for me. Ishak is we isn't isn't weekly. Ishak is daily. Uh, it always seems to be one mouth that should be easy to get. Yeah. Yay! After all the 8 3, most of 9 0 with my tick tunes. Oof. Type tunes. Just doesn't drop. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah. That's a good quality. I just to say I did. Dunno, Menmeth, Shelby, Fairy, Spam, Solstice, Eyed. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Yeah, I did. I had a poke around in the bot and I found a couple of uh, options that I don't. I think th they must have been available before and I just didn't see them or something. Um, but I had a bit of a poke around and found some new shit for it to do. Um, to try to help out somewhat with a few things. So yeah, I'm uh, like adding the user IDs and things like that to stuff. But that's new. It is, right? It is. Carlos from being upgraded. Yeah, put in a new brain chip. Gave him more RAM. So into the elders myself. This is incredible. 10 out of 10. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, Zygor makes things, like, a lot easier. Just saying. Um, I'm unlucky. You are unlucky with this particular one. I'm sure that you have mounts that you've gotten far faster than I have. You know, like, everyone's got luck with different bits and pieces, I think. Hmm. Same with you. Because it's not mount. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Hmm. I could add your YouTube link to the mailing page. I could. In fact, I probably should. Probably should now that I'm actually using it. I'm still really behind on trying to get stuff done, but fuck me. It was... <laughs> it's been a bit of a shit fight trying to get stuff sorted. Like, it's just a bit strange. But that's alright. I'll get there. I'll get there. It's really annoying that I can't just set something to render and then do it in the background. Um, cause it's just entirely too, like, um, tech intensive for it to, like, I cannot stream and render at the same time, um, obviously. Like, I don't have a two PC setup or anything. Uh, but, oh well. It's what it is. Mm. That was fun, trolling through the old screenshots and stuff. I've got so many screenshots. So many fucking screenshots. Seems the oldest ones are from 2018 though, so I'm missing stuff from before then, but that's okay. That's still like four-ish years. Three, four years. So how many am I up to? 27. I need to get to 55 before I can head to Moonglade and do the last big round and then buy the last of the shit. This isn't taking too it's taking me a lot shorter than I thought it would to get um, just this little number of coins. Which is good. We'll see how we go. I just, I really want to cross everything off. Fuck it, it feels so good. Like, where are we? Moon Festival, 70.21. Like, that's it. That's all that I, that's all that's left to buy.
It's just gonna feel so good. And the same shard! Oh, look at that! Yeah, I can't imagine there'd be too many shards for, like, new old doom. Um, right, so my water bottles run out, X, so I'm gonna accept my bubble tea as hydrates. Accept your acceptance of bubble tea as I do is brilliant. Look, there's water in there. You need water to brew the tea. It's fine. No, I actually finished my whole bottle of water today. I'm, uh, I am impressed with myself. And it was almost finished even before I started streaming, which I was very happy about. <clears throat> I agree, Koalatron. Everyone should come join the fun in Fia's Discord at discord.gg forward slash Fiyama. Lips, thank you. <laughs> My lips have been fucking weird lately. Um, like... It's almost like the skin on my lips has been lightly burned. But it's not in the middle, it's only like around the edge where it hits my normal skin, if that makes any sort of sense. It's, um, there's lowered sensation and it's really, really, really dry. And like, if I, if I like smile really big and stretch out my lips, the super dry skin on the edge, like it splits all through the place, but the skin under, it's not angry under, it's not like it's splitting down to like blood. It's just like the top layer of skin that's splitting. And then there's like normal skin underneath it. Um, and no matter how much lip balm I, excuse me, no matter how much lip balm I put on or how much water I drink, it's not going away. But I, I thought it was my lip balm because the lip balm I'm using at the moment has like shimmer in it and it's fucking looks weird and stupid, but I'm trying to use it up because the lip balm itself is actually really good. But I thought maybe the, the mica or the talc or whatever the fuck's in it that's giving it the sparkle. I thought maybe that was irritating the skin on my lips, but I'm like, I've been using this lip balm for like months. Why is it just all of a sudden becoming an issue? And then I've realized the moisturizer I use in the morning, it's an anti, uh, like an anti pimple one, uh, like an anti blemish. There's the word anti blemish moisturizer. It has sulfur in it. Low percent. I think it's only like 3% sulfur or something like, like it's really, it's a low, it's not going to burn your skin. That's not the point. Um, but I have a feeling it's working really, really well because the rest of my face is super soft and, and like feels really nice and stuff, but my lips are fucked. I think it's too much for my lips and I think my lips can't take it and that's why they're getting all fucked. And I only kind of made that realization yesterday, but I want to use up the moisturizer. <laughs> I don't want to just like throw it out. So I, mm, I don't know. I, like, I could be just more careful about not putting it anywhere near my mouth. Maybe I might have to do that. But then the, the skin, like, around my mouth is going to be really not moisturized. Look, it's a conundrum. It's a conundrum. But yeah, it's, it, like, super weird. Super fucking weird. Good luck. Thank you, Forsen. I have no idea what the fuck that means. It doesn't sound good. Yeah, like, I'm like, what the hell is this? I don't know either. I don't know either. Someone in my party got a shack. Oh, no way. Really? Love the BOHS lol. Hey, we the paladin. I see hot the mage. What what was the name of the paladin tune, Tom? That got a shack. But 
Ah, uh, bugger. Because if it was a Lurie, I'd be fucking losing my shit right now. <laughs> Let it in a Druid join. Oh, the Druid got the mount. Oh, amazing! That's so good, though. It wasn't you. Oh, bugger, Jack. That's okay. I, I was, look, I was hoping against hope, Jack. I was really, like, I was pushing, I was pulling for it. Like, I'm getting really dry skin in my mouth lately. I begin to think it's wearing a mask for eight hours a day. Definitely a possibility. I don't leave the house. Um, I work from home and, and like all that kind of stuff. So I, I mean, both my jobs, I work from home. I'm incredibly lucky to be able to do that. Uh, and I'm aware of that, uh, but I can, so I do. And uh, yeah, so I don't wear a mask very often at all. Um, especially not for eight hours. So it's, mm. It's really interesting. Fuck. But that is like, look. I mean, a lot of people were talking about like maskne, like getting getting like acne around their mouth and stuff, like around their nose and mouth where the mask would sit. Uh, and I kind of assumed that that was more to do with not washing the masks properly or frequently enough. Because, uh, you know, the mask gets dirty and then you put it back on your skin and it's going to, all those oils and stuff are going to really get angry. Um, but if people weren't, if people didn't have more than one cloth mask, they'd just wear the one day in, day out and it would cause issues. Um, but that being said, like, I don't have the experience with it all. So I don't know if I, that was just my assumption. It could be very wrong. Um, but yeah, dry, like dry skin and stuff. Because I would have thought, you know, I mean, whenever I do put my mask on, when I take it off, like my face is just sweaty. It's gross. It's wet. It's um, and not not sweaty. It's almost like condensation y. I know that's not really because it, the it, the breath goes through the cloth and the cloth absorbs any wetness. And stuff. I get that, but it was just it was gross. Like I don't like it at all. Um, so like getting dry is really interesting. I wonder if it's maybe the like the the type of cloth or the the type of whatever it's made of, because it may not be a cloth one, it might be disposable ones that you use. Uh, maybe your skin just doesn't like it's getting irritated, like contact dermatitis style shit that isn't like really extreme, not to the point of hives, just to the point of like dry flakies. Because I mean, I've had a few patches of like contact dermatitis on, on my hands and stuff where it's just gotten really dry and flaky and not necessarily itchy. Whatever it is, that sucks. I'm really sorry to hear that you're able to find something that can at least alleviate the discomfort and the symptoms. Uh, only skincare tip is that you quickly get rid of dry skin with an angle grinder. Not say it won't cause alternative issues, but no more dry skin. <laughs> Do not use an angle grinder. Do not use an angle grinder. Uh, actually, my mom or moisturizer a bit old. It could be it's time to be replaced. Um, the moisturizer isn't. Um, the moisturizer definitely isn't. Uh, the lip balm is, but I've... Like, I've never had issues with lip balm before. What I think I'm going to do is stop using the sulfur. Like, hang on. Let me... This is what I have. It is... It is... Yeah. This stuff. 3% sulfur. Uh, and it smells funky. And uh, not, like, super funky, just, like, mildly funky. Um, sulfur 3% relief and smoothing, weightless gel texture. Uh, so yeah, you can, like, the key ingredients are sulfur, sodium hyaluronate, which is like your hyaluronic acid, and tocopherol. Um, and I've used sodium hyaluronate and I've used tocopherol and they're both perfectly fine, but I've never had skincare with sulfur in it. So I'm thinking that's what it is. And I'm thinking what I will do is continue to use my lip balm and swap out the moisturizer for a week or so and see if that clears it up because I started using this and like I don't remember it being an immediate issue um I do not remember it being an immediate issue I think it took a good few weeks before it started happening but that can that can absolutely happen but I'm I'm wondering if I swap it out how long it might take for it to like fix itself I don't know 
I'm talking about condensation. Yeah, right? It feels like condensation. I know it's not. I know it's sweat, but also my face doesn't really sweat. Like when I when I exercise and when I go for a while and when I'm hot and bothered and whatnot, um, my face goes bright red like a beetroot, like fucking red, uh, and there's no sweat, which is like weird. I know my face doesn't sweat, but now with the mask, my face is sweating, but it doesn't feel like sweat. It feels like condensation, but I know it's not condensation. I know it's sweat, but it's, do you know, it's the whole thing, the whole thing's fucking weird. <laughs> Kimberly Clark, N95 masks are very light feeling. I can't see someone having erect into these. Fantastic. Oh, that's good to know. Ah, uh, it's a cloth one. I have a few by the same brand. It could be my skin doesn't like that fabric. Potentially, yeah. Potentially. Um, do you have the ability to try a different mask for a little while? I know that not everyone does, which is why, which is why I'm asking about the ability. Um, like some workplaces offer free ones, like free disposable ones. Um, and, but some people aren't able to, you know, afford to splash out on some new cloth masks because they're not exactly the cheapest thing. Um... Not exactly the cheapest thing. Uh, I have mask in in merch store um, if you're looking for to try a different type of fabric. But um, obviously, again, I'm not gonna like. If you can't afford to do something, then then don't. You know your situation better. I did more this week. Ah, uh, not a fan. I suppose once. Totally fair. Fair and reasonable. Hmm. How many am I at? 33. I need, what's that? 22 more? Are we gonna get it done within stream? Maybe. Quite, like, maybe. Quite potentially. But then I need to do the, the world trip getting the fucking moon wells as well. <laughs> Although that was quite quick when I redid it on the, on the DK. Maybe I can. Oh, and then there's the quest to unlock the crowns. Look. We'll see how we go. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I don't get it all done today, but I'm gonna get it all done this year. Cross everything off. It's gonna it's gonna sit there with incomplete shit because of the fucking armor casings though, and that really upsets me. Like really upsets me. It's just unreasonable. Um, oh, they're only 500 gold a pop. Maybe I should just buy them, get them off the list. <laughs> Although some of the things it wants me to upgrade, I don't actually have yet. So I can't even cross them off the list. Ooh, God damn it. Like I have that, so I can upgrade it. But then this one, that's Alliance only. And it's 75 7th Legion service medals. And I'm not going to buy the, um... I'm not going to buy the Alliant, the Horde version either. Because it's 75 Honorbound service medals. But there's a fucking mount that's like 750 and I haven't got that yet. So that's what I want to buy first, you know? Like, it's, oh. Mmm... And then that's the Stranglethorn. Oh fuck, I have to do Stranglethorn again. Do not want. Alliance only, Alliance only. Alliance only, Alliance only. Horde only, again, service bound medals. Uh, honor bound. Honor bound. Honor bound. Honor bound. And that's it. So literally everything on that list that I don't have already is fucking Stranglethorn and service medals. I hate that. No wonder I don't have them. Um, so it's bad for them. Not in 95 marks, about six times more effective well fit than cloth mask. Would be stylish, but it gaff, I look like a duck. Yeah, totally fair. Totally fair.
Yes, Thunder. You're right, I do sniff. It's because I have an autoimmune condition. That means my sinuses are permanently inflamed. It's great. I sniff to actually get more air. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Um, but if it irritates you, firstly, I guarantee you it irritates me more. <laughs> but secondly, you are welcome. Like, I will not be offended if you want to look for somebody else to watch. Because I'm just too annoying. I get it. It's fine. Um, here in the US, masks are about a dollar each. Someone who has to deal with full face mask and has skin issues. Any humid heated air will probably make that area sweat. The dried salt is really good at drying out your skin when it evaporates. That is a really good explanation. Remember finding a non-scented wipe if you can and cleaning the irritated areas. That's a, that's really good. That's a really good suggestion, actually. Um, or if you're like a, a skincare person and stuff, maybe like wiping it down with a toner. Like, might be good. Or like just, yeah, like super gentle makeup wipe or something just to get the salt off the area. That's a really good idea. Really good idea. I thought of the salt this much, right? We, we don't think about the salt in our sweat because it's not something we usually have to deal with. Hey, that is a really good point. I remember there being a sitting in ATT that lets you change the alien upgrades because it annoyed me also. Uh, okay. Okay, because like, I like having it there because I know what I'm missing. Like I know what I can still upgrade. But at the same time, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not super like, there's, ah, and then plus upgrades. Bam. So I can have heirlooms tracked, but not the actual upgrades. Okay. I like it. Let's go with that. And I know, I know that pretty much every special event has currency to do that, so I can always check that when I can, when I want to. But for now, I think that's going to be a good thing, just so that I can actually cross these fucking events off the list. Because look at them all. Look at all these holidays. I will cross Lunar Festival off. Why does that say 70.21? But then this says 8225. That is something else that kind of... It's fine. Don't care. Don't care. Uh-oh. No, we are not entering Mara. Get fucked. No. Yes. Alright, here we go. 39. Thank you very much. SR. SR. Is it SRT Hellcat? Or SR the. Yeah, no, I think it's SRT Hellcat. Thank you very much for reminding me of that setting. I appreciate it, like, very, very much. Anyone else hate leveling a new ult before you have flying? Um. Shall I show you my 50 tunes? <laughs> yes. When, as they were all hitting 30, I was like, yes! And then they all hit 40 and I was like, yes! It just, oh, it feels so good. It feels great being able to get off the ground. No, because the dungeon spam also that. Fair, fair. Oh, I would normally have never done Frost Fire Ridge before. I wanted to do the questing. I felt the same about Shadow Moon Valley. Like I wanted to go through it and I actually love the zone now. Like it's so beautiful. Years of airsoft being useful, yes! Uh, holy shit, I have that problem, but it's undiagnosed. What's it called? So I can talk to my GP. So um, my autoimmune condition is completely unrelated to my sinuses, um, technically. Uh, what I have is cerratic arthritis, so it affects my joints, specifically one of my knees. Um, but when you have an autoimmune condition at all, like any of them, they do. it does affect your whole body because your body is attacking itself. It's it like... There are, there are hundreds of autoimmune conditions out there in the world. Um, and not all sinus issues are related to autoimmune conditions either. Uh, and not all people who have autoimmune conditions will have sinus issues. Uh, how it affects your body will depend heavily on what your body is like. Uh, so yeah, when, uh, like I've, I've always had problems. Like I, I can't, like I can't breathe properly. I, I can never breathe properly. Um, and so I'm always sniffling and it's not that it's runny. Like when, when it first started happening, I would blow my nose endlessly and I gave myself 
hundreds of blood noses just because I was trying to get out of my face what didn't exist. Essentially, I was trying to blow out my sinuses, uh, <laughs> but they aren't going anywhere. They are made of bone uh, and are covered in fleshy bits. Uh, and I, yeah, there's there's nothing I can do about that. But um, so what my particular autoimmune condition does is it, it just like, well, all autoimmune, autoimmune is immune to self. So when they see, you know, like a bacteria that shouldn't be there, attack. And they see a virus that shouldn't be there, attack. But for me, when they see a piece of like a piece of literally my own body, attack because they're idiots. Uh, and so medication turns off my immune system, basically. Uh, well, not off completely because then you die, but it turns it the fuck down. Um, but that also means that I'm really susceptible to other infections because you turn the immune system down so that it doesn't kill me. But that also means that it's turned to, it's like, you know, if you take an army of a thousand and you whistle it down to 15 people, that yes. army of 15 people, love. That, those 15 people aren't going to be able to tear down the whole city, but they're also not going to be able to defend the city very well either. Um, so it just, yeah, it sucks. But yeah, so what I would recommend is just, what I would recommend is just talking to your GP in general. Uh, and, and letting them know that you have this issue and that it's been going on for X amount of time. If there are times where it's worse, like, like really pay attention. Like if you're having a really bad sinus day, have a look at what you've eaten for the last 24 hours, where you've been, the, like what the temperature's been like, blah, 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 and make notes of all that. Uh, and then if you notice one day that your sinuses are actually really good, do the same thing. Uh, and just kind of keep track of what makes it worse and what makes it better. That way, when you go to your GP, you can give them these notes and they might have a better idea of what to test for. Like maybe there's an allergy going on, maybe there is an autoimmune condition, uh, or maybe you have teeny tiny sinuses. Like some people just genetically have smaller holes in their face that make things worse, like harder to do. Uh, and the only way to really diagnose that is like, you know, a whole bunch of scans or shoving a camera up there uh, and stuff like that, which is unpleasant, but at least you get an answer. Uh, so yeah, if, after my extensive experience with um, getting help from medical professionals, that would be my, my number one recommendation is just document your shit and take it to your GP and be like, hey, what do you think of all this data? Uh, but I wish you the absolute best with that, Bunny. The absolute best with it, because it fucking sucks. <laughs> so much can't imagine how awful it must be to have it permanently yeah it's yeah fun fun fact when jas and i went on that excursion to tambourine mountain uh, i was re on the way home i i was sniffling a bit and then i was like hang on i don't think i've been sniffling like all day we're like huh huh um, so we're now thinking that maybe all the construction dust and stuff in the area where we live is aggravating it like a lot, uh, or maybe it's something else in the home or something like that. But, um, it wasn't like it, it was still like, I could still feel it. It was still irritated, but I didn't have the, the reflex to constantly be sniffling. Um, that was not there, which was really interesting. At least I don't remember it. I'm, I might've, but it wasn't, uh. It wasn't disruptive enough that I noticed it, so, um, which I usually do because it fucking hurts. Sniffing doesn't feel good, uh, but yeah. Uh, there's been like dungeons or a healer or a tank, part of my dungeons be the answer. Didn't even hear you sniffing. Literally sniffing along with you. Oh, bunny, I'm so sorry. That sucks. Fair level metal through what at the tail end to do for Legion for some reason. Legion is awesome fun. Good evening. Ah, back. Welcome back, Yuri. How goes the Elder Hunting? We done one. We're on a second tune now. Hey, Scarlet. Ah, uh, welcome on in. SRT Hellcat. Ah, oh, awesome. I figured it out. Oh, you're saying we're all different? Oh, I know, right, Saro? What the fuck? <laughs> what do I mean would be so much cooler if it was immunity to cars? So, like, I could get hit by a car and I wouldn't get hurt? Or, like my body would let, not let me get into a car. Like, how we, like, what's the... Mm. <sighs> Miss Wow, I might get back into it. I'm having a lot of fun, but it really does depend on what parts of Wow you enjoy at this point. Um, but hey, no harm in uh, no harm in giving it a go, right? Worst case, you can stop playing again. Um... 
Thank you, Mass. Uh, have you time for lag? Did Fiamma say what it was? Did you catch that? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, last two weeks I've worked out with burning, choking, feeling my throat, not indigestion. I'm going to get it checked. Good idea. Oh, God, that doesn't sound fun at all. I smell something that I'd imagine rotting feet might smell like on a daily basis. Had to have septoplasty, rhinoplasty to open things up. Was chronic sinusitis? Yeah. Yep. That is a thing. That is a thing. Oh, has the increased altitude and thinner air? Have you tried limiting your oxygen? Oh, my tips aren't flashed tonight. <laughs> I think... I think it was clean air. I th honestly, given that we were in a literal fucking rainforest, I, I honestly think it was just cleaner air than being here in the city where there's construction and everything. Like I can dust and vacuum and within two or three days, everything is covered in a fine layer of dust again. Everything. Um, I th Honestly, I think that's got something to do with it. Um, but you know, we'll... <laughs> What, what am I going to do? Move out to the fucking mountains? No. Cannot do that. It does. Been this since I was wee. Had my tonsils and adenoids out because of it. Went to Spain. Didn't realize I could breathe until I got off the plane in Scotland. <gasps> you say it was cold. I do research. I need to go prepare my docs. Um, so again, my I, I've got arthritis. And arthritis has got nothing to do with sinuses. My autoimmune condition affects my joints. Um, it's just that autoimmune means that your body is immune to itself so it could it can literally affect anything and quite often if someone has one autoimmune condition they have two or three sometimes even seven or eight like there are just so many different autoimmune conditions um so it's yeah it's auto as in like autobiography or automatic and immune as in like your immune system but it's one word autoimmune autoimmune thank you so much stream readers for that very perfectly timed alarm uh but yeah it's there are hundreds the Black Empire hundreds of autoimmune conditions um, and they all affect everyone differently like one like a group of people who are all diagnosed with this one it affects all of them differently but seriously just start with the symptoms don't like walking in saying I think I have this is a, it's akin to walking in and saying I googled it and I think I have cancer that's not it's not how that works so like document your symptoms um, have a look at you know what what you've been eating uh, what, where you've gone, what the date, like, you know, if there's, like, pollen indexes and stuff in your area, what the temperature is like, what the weather is like, if it's humid or dry, all that kind of stuff. If you note all that kind of stuff down when you have a bad day, and then note all that stuff down again when you have a good day, and then take that to your doctor, rather than, I think I have, you know, I have diagnosed myself. No, no, like, go, go actually take your data, your symptoms, your logs, your stuff take that in and and get them to work through it with you rather than going i i found a, a you know person on the internet who has arthritis and she has bad sinuses so i think i have arthritis do you know what i mean it's a really good way to get your doctors to completely disregard your opinion off the bat is to go in with a self-diagnosis unfortunately um obviously like after a while you can start like once they've given you a couple of options that it could be and once you've started having tests and things like that then it can definitely be down that road or what if they don't know what's going on sort of thing but your best bet is to go in with your with your symptoms um and and like logs of things that make them better things that make them worse all that kind of shit um yeah uh so if you're insane scheduled this month no absolutely not jared i never will be but that's okay i'm gonna do it anyway Clean air in this environment? I know, right, Zam? What the fuck? How, how dare I hope for something that... that... nice. Uh, okay, Mr. Menmeth, Little, and Spam, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, oh, okay, that's our last battle for the day. I just realized what the time is. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Uh, chronic sinus, sinus with wind, that's the diagnosis I have at the moment, yeah. Yeah, oh, well, honestly, that's probably far more likely than arthritis, to be honest. Um, or even autoimmune, but yeah. It's just what I mean, because I have allergies. Gotcha. Yeah, allergies are... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, here, I've taken the plunge and bought myself a Logitech keyboard, the G213. Well done. I hope you love it, Crom. Hope you love it. Have a good relationship with my GP out combos. That current research. It's rare. Yeah, current research. Yeah, yeah. You know, they aren't linked. No. No. Um... But yeah, that's, it's really good that you have a good relationship with your GP. So do I. Like, it's, yeah. 
<laughs> like when I go in and he asks me how my streaming's going and tells me all about the games he's been playing with his kids recently and stuff, it's like, cool, good, wonderful. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I've got a great relationship with him to the point that I, like, if I've got some random ass thing that I've noticed with my body, I can just bring it up with him and he can go, okay, well, it could be this, it could be this, it could be this, but given your medical history, I'd say it's probably nothing. I think, I th I'd say it's probably just your body being a dick. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, good. Um, but he never, he never just kind of dismisses my stuff out of hand. Like if I ever go to him with any concerns, it's never just like, oh, don't worry about that. No, it's always, look, you're right that it is a bit interesting and your body probably shouldn't be doing that. However, given that you have this condition, this condition and are taking this medication, there's a pretty good chance that it's probably just like a, a, a generalized side effect. And the, the fact that it's so mild, like the fact that it's just this weird thing your body does as opposed to a debilitating side effect and how well the medication is working for you, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. Like, I don't, I don't think we should worry about it. And so like, he's just, he's really in depth with everything he tells me, which is great. Um, cause the word, like I, I've, I've been in conversations where I can raise ideas and they just go, no, that won't work. I was like, okay, can you tell me why not? Because if I raise something else that operates in a similar way and you just dismiss that out of hand, I'm wasting my fucking time. Like, can you tell me why it won't work? Uh, friends, that is a sign of an abusive relationship. But anyway, um, yeah, it's having that kind of, like being able to have an open conversation about my body is super important, especially with all the fuck that it, all the shit that it does wrong. Uh, <laughs> Get that it's just your body diagnosis. Yeah, so much going on with me too. Oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm so done. <laughs> can, can I order a new one, please? And thank you. Like, good God. Good God. And then when your specialist says, oh yeah, look, there are some people where that's just what their body does and there's not much we can do about it. I'm like, oh, good. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> uh, oh well. How much more productive it is when they listen and give an explanation. Yeah, because then you can go through all your other suggestions and eliminate anything that was close to similar. Yeah, uh, it's it's really good. I uh, I appreciate. I know I know it does take them extra time to be able to not not just explain it, but explain it in a language that we're gonna understand. Because I don't know about you, but I don't have a medical degree. Um, I do have quite a bit of medical stuff under my belt, um, like things that I've learned just by being in the vicinity of stuff. <laughs> things I've learned through my own research and um, my uni degree, but it's not actual medicine. It's just how bits work to like, I have a bachelor's of forensic biology and biomedical science. So I know how bio stuff works, but I don't know how that reflects in like symptoms and actual diagnoses and things. Do you know what I mean? Like I get how things work and how things fit together, but I don't always understand the, the actual like, stuff behind a specific uh diagnosis so yeah um and when i do get a diagnosis i go and i do a hell of a lot of research so i know what to look out for and i read through the entire goddamn novel we get with all of our different meds and stuff because i need I, I feel like it's important for me to recognize when i'm having a side effect versus when i'm actually having something additional go wrong <laughs> like <laughs> I like that's important. Uh, and there was one point where uh, I called up the my my specialist. I called my specialist because I was having a real fucking problem with one of the meds I was taking. And um, and I, I called and I couldn't get through to my specialist, but I got I was transferred through to the registrar. And um, and she was like, okay, so tell me what's going on. I feel like I've been told you've been having some problems with the medication. Uh, what what are the symptoms? What's going on? Like, tell me about it. And so I gave them like a, a six or seven minute rundown of everything that had happened over the last couple of weeks that led me to, to the phone call and like when things happened, what time it was, how big things were in centimeter measurements, approximate locations of stuff, like in, in, like in depth, like I, so I was having sensory patches, right? So there was a patch on my skin and it was just, just to the side of my belly button. It was about that big in size uh, and there was no feeling no feeling. I could I could drag my nails along it, no sensation. I could put uh, hot food that I just heated up like in a cup or whatever against it, couldn't feel it. I put ice cube against it, couldn't feel it. But when I touched it, like when I pushed on it, I could feel the, the pushing sensation. Nothing on the surface, but I could feel deeper. 
So it was like the surface nerves were dead, but the deeper nerves were still going okay. And I went, like, I explained all this in detail, like, when I noticed it, when the next one came in, when I'd taken my medications in relation to each of these things, and, like, and I stopped, and she just kind of sat there quiet for a second, and she's like, do you work in healthcare? Do you have a medical degree or anything? And I'm like, no. And she's like, you are a really good patient. <laughs> I, that's, it's, that, I have no questions. I know everything that I need to know. And I'm like, good. <laughs> and we just, we had a bit of a laugh about it. She's like, uh, okay, sure. This is, this is great. All right. Let me get back to you. I ended up with a, a referral to a neurologist. It turns out um, I was having a one in 200,000 reaction to my medication where I was experiencing MS like symptoms. Um, and I was like, oh, good. Uh, then they also did some more testing and found out that I also had drug induced lupus uh, and took me off the meds. <laughs> uh, and everything cleared up except the sensory patches. They're still there. Like, what's that, four, five years later? Um, but I no longer have drug induced lupus, so that's good. Uh, and they changed my medication permanently. Um, but yeah, like, it's just, it's funny. <laughs> it is incredible how, like, an accurate diary of your symptoms can get you much faster results in terms of, like, being referred for testing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's great. <clears throat> it's amazing how much more productive it is when they listen and give an explanation. Yes, at least you know you can move on. Uh, well, you know, it's just you, though. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Uh, doctors who will limit their effort to what they can diagnose within 15 minutes of seeing you. So if you've chronic illness and a lot of idiopathic symptoms, you're screwed. Yeah, look, we're, we're pretty, like, from what I've heard, the US is just shit with healthcare in general. But, um, we're also pretty lucky here where you can actually, like, I've, I've heard a lot of stories about the US where you can't actually choose a, a healthcare provider. Like, here, when I go to book a, a, an appointment with a doctor, there's a section where I can, like, actually use a drop down menu to choose which doctor at that practice I want to see uh, and then it'll show me just their available appointments and stuff like that so I can I can see I, oh it's just kicked off oh well so like I can um, if I want to see my GP I can book in to see that specific GP and he knows my history he has all of it in his notes and all that kind of shit um, and if he kind of goes wait hang on a second he can go back and check that um, so, like, it's, yeah, I, I don't know what it'd be like to have anything else, but, uh, yeah, it just, it seems to work a hell of a lot better. Uh, 10 minutes, I'm back frequently explored the whole issue. I'm not just gonna leave it, though. Yeah, absolutely. I just basically have to do your own differential diagnosis to bring it to them for them to even consider it. Jesus. So, like, me and my doc says the same. Good ones. Like, you're giving them data. Yes, absolutely. Uh, healthcare plans in the US where it's very strange regarding specialists and even primaries. You can choose depends on the insurance provider, but the insurance provider puts a cap on how much they'll pay for the visit, so doctors will make you return five to six times to cover what could have been easily covered in one adequate visit. Yeah, your your whole healthcare system is just fucked. Like, I, I don't know what else to say, honestly. Uh, two results from Holistone and Recl. Oh, fantastic, Sam. Well done. Well done. I really want to get to my 55 coins. I want to just finish this section of it. Um, but I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I, look, I'm, I'm no activist. I'm no, like, I, I don't know how to affect change at, like, a higher level. I just, I don't know. I don't have that kind of knowledge. But it just seems like... Y'all need to kick up some hell of a stink because that whole thing is just fucking broken. That's just ridiculous. But it also kind of seems like no one over there who has- who, who, if you don't have money, you don't have any form of anything. And the people who have money don't really care about the healthcare system because they just buy what they need. So, like, yeah, I don't- I don't know. <clears throat> Over here, I just book a longer appointment. I can book a short, short appointment, I can book a long appointment. Um, <clears throat> 
and if I book a short appointment, uh, my, my doctor doesn't bulk bill. Um, bulk bill means um, you don't pay anything to the doctor or you pay something to the doctor and then immediately get a full refund from Medicare, which is our universal healthcare. Um, my doctor doesn't bulk bill, so I pay an amount and then I get some of that back on my card, but I end up still paying like 20, 30 bucks out of pocket. But the whole appointment is like 70. So, you know, I, or I, I don't know the exact numbers. It's been a little while and I don't really pay attention. I just do the thing because I know I can afford it. Because uh, I have a budget for medical appointments because I need one. <laughs> um, and then if it's a longer appointment, I just pay more and I get the same percentage kind of thing. Like if, let's say it's an 80% back. So I, I pay a hundred bucks and I get $80 back from Medicare. If it's a long appointment and it's 200, then I get 160 back. Like it just doesn't, that's, yeah. But I, and I don't pay for that. That's not, that's paid for by the government. It's universal healthcare. Um, yeah, I just, I don't understand. The US healthcare system is just stupid. Like I really don't understand, you know, oh, well the, the poor people, it doesn't matter. They're, they can't afford their doctor's appointments. They'll just suffer and die. It'll be fine. Or they'll go bankrupt trying to pay for their treatment or whatever. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's okay, whatever. Yeah, but then if all the poor people die, who the fuck will you have to work in your factories? And then you won't be rich anymore because your factories will have to shut down and then you'll be poor and then you'll die from healthcare. Like, it, 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 it mm. Idiots. Absolute fucking idiots. Where am I going? Right this way. This is my last coin, 54. Ah, I guess I've just got Mora, Elder, Princess Drop the Epic Dagger. Ah, brilliant fairy! US healthcare system is the best in the world if you're rich enough. Uh, I got some very good news Monday though. A new client is in the healthcare industry in India. They found as a very reputable doctor there with access to India's largest medical brain bank. I'm gonna put my case in front of them. Wow, that's awesome. That's fantastic news, Tom. Get answers. Yeah, agreed. It's like a very sick version of social Darwinism. Yeah. Yeah. The problem, like, th that's the literal problem, though, is the all the people who are poor are poor because they're working for the rich fuckers who don't give a fuck about them. So if all the poor people die out as a result of the shitty healthcare system, who is going to work under the rich fuckers? Not other rich fuckers, that's for sure. There's going to be no one who who's working at that level of pay because they don't have to. And then the people who were running those factories and have no employees now, they won't be able to afford to keep the factory open. And so it'll shut down and they'll no longer have their income. They'll burn through it and then they'll get sick and they won't have their money to pay for it anymore. And then they're poor and then they die. Like it just, do you not, like, I just don't understand. You, you Like they treat people who make them their fortune as though they are replaceable. And yeah, one or two people are absolutely replaceable, for sure. Especially if it's like a, you know, a low, num a low amount of training required to do the job, all that kind of stuff, sure, absolutely. But not everyone, your entire workforce isn't replaceable. Your entire workforce dies out, your company dies, and as does your money. I only have enough foresight to the next fucking financial year. And it just doesn't, I don't understand how you can't plan further into the future. Anyway. They just, none of it makes any logistical sense. They don't, um, I agree with you, channel, but I feel like, um, I feel like they don't care what happens beyond their own lifespan. I think that's the problem. If they're, if they're in their 50s or 60s, they're like, oh, well, I'm going to die at 89. My entire workforce isn't going to die out in the next 30 years. Be the next generation's problem to deal with. I think that's the problem. But, look, it's, um... 
I very distinctly remember a, a friend telling me about a, um, a certain political party function that they attended in Queensland. Um, and like talking to the, the, like the young group, the youth group of that particular political party and, and talking to them and like literally their words were, yeah, we don't care what happens beyond us. Yeah, what about your grandkids? Well, they're not here yet. They'll, they'll, they'll figure it out. They'll deal with it. Like they, they gave no shits to the situation because they weren't going to be alive to deal with it anyway. So they didn't care. And I feel like that's the issue in the US, is that everyone is just so preoccupied with them and their life and their comfort individually that they cannot see beyond that. They can't see beyond my rights or, um, you know, that, you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 honestly, I feel like that's a big problem with most of humanity, to be honest. But um, it's particularly glaring in the US because of how public everything is. Other countries, societies don't get nearly as much publicity as the US does. Mm, starting to freak out about the most recent generations, not having children at the rate needed to replace the dying workforce. Yeah. Yep. Companies will have to fucking downsize. Okay, so this is Lunar Preservation. I'm not going to do that, though, because it's going to take me another goddamn half an hour or so, and I'm already over time. Um, an employer doesn't profit by selling your labor for more than it's worth, but by paying less than the labor is worth. No, of course. Yeah, but that's, like, not even talking about pay and stuff like that. It's, it's taking care of them. It's keeping them alive, keeping them well, keeping them working. It is in their best interest to keep an employee working. Because of course one employee is replaceable. If one gets sick, they can boot them to the side and bring a new recruit in. But there is a finite number of new recruits. But look, um, they don't they don't see that. They don't see beyond the money. Everything is somebody else's problem, except it's everybody's problem. Agreed. Society grows great when old men plant trees in whose shade they shall never sit. That's beautiful. I just got like, oh. <laughs> Fuck. That's a really... Hang on, I'm gonna take a screen cap of that because I like that. I feel like that's something, like, even even an individual can can live by something like that, you know? A society grows great when old men plant trees in whose shade they shall never sit. It's preparing for the next generations. It's making sure that your kids and your grandkids, not even your kids, even if you don't have children, it's the next generation, your friends' kids, your colleagues' kids, all that kind of shit. But also like raising kids to not be assholes, like the number of entitled children. Entitled kids grow up to be entitled adults. That's how it works. We don't want those, we want fewer of those. So let's try to like, like, stamp out those kind of behaviors in in the children's before they think it's normal um i talk about short sadness in 10 regards all day long though yeah what is your legacy uh lots of swearing and red hair <laughs> also wow um look that's that is something like we've had conversations before about like if someone from our community just poof disappeared um, and we'd know nothing, like, they just would stop showing up one day. Like, how, how would we know where they, it's like, because on the internet, you know, we really, like, I don't know your, your friends' names. I don't know your partner's names. I don't know your family. Like, it, we don't know that. We can't, there's no way for us to reach out and find out. Um, especially if accounts get deleted and all that kind of shit. They're just gone. No, no question, like, no answers, no nothing, no closure. Um, for, like, for somebody like me, it's a little bit different, considering that I've built this community and I have a Jass who is, like, very, very intrinsically connected. Um, and even then, I have a greater friendship group who knows not just me and Jass, but also knows my parents and knows Jass's parents and have those. So I've got real life friends who are a part of this community. So if something happened, even if something happened to both Jass and I, cons like, concurrently, there would be someone somewhere who would know how to post to let you guys know that something had happened. Um, 
but like, if it did, if I just gone, I wonder, like, obviously the channel wouldn't go, wouldn't be active anymore. There'd be no more streams, but like, I wonder what would happen with the discord. And I wonder what would happen on like my tweets or on my Instagram comments or like, I, I like, I do wonder like what, what would happen? It'd be interesting, but um, I won't be around to see it, will I? So that's that's a thing. But yeah, I do often wonder about what my actual legacy is. Um, it's a scary thought. Regarding the tree and what you leave behind when you're deleted, of course, of course. I hope. I hope that what I leave behind is um, encouragement to, to be kind, to take care of yourself, to be nice to each other, um, and to enjoy what you enjoy, regardless of whether that's WoW or if the game shuts down one day or whatever it happens to be, but just like finding something that brings you joy and allowing yourself to throw yourself into it and allowing yourself to be super fucking passionate about what you love and, and just, yeah. And obviously collect all the things because that's, is that not what life's all about? Collect shit, do the thing. Try not to become a hoarder because I hear that stuff's dangerous. But um, be a di no, not even a digital hoarder. That's probably also not good. Too many hard drives. <laughs> anyway, um, right. Good, good idea, Qualitron. Go buy yourself some underpants. Uh <laughs> Come for yandies. I'm gonna be done. I'm gonna finish uh, because I am tired and I need to. I need to sleep. Oh, there are two clips. Wonder what they are of. Is fear tired? Oh Lord, yes. Absolutely, always. Um. Ugh. Ay, ay, ay. There are not very many people live at the moment. Interesting. That's okay. Um, usually I've got like 12 or so people from my follow list that are online and today I just don't. There's like four. That's so unusual. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna clip the way, you're brilliant, good. Good, so glad to have come across your stream today. Oh, I'm so glad, Red, I hope it wasn't all like, I mean, okay. I was about to say, I hope that it wasn't all too heavy, especially like while you're recovering and all that kind of shit. But um, that's kind of what we do here. So, so I'm, I'm glad that you got a snapshot of what streams with Fia are like. Because <laughs> um, we, are, we are not a, uh, like a, like a, yeah, let's do things. Let's go get stuff. Let's, yeah, no, no. We are chill. We are hella chatty. And we talk about things that are entirely too serious to be talked about on fucking Twitch. Uh, <laughs> but we have fun doing it. And we have, like, we have people who provide really really interesting perspectives and we have phenomenal conversations and I've met so many awesome people with great like especially perspective that I've never even thought of before and I go oh shit that's actually a really good point and like it it changes my worldview a bit just for having interacted with that I fucking love that shit it's what I live for it's great um so yeah no I I'm glad that you enjoyed it I'm glad you found us and I hope you'll stick around for a while Ah, uh, bedtime. Yes, fan group on the same wavelength as me. Yes, bunny. Fuck yeah. Chronic illness people unite. <laughs> uh, maybe tomorrow because I hurt. Um, <laughs> which is the best. It is. No cannibalism though. Not tonight. Not tonight. Maybe, maybe Friday while we're building. Guys, are you excited? Grogu Logu. I called it Grogu Logu accidentally. I was supposed to say Grogu Lego but I fucked up the word and now it's stuck. So this is Grogu Logu. 
and we're building him on Friday. I hope you'll join us. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna set up my camera, but it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Ooh, maybe I should try something totally new and different. Usually I have like the face cam and then I have like a downward pointing one, but I feel like down's gonna be silly. I'm gonna have a play with it. I think this is gonna be fun. Uh, so that, speaking of, boop. So that's Friday. Sunday's transmog hunting. Transmog hunting. Uh, yes, ATT, make the new, make the, the happy brain juice noises, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh, then Monday, Mount Farm Monday, uh, which will be not Heartbreaker and will be stuff. Hopefully, the, oh, the mounts on DFA have shuffled again. The mounts on DFA have shuffled again. Tormentors of Torghast is now on my list. Why? Um, where is my list? I, I adjusted it and I made some shuffles. Um, it was recently assigned. Come here, you. Give me your knee. That must be Omen. Maybe? It must be. Um... Oh, where's the... Oh, there it is. Good lord, I have so many tasks in here. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, Storm's Wake Exalted. Order of Embers Exalted. Valfia, the Unrelenting for Night Fae is on the list. Malbog, Covenant Assault. Tormentors of Torghast. I don't... I've never done one of those. I have no idea how they work. Uh, Harika the Horrid in Revendreth. High Mountain Paragon. Unshackled Paragon. Tolbarad. Then Island Expeditions. That is what we have on the list for Mount Farming. Uh, look, we'll fucking see how far through that list we get. Uh, and then Tuesday is the heartbreak, is the first day of heartbreaker farming. Please, for the love of fuck, join me. Because I don't know, th it's going to be the start of my descent into, ins no, descent into insanity. I have the insane title. It's fine. Um, but I, mm, 50, 50 tunes, 50 tunes, 50 fifties, 50, 50 pluses. Um, so 50 characters I'm going to be trying for this fucking mount with. <sighs> um, we're going to start at 6. I don't know when we'll finish. I'm just going to keep going till they're all done and then leave. Um, then on Wednesday, which is this time in a week, uh, we're going to be doing, again, we'll start with the Heartbreaker Farm, but as soon as that's done, instead of going offline, I'm going to do my Lita, which is Love is in the Air. Lita. Yep, good. So my, my Lunar Festival is this one. We're going to do this one. Um, I really hope I cross that off this month. Uh, this year, I, I really fucking do. But then I'm going to go hunt down this bouquet of red roses. Um, that's literally, I think, the only thing left I need. Oh, no, and then there's the dinner suits and shit. I don't know how to get love tokens anymore, but I'll fucking figure it out because there's a few pets. 270? Oh, good lord. Ooh, this is... Mm. We'll see. Uh, and then the toy and the other toy and then the other toy, other, other toy. But then like the dress boxes and the dinner suit box, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get 20 love tokens from just doing the runs. So I won't need to actually farm for those. But these ones, I think I will. I can't remember how many love tokens I ended up getting. Um, but yeah, so I want to, I want to clear those out. So that's what the rest of this time next week's stream is going to be. Love is in the air shit. Yeah. Uh, intellectual convo is good. Good. No cannibals here. Oh, no. No, no. Um, we usually end up talking about cannibalism. I don't know how, but, like, the conversation regularly paths to cannibalism. And I don't understand why, but I just accept it. Uh, existential crises overload. Yes. Real talk is the best kind of talk. Hopefully won't be as lurky once I'm more up. No, totally fine, Red. Not a problem. We love our lurkers. Like, 80% of my viewers are lurkers, and we love them. It's fine. The lurkers are how I got partnered. So we're, we're cool with that. We're cool with that. Go, go. Yes. Diary for Friday. Yay. Yay. Yeah. Check um, twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama forward slash schedule for all of the start times in your time zone. Because I'm not going to convert it for you because I will get it wrong. And that would suck. Or follow and turn on notifications on Twitch. Jump in the Discord. Turn on notifications for the channel called Announcements. Follow me on Twitter, turn on notifications. Follow me on Instagram, turn on notifications for stories specifically. Uh, and then follow me on Facebook if you want, turn on notifications for stories there. And I mean, while you're at it, might as well follow me on TikTok too. <laughs> TikTok too. 
but yeah, no, seriously, if you if you feel like like if you would like to help support me, please do follow me on all the fucking platforms. It actually helps. It helps me get brand deals. Brand deals means money. Money means full time content creator fear. Uh, full time content creator fear means potentially more streams. Maybe not this many all the time, but like sometimes. So, <laughs> so like, yes, you still don't have Harika go by that bastard already. No, I don't want to. Ascent into a set. Yeah, I'm lower than insane at the moment. Yep, perfect. It'll be glorious. Next week off work, be here with ministries as I can. Hey, as many runs as I can. You can be so sick of me. I'm totally okay with that. I am going to be opening it up. Like, like you are welcome to join me for those runs. It will make the, the queue times faster, especially if you're a tanker healer. Uh, scheduled this month. Yes. Someone say lurkers. Yes. Lurk mode activate. Yes. Ah, uh, you have a TikTok. I do have a TikTok. I am Fiamma dot 29 i think on tiktok but there's a link if you go to my uh if you go to the all my links uh if exclamation socials there should be a link in there to my tiktok i think i think i could be wrong uh all right let's get this show on the road literally on the road over to closure's place it's a bit of a long road you might have to hang with us all right Twitch raid, grab your copy paste. If you do not have the Fiamma Hype e-note, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, both of which are totally okay, uh, you can still copy and paste the entire message. So copy it, paste it into Closure's chat, then where it says Fiamma Hype, delete that and pop in your own happy hypey celebratory emote. Shut up, I know what the time is. Happy hypey celebratory emote and then send and, and bring the love of the Fiamma to Closure. He will pronounce it incorrectly. It's great. Um, until Friday, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I'm going to see you then. And we're going to build a Grogu Logu. I'm so excited. I'll see you then. All the love. Mwah. Bye, guys. Fucking what? Channel. Thank you. Thank you so much for the sub bomb. Congrats, everybody.